I'm very suspicious of this game. Also, I'm gonna do voices for the characters. I apologize for nothing. Something fell nearby. I'm leaving. Get me out. No, I wanna leave. Where did it? All right, guys, it's been a good stream. Hey, there's a knife on the screen and I'm scared. I need my little cat, buddy. <laughs> Eddie, I need you. I need you, little man. I need your help. Dude, I'm scared. Why would you give me a knife? Don't give me a knife. You got a shiny knife. Not me, bout to commit a murder. Uh-oh, I just fell and stabbed the cat. Oh God, I'm leaving. I'm leaving now. Exit, exit the premises. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Little characters. They're all jumping around. Hi, Omori. We're hoping that you'd come by soon. Want to play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Oh, whoops. Never mind. Oh, man. What the heck, Aubrey? You messed up all the cards. I was winning, too. Hey there, Kel. Uh, no need to get angry. It's just a game after all. Don't give me that, hero. You only say that because you're losing. You know what? Your eyes following me is a little unsettling. I'm going to be real with you, Chief. Um... What if I... You can't leave without your friends? Well, not with that attitude. Fluffy pillow shaped like the head of a girl. Well, that's unsettling. Would you like... Hell yeah, I want to make toast! Are you joking? It's the greatest day of my life. This game's amazing. Why is Kel always so mean to me? You know, the other day, that good-for-nothing stole my stuffed toy and hid it somewhere in this room. Why would he do something like that? He's so immature. I mean, what did I ever do to him? No, I know. Can you find my stuffed toy for me, Omori? Pretty please? Tentacles poking out of the ground, as they do. Watermelon! <laughs> what? Oh, stuffed toy? That was a watermelon, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Yep, here you go. I found it. It was a watermelon, but, uh... Is that... Could it be? Aubrey snatched the stuffed toy from you. Hey, Cal! Look, it's my stuffed toy! <laughs> what the heck? Where'd you get that? Omori found it! Lucky for me, I've got some real friends. Serves you right, Cal. She know better than pick on others. But Aubrey started it. She was the one making fun of me for the mole on my... On your... What? Mm. Mari and Basil invited us for a picnic at the playground. Did you want to go see them? Yes, I do. All right, everyone. Let's go see Mari and Basil. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Now, chat. Chat. Are we, we're in class now. How do we pronounce this word? That's definitely not Basil. Basil. Is this cannabis? Yes. <laughs> checkmate, checkmate. I I'm a knucklehead by trade. That's how it goes. Oh, wow, we're really going at- Did make a toilet? Bro. What is- the Actual sandcastle, that's badass. Well, we built some sandcastles, that's pretty sick. <laughs> you are afraid of drowning, yeah. That's- That, I have to say, on my list of concerns, that is second to whatever the hell that was. Drowning, number two, the f was that number one what do you mean there wasn't anything there don't gaslight me is that basil mari basil oh hello aubrey hello everyone how are you all doing today that was being mean to me again oh no not again how could he <laughs> i'm not being mean aubrey's just being all whiny well cal you've just made a very convincing point <laughs> now i don't know who to believe settle down you two why does he always have to be like this chin up hero Look at you being all responsible. I really like that about you. <laughs> Come on, Mari. Not now. Oh, Hero, you know I'm just teasing. You're so cute when you get all flustered. While we were waiting for you guys, Basil and I were going through this photo album. Did you want to join us? Basil, Basil, get a load of this. Come on, Basil, take a picture of me. Flower crown. We think in something soft-spoken. Sorry, Kel. I only take photos of people when they least expect it. You like to take p photos of people acting naturally when they're not in front of the camera, right, Basil? Yeah. There's something special about everyone living their own lives. Those are the moments I want to capture. So, like, we just have to pretend you're not there? <laughs> yeah, I guess you can put it that way. Sure, I can do that. Do you want to show us your photo album now, Basil? Here. This way we can all see. Aw, cute pictures. I like this. Why are they all in color and I'm not? What's up with that? Everyone's eating watermelons. <laughs> it's a scene of the crime. <laughs> <laughs> Stole the stuffed toy and stuck it in a watermelon. It's a scene of the crime. This is literally moments before disaster. <laughs> These photos are also charming, Basil. You really know how to capture the moment. I'm just gonna do my normal voice for Hero. Thanks. I didn't take all of them, though. Mari likes to steal my camera sometimes. Only sometimes. Hey, I have an idea. Did you all want to come hang out at my house? I just finished planting some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. 
Come on, they're really cute. <laughs> yeah, sure, that sounds fun. Let's go. Hmm, I think I'll set this one out. You all go on and enjoy yourselves. But if you ever feel weary, you can always stop by one of my picnics. I'll always have some refreshments ready. Aw, thanks, Mari. You're always doing so much for us. Bye, Mari. We'll see you again soon. Run along and have fun now. You know where to find me. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Whoa! What's that ugly plant creature? Don't you know, Cal? That's a sprout mole! Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures but become dangerously vicious when they're lost. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that. You're stomping all over the flowers. You don't want to make me angry. Wait, it looks like the Sprout Mole's angry. Like us, Sprout Moles also feel emotions. Since the Sprout Mole is angry, its attack is higher. But on the other hand, it has a lower defense. So what you're saying right now is it's a perfect time to strike! Come on, Omori, let's do this! I'm just bonking this guy on the noggin. Just smacking him upside the head. Bonk, 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 bonk. Dude, the attacks look fantastic. The music is great. Animations are great. It's awesome. Ah, uh, most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Oh no, not again. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop twirling. You're destroying all of the flowers. Don't kill the Sprout Mole, that's mean. Well, he started it. I mean, Basil asked nicely. Like, I'd say w was adequately warned, right? Huh. We seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats angry. Angry beats sad. Sad beats happy. Here, I even drew up a, gu a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you'll get the point. I put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. Oh, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Whoa, what are these flowers called? They're, they're all cool and spiky. Actually, Kel, this is a cactus. Dumbass. And it's funny that you ask because they remind me of you. Is it because he's a prick? <laughs> ah, not another sprout mole. It's all good, Basil. We got the hang of it by now. We have to murder him because he, he might stomp some flowers, but he's sad, so I don't even really... We, we instigated the fight here, right? So I'm not really sure... I'm not really sure about this one. What are... I killed your children. I'm so sorry. This is gonna really mess your day up, bro. Uh-oh. Notice anything different, Omori? You should see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number on the side. This is our collective energy. By using energy, we can defeat this foe together. Just attack and you'll see. Can't believe you're a sprout murderer. Wait, whoa, what? Whoa, interesting. Wait, why am I sad? Did I get bonked on the nog and I'm just like, oh, my friends hate me. Let's pep talk my dude. Wow. Interesting. So there are like different interactions I can take. Oh, look at me. I'm so happy. Phew, man, this guy's really tough. When he attacked us, did you notice that our energy went up? When we take damage, we can also gain energy. Think of it as a chance to make a comeback. Okay, special attack. Dude, we just Dragon Ball z this guy. 300 damage. Wow, you guys. That was so amazing. Yeah, that was nothing. <laughs> I've taken down way bigger guys than that. I should teach you some of my skills one of these days. Basil, I know you're not the type that likes to fight, but it's good to know how to defend yourself too. Omori, you should know. When we gain XP and level up, sometimes we'll also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wide range of effects, but each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. A bit like a Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, we know. Can we go to Basil's house now? Okay, that's all I had to say. Patience, Cal. Bro, you live in a shoe. Say cheese. Oh, came out kind of blurry. Well, that's okay. That gives a character. Hope you don't mind the photo. Of course we don't mind. I want to see it. Oh, uh, sure thing. We all look so cute. How's my hair? I want to see. I want to see. Oh, hey, Omori. Did you want to look at the photo too? It's too bad that it came out kind of blurry, but you all still look so cute. I should add it to my collection. Move over, Aubrey. I can't see. Hey, stop pushing. You already had your turn. Get out of my way, Kel. Wait, hold on. There's no need to fight. Me first. No, me. Oh, stop it. You guys are knocking me over. Whoa, look what you did. Uh, whoops. Basil, I'm so sorry. Are you okay, Basil? You two are in big trouble now. This is why the both of you need to learn how to get along. I'm sorry, we didn't mean it, Hero. Please don't tell Mari. It's... It, 
it's okay. Don't worry about it. Accidents happen. Here's your photos. Doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Let's put them back in your photo album together. Thank you, hero. Let's go inside my house first. Remember to wipe your feet before you come in. Is there gonna be like dead bodies in the attic or something? I'm noticing a distinct lack of occult markings. Um, I may have misread the situation. I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil. Even though at least half of it was Kel's fault. Yeah, I promise not to fight with Aubrey ever again. Unless she starts it. Don't worry about it. I know you only wanted to see my photo album. Thanks for helping me put it back together. Uh, what? That's strange. Photo must have been loose. Huh? What is this? Did I take this photo? Bruh. 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 That face doesn't bring confidence. Something about it seems... so familiar. No. No! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! What is going on? That can't be. Mari. Give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out. Where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? Cat, 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 save, 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 save! Why are there heartbeats? What is happening? Stab! Stab! What are you doing? These are all our memories together. They're a little sad now. On account of you, you know, stabbing yourself with that knife. We should be happy that they happened at all. Unlike when you, you know, stabbed yourself with the knife. Let's make some new memories together, okay? Ideally not of you stabbing yourself with a knife. Bro, it's so dark. Mom's voicemail. Hey, Sonny, it's Mommy. I'm still in the city setting things up for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? Mover's gonna be here in our house in a few days, so I left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. Also, sorry. Mommy messed up. Forgot to tell the electric company that we need a few extra days before we move, so the lights might cut out sometime tonight. Kel's been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put our house up for sale. He's been calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a little lonely. Maybe you should pay him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. You are hungry. What if I just went back to bed? Very, very comfortable bed. Go back to bed, then. Go back to bed. Go back to bed. It's so dark. Do <laughs> you want to go downstairs? <sighs> Send it. I'm coming for you, aliens. Monsters. I'm going. I'm going, dude. Uh, I've got a knife. All I'm saying, I have a knife. I will stab. Back to bed. Back to bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. Yes. Go to sleep. Look. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. We're going to bed. We're going to bed. We're all comfy. We're sitting on the covers, baby. No, don't. Go back to the other guys. <laughs> Interesting. You look a lot like our main character, friend. I am terrified. Absolutely petrified. That noise. You joking? I got an idea. I'm going to play from all the way back here. How about that? Oh, looks like I am going to die. That's, that's unfortunate. Darn. Oh, nuts. You're hungry? Well then, go get some food! Knife, 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 knife. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Demons, demons? Whoa! Wanna come at me, demons? You wanna come at me, demon? I'm gone, bro. I'm gone, I'm dead. Whoa, we're dead, sick. Are we safe? Scared. This isn't even scary. This isn't even scary. This is a game for babies, dude. Cold steak. Hell yeah, I'll take some cold steak. Cold steak is still steak. Steak is good. Microwave steak. Not the best steak. A <laughs> lovely, well done steak. Well, throw some A1 on that and it'll make a freaking tire taste decent. Uh, would you like to eat some? Hell yeah. I'll take well done steak better than not having any food at all. Isn't the electricity out? So I thought so too, but then the thing turned on. So Are you sure the steak was microwaved? I just ate raw beef. I just had like a big bag of hamburger and I'm like, what if I just ate that, huh? Oh, your stomach didn't agree with that. What if we just went back to bed? Hey, I got a great idea. No more demons, no more demons. Go back to bed, you feel sick. Do you have to go to the toilet? Trip to the bathroom should help. Okay, well, 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 cool, 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 cool. Who's at the door? Oh God, dude. <laughs> what if we just do this crazy kooky little thing and we go to the bed? 
Yes. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. F that. No. 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 Back the f up. Back up. Wait, I can't stab anymore. Interesting. It would make me feel so much better if perhaps you would consider joining me on my journey because I love cats and I would feel much less scared with cat on shoulder. I'm opening the door goodbye. I need to go hang out with my friends. They will make me feel more comfortable. I am terrified. We should go tell Mari you're okay. She's been worried sick. Mari, please save the day. I am petrified. Shit hit the fan, Mari. His eyes went all crazy. The Markiplier voice died out. Where's Basil? He's not with you, Amori. No, I'm afraid not. The last thing I remember was sorting photos with Basil in his house. Next thing I know, Waking up in a neighbor's room with Aubrey and Cal. At least we found you, Omori, but I hope Basil's okay. Who's gonna protect him if we're not there? Don't be such a downer, Aubrey. We'll find Basil for sure. You're absolutely right, Kel. It's at times like these when we gotta stay positive. Why don't we go back to Basil's house? There might be something we missed. Aww. A mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. This is not a setup for me getting the shit scared out of me later in the game. Definitely not, right? Exactly. You should keep checking that mirror many times. I will check that mirror a hundred times if you're telling me that it'll be scary. If you're telling me that I'm gonna get scared. No, it's gonna change their faces, isn't it? They're gonna get all scary. No, dude. I. You know what? Let me... I'm going, look, you know how there's like, there's speed runs, right? And then, you know, in like, in like Mario 64, there's like minimum A presses and stuff like that. I'm going for <laughs> minimum jump scares. Let's do that. Let's do that because I have heart palpitations. <laughs> I, I literally, I started playing Outlast, my first horror game ever, and I got like 30 minutes into it and started having heart palpitations. Shit was like not fun for me. Gotta get back. Oh my! Get them out! Please! Get out your head! Nope. Nope! No, sir. No. Maybe I just need to get used to it because I have played like two or three scary games at this point and they weren't even that scary, but I don't know. Resident Evil is kind of breaking me of that. What? That son of a bitch. Do you think Basil just left somewhere without telling us? I don't know. That doesn't sound like him. He's usually so considerate about these things. Mm. Guys, I'm really worried. There's nothing we can do. What if we can't find him? What if he's in danger? Stay calm, Aubrey. I'm worried too, but that won't solve anything. Let's go look around the forest. Maybe he wandered off and got lost. Yeah, cheer up, Aubrey. We'll find Basil. <laughs> you guys are right. Okay, we gotta keep our hopes up. Let's go look for Basil in the fast forest. Surely there won't be any spiders or anything that way. That wouldn't kill the man streaming this video game in front of you right now. That wouldn't do that. <laughs> Basil! Basil, where are you? I know. I bet my pet Rock will know what to do. Hector, be a good boy. Go find Basil. Dude, what a legend. Go, Hector, go. <laughs> <It's a> <laughs> this game has Undertale charm. You tried your best, buddy. <laughs> this is no time to fool around, Cal. Hey, why'd you... Hector was just trying to help. Let it go, you two. Just need to keep ourselves focused. Jax? Dude. Landmines. That's what they are. Worse than a freaking Lego, man. Have you ever been impaled by a jack before? I I've been cut by a jack by stepping on a small jack before. It's not fun. It's really not fun. I can see why they'd add that as like a weapon. Let's go. We killed the bunny. Killing bunnies. Finding landmines hidden in watermelons. This game's amazing. Uh... I don't know, guys. I don't think Basil's in this forest. We haven't even searched the whole forest yet. We can't stop now. Cheer up, Aubrey. We'll keep searching until we find him. If we don't find Basil soon, maybe we should meet up with Mari at the playground and figure out what to do from there. Is that a sad bunny that I'm going to murder? No way. Only good bunnies a, a smushed bunny. That's what I like to say. He actually, did he even attack? I don't think he even attacked. He just was sad and I just beat him to death. This is a pretty long ladder, huh? It's pretty tall, but it's not as tall as the one east of the stump. That one goes all the way up to space. You're really afraid of heights, aren't you, Amori? It's okay. We don't have to look up there. Watermelon. More landmines. Sick. F off. F 
off. Dude, I'm getting sick of this shit. I'm getting sick of it. Her friend? No, very far from her friend, I would argue. Maybe the farthest you could be from a friend. Hi, I'm the wise rock. I give solid advice in exchange for clams. Bad advice? Hell yeah, let's go. Understood. Here's your advice. Don't be ugly. I hope this helps. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, wise rock. I appreciate that. Wait, I can get more bad advice? Dude, this is amazing. Here's your advice. Don't be ugly. But what if we go for the three P? What if we go for the triple? Here's your advice. Don't be ugly. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Have you found Basil yet? Hey, Mari. No look so far, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, guys. I wish there was a way I could help more. We're all doing our best. Maybe we should start looking outside this forest. I know. Why don't we try climbing that really long ladder? The one east of the stump. Oh, Mori. You're growing stronger and stronger every day. You can handle climbing a ladder, can't you? Come on, little bro, face your fears. I don't know about this. Do you think you're gonna be okay, Omori? Yeah. Okay, if you're okay with it, then I'm okay with it too. But if you get scared, you can always count on me to back you up. Thanks, Omori. You've got some real courage. Bye now, stay safe. Remember, Omori, you're stronger than you think. Don't worry, we'll be right behind you. Yeah, and if you fall, we'll be right here to catch you. Hell, don't scare him. You won't fall, Omori. I promise. Be gone, demons. Wait, hold up, guys. Dude, where is he? I just had him. Where's who? Hector, my pet rock. I swear I just had him in my pocket. No! Hector! Must have fallen out of my pocket when I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, Hector. I should have been more careful. What's the big deal? It's just a rock, right? Don't you dare say that. He's not just a rock. He's family. Don't worry, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sure it'll turn up soon, Cal. Probably. I sure hope so. Wait for me, Hector. I'll fight you, I promise. Otherworld. I love how Mari's just here. Omori did not succumb. Dude, that's crazy. Man literally too angry to die. Wow, floating mirror. Your friends warmly smile behind you. One of these days, that's going to really mess my day up, I feel. Halt, children. You are now entering the vicinity of Captain of the Space Pirates, the Master of the Solar System, the Prince of the Universe, the one and only Captain Space But I mean... Or, you are entering the house of space boyfriend. Whoa, the captain of the space pirates lives here? That's awesome! I want to be a space pirate too! Yeah, well, so did I once. Space boyfriend doesn't do much these days, so most of the space pirates got fed up and left with the main shit. Just us stragglers here doing all of space boyfriend's chores and whatever. Yesterday, me and the guys spent the day cleaning and throwing away all his trash. Oh, I'm sorry. That sounds awful. Maybe we can talk some sense into him. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Captain Space but I mean, Space Boyfriend's got two sides to him, you see. Oh, well, we should at least try. You never know. He might know something about how to find Basil. Or maybe he'll know where to find my pet rock, Hector. I'm sure he'll know that. I'm sure he will. <laughs> yeah, sure, that too. Dude, me and Hero are the same. What are we waiting for? Let's go see him already. Sorry about, her, about your job, sir. It'll get better soon, I promise. Uh, thank you, little lady. I sure hope so. Hello. <laughs> Uh-oh. Captain Space but I I mean, Space Boyfriend doesn't look so good. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Hey, Space Boyfriend, wake up! Hell. <coughs> My precious sweetheart. Oh, he sounds so sad. There must be some way to help him. Where do you run off to now? Oh no, not again. Space boyfriend's feeling the heavy blues. Yeah, my guy, this'll cheer you right up. Uh, why isn't anything playing? Oh no, the boom box. It's empty. <laughs> it's never gonna wake up now. Or even worse, he's gonna wake up angry. Someone must have thrown away a special mix table we were cleaning. What's the big deal? It's just a cassette, right? Well, you see, whenever Space Boyfriend's away from Sweetheart, he gets really sad and lies in bed all day. The only way to snap him out of it is by playing his special mixtape. There's only one in the universe like it. Oh, I see. Space Boyfriend isn't sick, he's lovesick. If Space Boyfriend stays like this, the once great coalition of space pirates will be lost for eternity. That sucks. Wait, where are you going? We should help him out. You should know that it really sucks to lose something important to you. Don't you dare bring Hector into this. I'm talking about when you stole my stuffed toy! I don't remember anything like that. Oh, sweet. Sweetheart, my perfect goddess, <laughs> my sweet jelly filled donut. I think he's getting worse. What should we do, Omori? Should we help him? Nah. Oh, please, Omori. I really think he needs our help. If you were sick in bed, you'd want someone to help you too, right? No. Is this one of those things where you can say no like a thousand times and then it'll go, okay, okay. 
maybe not. Okay, you want to know something insane that just popped up into my head? So spoiler to custom Robo for the Nintendo GameCube. So what you have to do is you have to go to, I think to space or something and and then fight like the final boss or whatever but you do have an option your main character is brandon you can say i'll go or i'm not going right well we're not gonna force you are you sure you're not coming and then you say i'm not going you can change your mind at any point you're a coward is that what you're saying you're really not coming i'm not going you just say it over and over again just like daring the game and they're just like no for real for real like you're, you're gonna come with us though right and you're and just over and over and over again you say that you're not going this is maybe the best uh bad ending i've ever seen in a video game just <laughs> it just keeps going okay then if that's how you feel fine we'll go on our own i didn't have any idea this was gonna happen this messed me up the human race was exterminated. Thanks to you, the whole human race was wiped out and I died. Like, I had no clue this was coming. Next time, think a little more carefully before you go picking the wrong answer. Is there anything else? Got it. <laughs> I, I doubt that happens with Omori, but that is what just popped up in my head. Yeah, I guess we'll help him. Whatever. Not really giving me the option. Junkyard key. Let's go. Assuming, assuming we do go back to Sunny, which you would not introduce a character and then not have any reference of it in the future. Wait, can I go in here? What is this? Yeah, let's disturb it. Why not? Oh, uh... party was victorious 600 xp wow that's a lot of xp let's go wait i just destroyed the world hold on really this is what happens during the custom robo bad ending <laughs> uh, we really done it now dude i hope the captain won't be too mad when we tell him his favorite planet is missing you know how he gets when he's angry all right junkyard time let's go let's go nothing bad will happen here it will all be fine and happy and everything will be good hey look i found a can you got a can sick kel you're awesome <sighs> I guess that's a start. Ooh, we got special abilities. Peg, smack. Just home run derbied that thing. Wow, that was pretty sick. Bro, what is... That's a Kool-Aid man! Life jam guy. Hiya, kids! I'm the Life Jam guy! I sell Life Jam! It really works! Would you like a free demo? Wait, what? Uh, Goose of Wisdom, welcome, welcome, welcome to the queue. Please enjoy your stay. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh oh. How do you like my free demo? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you loved it. Very good, yeah? So, would you like to buy some live jam? Oh, it costs you 250 clamps. No. You will need it late. Bro, that's so ominous. Why the Why are you here? That is extremely appetizing. I thought it was a turkey, I swear to God. I thought it was a turkey. Streamer advocates for cannibalism. <laughs> Eats his own kind live on stream. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. You, you saw nothing? Found the D, guys. Well, that is an obstacle. That was incredibly satisfying. If you are ever in need of any giant cheese eating services again, you know who to call. Goodbye, friends. And she floated away. Okay, that was weird. Shh. All right, little Sproutling. After countless hours of digging and digging, this one-of-a-kind ultra-exclusive special mixtape finally belongs to me. Rosa, the number one sweetheart fan in the world. With this one-of-a-kind addition to my collection, I will finally surpass all those lame posers out there. Wait. Oh no, this special mixtape, it smells like doo-doo. Hold on, did she say she found a special mixtape? That's what we've been looking for. What's the matter, are you jealous? This special mixtape is mine. I'll never give it to you, not now, not ever. Hey, we didn't come all the way out here for nothing. If you don't give us a special mixtape, we'll have to take it by force. 
Ugh, such savage behavior. Violence never solved anything, you know? I'm much too refined for this nonsense. Farewell, peons. See you never. Wait, come back. Hurry, Omori, after We can't let her get away. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, you're dead. You're dead, you're dead, bro. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. You're de you're de okay, never mind. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. I'm gonna catch you, I'm gonna catch you, I'm gonna catch you, I'm gonna get. How did the. <laughs> Rosa, we finally caught you. Now give us back the special mixtape. What's with her? Hey, Rosa, can you hear us? Huh. I wonder why she isn't responding. Let's take a closer look. Do not cross, huh? 404. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, what? I like this. I like this. I'm a fan. Um, we're so close. Yeah, look at us go. What just happened? You took the special mixtape from Rosa. Huh? What in the world? Hey, that's mine. Give it back. No way, it's Finders Keepers. We're putting this back in Space Boyfriend's boombox where it belongs. Oh, you ignorant child. Haven't you heard the latest news? I have a very reputable source who tells me that Space Boyfriend and Sweet have long since parted ways. Why do you think this special mixtape is in the junkyard in the first place? It's because Space Boyfriend threw it away himself. Space Boyfriend threw away the special mixtape himself. Uh, that's not good. Hold it right there. We finally found you, Pluto. There's no escape. Oh my god. Oh no. My gigantic, well-defined arms and legs are given out. I can't let it end like this. I need to find a hiding place. You need a place to hide, huh? Ah, I got it. You can rest easy now. I got this all under control. <laughs> Dang it, we lost him. Hey, you kids, we're looking for a high-profile, very expensive rogue planet named Pluto. He's a big, circular, grayish guy with huge, bulging muscles. Kind of hard to miss. Have you seen him? Um... No, uh, I can't say we have. Really? Well, that's life. Come on, dude, let's keep searching. We'll find him eventually. Okay, sir, the coast is clear. Oh my god. Genius. <laughs> Such quick thinking. I'm impressressed. You have my eternal gratitude. What are your names if I'm, if I may ask? I'm Hero. These are my friends Aubrey Kell and Amori. Oh, I see fine names for fine young people. My name is Pluto and I'm a rogue planet. A vagabond, if you will. I do apologize for causing everyone so much trouble, but I feel that it is not my purpose to act as a mere yard decoration. I want the freedom to roam the skies I please, like the birds and the stars. If that makes me a rogue planet, then so be it. They can call me what they please, so long as I'm free to do as I please. Whoa, Kel, are you crying? <laughs> Such raw emotion. <laughs> I'm touched. That was beautiful, Pluto. Now at long last, I'm finally free to follow my lifelong dream of running my own transportation company. I'm gonna call it Pluto Space Line. How's that for a smooth ride? <laughs> Comfortable environment, relaxing music. I give it a five out of five stars. Mmm, says you. Can't even feel my arms. Kel, I have to say, you did a great job holding on for dear life back there. You have potential to be very strong. Let me teach you a skill that might even be useful in the future. <clears throat> Repeat after me. When I flex, I feel my best! Now you try. When I flex, I feel my best. Whoa, that felt amazing. I'm pumped. Hmm. Could use a little work. But nevertheless, you've definitely got the power within you. Take this lesson and use it well. Farewell, children. Until next time. Amazing. What a character. Amazing. Dude, every time I click that button, my hands just start sweating. Well, I'll be, you kids really did it. It's a little dirty, but that's our missus special mixtape for sure. 
Thanks a lot, my guy. With this, we'll finally be able to wake up Space Boyfriend. Kel reached into your pocket and took out the special mixtape. Actually, about that, we might have some bad news. We heard a rumor that Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart, well, they broke up. What? Did they really? For real this time? Oh no, but that would mean... That there's no point in playing him the special mixtape anymore. All hope... is lost. Hey, Space Boyfriend, we got your special mixtape back. Uh... You can at least thank us. Oh, don't be so down, Space Pirate Guy, it's just a rumor. Even if it's true, it's not the end of the world. People go get over breakups all the time. I'm sure Space Boyfriend will be back on his feet soon. He just needs some time to readjust. Oh, I know. I'll blast a special mixtape on his boombox. He's got to wake up to that. In that case, we probably should just get rid of the special mixtape after all. Listening to the songs might be way too emotional for him. Give it here, Amori. I'll keep it safe. Yeah, it wasn't there. Huh? Where is it? I seem to have completely missed Kel picking it out of my pocket. Kel, what are you doing? No! <laughs> Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. What is that? Infernal Racket! <laughs> Darn it, Kel, look what you did! Fear me, for I have awakened! Hmm. One second. Mm. <laughs> Much better. Now where was I? Ah, uh, yes. That wench, sweetheart. She's gonna pay for leaving me. I did everything for her. I gave everything to her. Everything! You hear me? That ungrateful little... Ugh. Ah! I'm gonna find Sweetheart, and I'm gonna make her pay! Sorry, but we can't let you do that, Space Boyfriend. Or should I say... Space Ex-Boyfriend! Interesting. You want to challenge me? Do you even know who I am? I am captain of the space pirates! I control all the planets in the solar system and have the ability to fly through space at will! The power of the entire universe is at my command! Okay, I'm down, I'm down. Alright, how we doing? How we doing, how we doing? Interesting, that worked, that worked. Pass to Omori, make him sad. Stabby, stabby time, let's go. Bonk. Mm. Right in the heart. Hell yeah, let's go. We need to save up some special meter. Because I think a special attack is going to be what we need. This is like a boss fight, right? Yeah, Aubrey's just getting absolutely walloped. Just over and over again. It's not ideal. Ugh, how are you still moving? I, I won't let you defeat me. Oh, enraged? Wait a second, hold on. Uh, that's probably not good. That's probably not good? Oh, he actually died this time. You should have thought twice before challenging me. You are nothing but earthly scum! Oh, yeah! Oh, wow, 83? Jeez. Aubrey going for it. Out of my way, earthly scum! This is your last chance! Oh wow. Oh, we go for a we go for it. We go for it. Send it. Send it. Oh, that's it. That's game, buddy. Oh, that's game. There's no way that you can't survive this. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Oh, let's go. Oh. I hurt. It. <laughs> we won! We beat a man to death that's grieving his uh, relationship ending. We're morally justified. He was gonna do bad things or something. I found an eye patch. Hey guys, there's an eye patch on that dead body we just beat to death. Guys, guys, I just found an eye patch. My other half must have gotten the better of me. 
I must apologize. Your actions were likely well justified. I hope I didn't cause you too much trouble. Uh, it's no problem. Well, not too much anyways. Yeah, we're glad to help. You just go ahead and get some rest. I'm afraid no amount of rest can truly heal a broken heart. I, j I must find another way to get over this. Gather the rest of the crew. Let's go to the frozen lake and get some snow cones. Resting in bed may not fix a broken heart, but eating snow cones with friends might help. Also, you don't have to call me Space Boyfriend anymore. I'm Captain Space Boy. Wait, what does this mean? Whoa! The captain is back. I can't wait to tell everyone. Let's go, dude! Right behind you, buddy. I can't thank you enough for what you've done. Who knows what would have happened to me and my crew if you all didn't show up. Oh, it was nothing. We're just glad you're feeling like yourself again. You have my thanks. If you ever need anything from me and the Space Pirates, please don't hesitate to ask. Actually, I can't believe I forgot about this, but we're actually looking for our friend Basil. He wears a flower crown and always carries his photo album on him. Kind of sounds like Markiplier. Have you seen him around? No, I'm afraid I haven't. But if I do see anything, you'll be the first to know. Is that the F? Oh no, it's the E. Press E. E, 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 E. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna follow the bloody footprints and we'll see what happens. Hello, everyone. How's the search for Basil going? Well, uh, seems like we've taken a little detour. Just trying to help those in need, you know? Look, Mari, I got a snow cone ticket. Well, that's very nice, Aubrey. Thanks. Mari, look what we could do. <laughs> that's very nice too, Cal. I know, isn't it? It's so strange. We've searched all over the place, but we haven't seen a hint of Basil anywhere. Oh, Basil. I wonder where he could have gone. There must be something we're missing. Do you have any leads, Amori? Uh, well, generally, it seems as though there may be bloody footprints on the floor, and I am going to follow those and see where they lead. I'm gonna fight you. I will fight you. I will punch you in the mouth, brother. It's demon fighting time. It is deep. Why? Where did everybody go? Is everybody? There's nothing here. Why? Brother, you cannot do this to me. Watermelons are my favorite part of summer. I like watermelons too. Me and Omori, we got a lot in common. I will fight you. I will fight you, kid. I will fight you, kid. I'm gonna punch you, dude. I'm. Oh, oh we're gonna have a problem. We're gonna have a problem. Ooh, birthday cake. A wish? But what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. Well, my cake just disappeared, so there's one thing you could wish for. It looks like a spaghetti. Uh, that doesn't look like cookies to me. That looks like straight up just a piece of a plate of spaghetti. And I do like spaghetti plates. I really do. I'm a big fan. And it just disappeared. So now we have two things we could wish for. We can wish for a plate of spaghetti and we can wish for a birthday cake because both of those things were, were mirages apparently. And apparently we're just not going to have them. Presents. I bet they're, they're not going to disappear, are they? This year, you just get one present from all of us. What is that? What is that? I, 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 okay. What, what this is, is a cruel joke and i'm not a big fan you put puzzles in my face you put a plate of spaghetti a cake basically what we're getting to here is that it's time to fight some demons because they've taken my spaghetti and i'm going to fight you for it it's time to fight some demons f respects let's go because the cake died f for the respects for the cake f pre press f for respects for the cake please thank you pay pay respects to the that scared me are their faces scratched out am i losing it they scratch out the faces in a family portrait. That's fine. What the f are you? I'm gonna fight you! No! Fine. I I'll stab myself again. And then we're probably gonna become Sonny again, right? We'll probably take control of him. Oh, wow. I'm dead. Look at me. And then... Oh, it's... If we... If we're getting Sonny again, it's demon fighting time. I will dome any demons that run at me. I swear to God. At the time, I saw everything. Why are papers falling? When you stood here before... Hold on. Do you see it too? Something behind you? Three days left. Well, that's ominous. I don't know how I feel about that. How's it going, buddy? <gasps> Sunlight, look at me go. Oh my God, thank you. Oh, no more, no more scary demons. Beautiful day outside, but inside is better. What if I just went back to bed, huh? What if I just did that? What if I just went back to bed? Hold on. They've been knocking for a long time. Well, they need to wait because I'm, I haven't gotten my baseball bat yet. Wait, do I have any armor I can, wait, I don't have anything. Wow. So I have like no defense, but I do have a steak knife and that is good. I can stab some demons with that steak knife. And that, that is the whole thing that we're going for right now. So hello, hello, Sonny. Are you there? Do you remember me? It's your old friend, Cal. Not Cal. Wait, is it? So I... 
uh, I noticed the for sale sign in front of your house. Oh, it is Cal, okay. And I, uh, heard m from my mom that you're moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go, or whatever. For old time's sake, you know? No, oh, we're not opening the door. I'm not opening the door. I'm not doing that. I'm not opening the door. The door, the door, that's not, that's not, that's not happening. I'm not opening the door. Uh, I'm tired. Ooh, I'm tired. Ooh, I'm so tired. You know what? Actually, f*** that. I'm gonna go fight some demons. Actually, f*** that. I'm going to bed. Actually, f*** that. I'm gonna go do my chores. Actually, I don't feel like doing my chores. I'm gonna go to bed. Actually, let's play a video game. Dude, I gotta play a video game. I'm a winner! Get it twisted. <laughs> the big win is right ahead, I promise. Oh my god, you're gonna give me a 17? You're joking. I'm staying. Uh, I lost. Great, cool. No, that's awesome. Okay, so we're down, but we're good. We're gonna hit. Hit, hit, hit me. Uh, 15? Ah, we busted. Great. Awesome, awesome. We're gonna lose all our money. That's great. I'm a winner! Look at me win. I'm going... Dude, let's go. We have 100 bucks. I'm gonna bet 100 bucks. Let's do it. Oh, you're kidding me. You really just did that. You really just did that. You just did that, really, huh? Ty, all right, all right, all right, all right. Two ace. Let's go. We're gonna hit. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Five, six, or 15. We'll hit again. Six, eight, 18. Dude, dude, we're gaming. Wait a second. I, I'm, I'm actually crushing it right now. We're gonna stay. Dude. Dude, my mom is gonna be so... Stoked. She's gonna come back and, and be like, hey, I, I, you know, I didn't have enough to get everything I wanted from the furniture store, but, you know, I got, uh, I, I got some fun, some good stuff for a new place, and then I want to be like, so, you gonna go back? <laughs> Hey, we got some, we got some cash, baby. Um, wow, dude. We lose? Are you kidding me? No, okay. I just lost again. Uh, we still have 400 bucks. We still have 400 bucks. Fine. Right on the money at 21. You're joking. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Dude, dude, we're making a comeback. Easy money, easy money, easy money, baby. What are you talking about? This is the easiest money I ever made in my life, dude. This is bullshit. <laughs> Dude, I am taking them for all they're worth. Look at me go. F you. That's a, that's a, okay, fine. It sucks. Okay. That's a dub, baby. That, f that's okay. We're still getting, that's terrible. That's terrible. We're going to lose all our money. This is it. Shit. All right. Dude, we get another 100 bucks. You kidding me? Hell yeah, let's go. I did not mean to hit there. <laughs> Fastest bankrupt percent. That's what that was. <laughs> Rip bozo. Whatever. Let's open the door. Hell yeah. Let's go. It's door opening time, baby. It's demon fight time, baby. Let's go. Let's go. It's time to find some demons. Ready to go. Let's open the door, baby. Let's go. Find some demons, baby. Come at me, you sons of bitches. Bring it on. I'm ready for it. Okay, so I may have misread the situation. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, Sonny. I really didn't expect you to come out today, so I don't really have a game plan here. Hey, I know, let's go to Hobbies. It's a hobby shop in Faraway Plaza. You remember the way, right? We used to go there all the time when we were kids. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. I completely misread the situation. I, I was expecting demons and there were no demons, but the fact that you just sat there and knocked at the door for, for that long, is a bit concerning. Wait, why does he have his pet rock nut? That's a Tamagotchi, that's not a rock. Is this a, it, does this predate the main story maybe? Cause he lost his rock and we didn't go find it. This is really weird. Hello youngins, I see you have some trash with you. Thanks, I'll be sure to dispose of this properly. Here's a hundred, here's a dollar for your help. <laughs> Dude, this is this is this is true next level RPG gameplay right here. Picking up bags of trash and then making dollars. Like hell yeah, let's go. Well, here we are at Hobbies. It's probably been a while but, since you were here, but it hasn't really changed all that much. It's just, it's all the same old stuff. Captain Space. Huh? It's all the same old stuff. Captain Space Boy games, sweet art movies, a few pet rocks. Except now they're vintage. Actually, since we're here, I probably should buy a gift for Hero. He's in college right now, but he should be coming back sometime tomorrow. This. Yes, this is perfect. Papa Chips chip off the old block cookbook. Hero had a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog Hector destroyed. 
Hector? Hector? Pet Rock? Hector? What is happening here? $20? This is extortion. Shoot, I left my wallet at home. Uh, can you spot me, Sonny? I'll pay you back, I promise. Thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. Let's buy a capsule. Let's do it. Let's do it. A thing. What do we get? We got a yellow keychain. Wow. Wow. We got a keychain. Wow. A gum. A purple ball. A purple ball. Dude, we're gaming. We're gaming. Surely there's going to be something weird with one of these, right? Like, this seems like a prime opportunity to get something really weird. We got $3 left. Let's go for it. Dude, I can't believe we got a three star. That's awesome. So where do you want to go now, Sonny? I guess there's really not much to do around the suburbs, huh? Oh, how about Faraway Park? Yeah, the park. We passed it by on the way here. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Why not? Uh, can we steal? Can I shoplift, perhaps? Maybe. Maybe we shoplift. We go and do a little bit of a, a petty crime. What is happening here? Is that a is this a scooter gang? What is happening? Wait, don't go, please. Sorry, dude. Can't help you. You're on your own. Uh oh. There's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. This ain't none of my business. You got beef with her? You talk to her yourself, you creep. That's Basil. Leave him alone, you bully. Huh? Who's there? Scoot on over here and I'll pop you in the nose. Asshole. Oh, it's just Kel. Ugh. Why don't you mind your own business? Why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Psh, why aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? I don't know. You found, I found cannabis, guys. I found cannabis. Crazy. Who's this? Why do you have Negan's baseball bat? What? Uh, huh? Oh, hey, Aubrey. This nerd Kel just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Kel, what do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Sonny. Sonny's here? Hello. Wow, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. Hmm. Whatever. Oh, I, I get to do his deep voice again. I get to do his deep voice. Aubrey, please listen to me. <gasps> hey, stop that. Leave it alone, Cal. This isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Ugh, Sonny, come on. We got to do something. <laughs> Are you guys really picking a fight? Sure, why not? Two of you against me? How's that sound? Come at me. I'll take on both of you. Wait, actual fight? Ooh. Okay, okay, I'm down. Ooh, wait a second. We're gaming, we're gaming, hold on. Spit on my shoe, really? 100 damage? Ah, what the, is, is that a knife? Did I just cut her? Holy shit. Oh my God. Oh my God. She had a baseball bat with nails sticking out of it. I feel no guilt here. She literally started the fight and was armed with a baseball bat that had nails hammered into it. Don't judge me. I've done nothing wrong. Oh, shoot. Aubrey, are you okay? You're, you're hurt. I'm, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding. Come on. We got to get you out of here. Ugh, I'll get you back for this. Just got to scoot away and with my, with my scooter gang. Scooter gang out. Yeah, we're, see you. Whoa, that was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife there. We would have. Wait a sec. Give me that. Kel took away your steak knife. You shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Sonny. That's dangerous. Oh no, Kel's gonna get implicated. Oh, I could see this going very badly, very fast. Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. Hey, Basil, how are you doing? I, I'm fine. Thank you. Kel. I don't know if you noticed, but Sonny's here too. Say hi, Sonny. Oh, hey, Sonny. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! What a happy reunion! So did you want to hang out with us today? Oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I should probably head home. Huh, really? Are you sure? My, uh, my grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let us at least walk you home. It's been so long since we all hung out. Oh, um, all right then. Thank you. Cat. Mal. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Okay, we're at his house. Notable difference. Not a shoe. Thanks for walking me home. No problemo. If you need anything from me, just ask, okay? 
We'll catch you later, Basil. Okay. Wait. Please don't go. Uh, I mean, I'm... I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil, what do you need? Well, you see, there's a body in my basement. Something important was taken from me when we used to be friends. Do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. Ah, uh, right. Well, Aubrey, she took my photo album and- Aubrey stole your photo album? Well, she- she won't give it back. What a scumbag! Don't you worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Sonny got you covered. Oh, okay. Thank you. By the way, about what you said before, we're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. Yeah, Aubrey deserved to get shanked. She stole Basil's photo album. Yep, it's it's time for a mo uh, You know what? Hey, let's go, let's go give her a matching stab wound to match her stab wound. <laughs> huh, looks like they're setting up for a sermon. You don't really want to spend your last days hanging out here in church, do you? What if I do, though? What, what if they're harboring a fugitive that I must stab? You know what I mean? My man's just left this house for the first time in three years going on a stabbing spree. You know it. Uh, looks like Aubrey isn't here. Oh, wait, I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? You know, Charlie. And I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil, and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? Let's go, baby! That's what we've been- that's what, that's what we've been waiting for! That's what we're talking- <laughs> Who, what, where, where, where now? What, what would you do that for? Ah, if it isn't Kel and that weird knife guy, worthy adversaries for the great mighty angel. Finally, it is time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I'll tell you what I know. But first, you must best me in battle. Do not stab me, please. Battle? But I don't want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on! Let's sick him, Charlie. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna punch Angel in the mouth. That's what I'm gonna do. Took a little bit of damage. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, we're just gonna beat a kid to death. That's- that's just how it goes. <laughs> you. You'll pay for this. How could this be? My training was all for nothing. You're the one who started it. You bully. <sighs> okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. Promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in faraway town, probably. Dang it, Angel, you better not be messing around or else. I told you I'd tell you what I know. And the truth is, I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now, or else I'll tell everyone about the time you wet your bed at summer camp. No, please, please, you can't do that. That's cheating. Anyway, I don't really know. Uh, uh maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. <laughs> He's the keeper of knowledge. <laughs> he told me that himself. The Maverick? Oh, no. You mean that weird kid, Mikhail? Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. I see. So, it is him. Where can I find Mik- I mean, the Maverick. I'll tell you what I know, but you'll have to find me first. Or I can tell everyone about the time you- Ugh. Okay, fine, I'll talk. Master went to the fountain of the faraway plaza. He said he was gonna meet some girls there for a, a date or something. Ugh, disgusting. Come on, Sonny, let's go to faraway plaza. I think we're done here. Fountain time. Oh, he's a gamer, wait. And then I told him, it's not Maverick. It's the Maverick. Oh, the Maverick, you're so funny. Oh, what an amazing story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, please. There's enough of me to go around. Mikhail, what are you doing? Uh, if it isn't Kel, my arch nemesis. Finally here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Mikhail. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? Stop calling me that. I cast away that name long ago. Fight me, you wad. Don't be a chicken. I'll be right back. Oh, fuck, motherfucker! Fuck, fucking fuck! What now, bitch? Are we really gonna do this? Okay, then. Come on, Sonny, let's take him down. Oh, Kel, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. <laughs> As expected of my rival. But I must tell you, while you were fooling around and playing sports, I studied the blade. I was honing my techniques for this very moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. Ugh. No, I won't let it end like this. No. It can't be over for me, people of Earth. Lend me your strength! <laughs> Ew, what is with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth $10. Let's get out of here. Ladies.
please, please come back. I have more money. Uh, she's wearing a wig. Mikhail. <laughs> There is no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell me where Aubrey is and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is, and I'll tell you on one condition. You must call me by my true name, the Maverick. Oh, forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Knowing him and Kim and Vance, they're probably somewhere around here. Yeah, I see them. They're right there. They're literally right there. Oh, hey, there she is. Hurry, Vance. Let's shove it all in our pockets before someone sees it. They're gonna steal their shoplifting? Holy shit. It's crazy. Can't believe anyone would ever consider doing that. Hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey anyway? Shoot, it's that nerd kill. Come on, Vance, we gotta go. Whoa, hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of the way, nerd. You don't know me. Hey, hey, hold on. I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Ugh, I've had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. I thought you said you weren't a snitch. And I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again? I thought I told you never to come back in here. Uh-oh. Hey, no, you stole the candy. Tell me we call the cops on you kids. We've been busted. Fine. Here's your stupid candy. I'm out of here. See you later, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Serves you right. This is really warm. I'm gonna take this off now. That was a fun bit while it lasted. I love how everyone's either serious man voice or squacks out. <laughs> I've got I've got a range, they say, right? Kel posits a very interesting question here, and I think we need to consider it. Come on, Sonny, let's follow them. Hold up, Sonny. I think I have an idea. Just buy some candy. Sorry for the hold up. Let's go catch Kim and Vance. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No. Not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're gonna die. Let's just go home. Wait, Kim, I have something for you. You again, Kel? What the heck do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is and I'll give you this whole big bag of candy. <gasps> wait, 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 the whole bag? I mean, uh, you, you can't buy us off with candy? Who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week and there's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it, Kim. All I'm saying, can you at least ask if he has any taffy in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to dad's house, we'll have all the candy we want. Okay, I'll do it for you, sis. Kim, Vance, I'm waiting. Huh? <laughs> like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds. Oh man, really? I was sure that'd work. This is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait, please, Kim. You're the only lead we've got. Please take this big bag of candy. We we even have taffy in here. Did someone say taffy? I see. That changes everything. Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists. If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if we win, you give us that bag of taffy and never talk to us again. Wait a sec. There's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you the whole bag. But... I want to fight. Come on, put him up, you two. It's time to duke it out. Ugh, what is it with you guys and fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. Come on, Sonny. You know the drill. It's stabbing time, boys. Oh, wow, 38 damage. Nice. Kel gets knocked out. That's unfortunate. Mm, we're still nerds. Uh, we'll just attack, I guess. I, I literally can't do anything. Like, I have no items. Dude, I'm dead. What, what am I supposed to do here? So, um, can we get that taffy now? Maybe that'll teach you to mind your own business. Come on, Kim. We gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner. Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Sure, let's get out of here. Wait, don't go. Please, Kim. I know you know where Aubrey is. Please. We're just trying to help a friend. Aubrey's at the church. The one near her house. Smell you later, nerds. They were harboring a fugitive. That's crazy. I called that shot way in the beginning. Aw, oh, nuts. They took the big bag of candy while I wasn't looking. Those two have got some sticky fingers. Oh, well... At least we know where Aubrey is now. Well, here we are. This really is the last place I would have expected her. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. I'll open the door a little to take a peek. Hmm. Looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she is on the right. Huh. She's just sitting there. All normal. So weird. Yeah, I'd feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon's over or something. It's stabbing time. Whoa, I didn't expect you to just walk in like that, Sonny. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, we have to be really quiet. Stab her quietly. That's that's what we that's what we have to do. Just just a 
quick, quick, quiet little, little stab. And the last words she ever heard? Gotcha, bitch. Aubrey. Psst, Aubrey. What the? What the heck are you guys doing here? We want you to get back Basil's photo album. You're still on about that? It's none of your business. None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business. Yeah, Cal. Exactly. We used to be friends. Mari would be really sad to hear that. Hmm, really? You want to bring Mari into this? Who cares what she thinks? She's... What the f***? What? How? What? What? Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you can't forget your old friends like that. My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So that's what this is all about. When Mari passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple? You've always been simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you could just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to him, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. Ugh. You're so persistent. You know why I come here every week? After, even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Cal. A lot changes in four years. You and Sonny think you could just barge back into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive. You might look different and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. The Aubrey you knew is long gone. And the Aubrey that was your friend? She's gone too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want, here. I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mari. No, I won't accept this. Wait, where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise me you'll give his photo album back, you thief. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Kel? And I'm the big bad bully. Here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with psychopath who carries around a knife. Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick or I'll come at you first. Bro, we are in a church, my guy. I have no health. I have no snack. I have no toy. I've got nothing. I literally can do nothing here. Like, yeah, we go for an attack. But if we get attacked first, it's over. Shortest boss fight in the history of time. Look at her clothing. It's completely appropriate for church. Oh, this is gonna go really bad. Oh, I've made a mistake. So we lost. Ah, oh, ever since her father left, she's so un uncontrollable. Disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. Oh, that's terrible. Judging in church? No! This is crazy. What an unrealistic scenario. Shoot, I know she's been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this was a bad idea. Yeah, I'll, I, I agree with that. Did you see that? Aubrey just dumped something into her trash can. Let's go check it out. Whoa, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. Can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have his photo album now. And it only took us half a day, too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five? Yes, high five him. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's give this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. Not high five and Kel's akin to not hugging Azriel. Dude, right? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Hazel, I high five. Wait, just just tell me when you're doing it at the monitor. Tell me when you, you gotta you gotta give me my cue. Here we go. Let's go, dude. Basil, it's your friends, Kel and Sonny. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait, you're not Basil. Uh, I'm sorry, my name's Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Caretaker? Oh. Hey, Kel. What uh what is it? Hi, Basil. We got your photo album back. Huh? You did? Wow. Thank you. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Sonny, free dinner. Please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have more plants than you used to. Uh, yeah, I, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came here more often. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Oh, that reminds me. Now that we got your photo album back, we can go through the photos together. Oh, uh, that's, uh, I don't know. It's been a while since you looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um... Sure. Okay. Oh man, it does look like a lot of the photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for your for herself. We'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was. <laughs> I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. I can't wait until he comes back. This year, I'll finally be the taller brother. <laughs> anyway, don't sweat out. Don't sweat it about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Sonny will take care of things for you. You just focus on going back to your happy, carefree self. Okay. Thank you. 
I'll try. Sorry about the wait. Dinner's taking longer than I thought. Would any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. Oh, that would be lovely. Please follow me. The kitchen is this way. This is very weirding me out a lot. Oh, hi, Sonny. It's nice to finally see you again. <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? Is, is, is everything okay? I'm gonna go look in your room. I'm gonna be a little weirdo. I'm gonna be a little weirdo. I'm gonna look in your room. I'm gonna raid your bed. What What are we raiding this one? Comfortable looking bed. No raiding? Camera looks really dusty. Oh, so he hasn't been taking pictures. Sonny's just a little weird, but he's a good kid. Seems like it. He did stab a girl, but <laughs> you know, apart, apart from the, you know, aggravated assault, like it, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. He's, he's, he's all right. He's all right, dude. Who are you? Oh, the grandma. A white egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. That's beautiful. Where's her oxygen? Can I turn it off? Oh, Sonny. I didn't expect to see you in here. How are you doing, Sonny? Is everything okay with you? Okay. Never mind, then. Grandma can't hear us, you know. She hasn't been feeling very well lately. It's already been four years. Hasn't it? It's nice to see that you're still around, even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think you can probably use it more than me. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but I think at the time, I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. Sunny! Basil, dinner's ready! Okay, coming. <laughs> hey, while you're at it, don't pull the oxygen cord on my grandma. That would not be very cash money of you. Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just following grandma's recipes. Thanks for your help, Kel. My older brother Hero's finally coming back from college. My mom's all crazy right now preparing the house and everything. Don't want to be anywhere near that mess. I am pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. This year is the year that I'm finally going to be taller than him. I can... Feel it in my bones. You and your brother seem close. That's good. Family is important. Oh, hey. What you doing with Basil's photo album there, Sonny? Oh, well, I I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Whoa, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Sonny's moving away and all. Oh, what? Sonny's moving? Oh, yeah. I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think. Sorry, I thought you already knew. Oh, uh, no, I, I guess I must have missed it. Sorry, um, may I be excused? I have to go to the bathroom. I'm going to investigate. What's up with him? Well, that's just how it is. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Kids are fine and normal. They are fine and normal, for sure. 100%. Hello. Whoa, what is happening? What I, what I, what I walk into, bud? You, you okay? It's our friend Bagel. It is. It is Bagel. He's, he's, he's doing great. That is terrifying. Oh, it's you. Sonny, you're here. I'm so glad. You can see it too, can't you? Something behind you. Wait. Please, Sonny. Don't leave me. Not again. Why did I leave? Go back in, you asshole. No, I didn't leave. I did not. I had no, I was not doing anything with the, the, the thumbstick. It just did. Oh, hey, Sonny. I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So yeah, anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I live just down the block. Thanks, Cal. You're sweet. <laughs> oh, no, it's nothing. Say goodbye to Basil for me. No, go back. Go back. Go back. Basil. Oh, Basil. Ah, oh, poor guy. He's always had a weak stomach. Hope he feels better soon. I'm mad, dude. This is bullshit. Hello. Mao, Mao, cat, cat. How are you? Why are you on top of the tether ball? You absolute knucklehead. What are you doing up there? Hey, Sonny. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, here's coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure I'll want to see you before you leave. So if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Hell yeah, let's go. Good night, Sonny. Sweet dreams. It's time for nightmares. It do appear we are into nightmare territory now. What is happening? Yeah, uh, this is, this is Lil, Lil Caesars. Uh, I've got, I've got your two mediums, uh, uh, right here. Um, I will kill you. All I need are these hands. I'll throw them. I will throw these hands, you son of a bitch. Do you still recognize your home? Knife time, knife time, knife time. Let's...
fucking go, buddy. That is terrifying. <laughs> oh, well, would you look at the time? It's stabbing time. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. Fine, demons. Come at me, demons. I've got a knife, demons! I'm not so much a fan of what is transpiring at this current moment in time. Nobody in chat happens to have arachnophobia, do they? I do, in fact. That is the thing I am. I'm gonna stab him in the eye! I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna stab you in the eye, you son of a bitch. You've been following me around all this time? You know what? I got a weapon this time, bitch. I got a weapon this time. I'm gonna stab him. It's stab it time, baby. It's stab it time, baby. Ooh. Oh, is that Mari? Is that... Hello. <sighs> oh my God. Take a deep breath, bud. Take a deep breath. It's okay. The nightmare, it's fine. Neutral. We're neutral. We're fine. We're neutral. We're fine. Entangled. Sticky web. This is absolutely horrific. I'm gonna punch him in the punch him in the nog. Right in the nog, baby. Right in the nog. Let's go. This is getting nowhere fast, huh, Sonny? We heal. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. You know what? It's not that scary. We're good. Oh, let's go. We're doing good. We're doing good. This this next few days is gonna be horrifying. Oh my God, f you. Time for some demon stabbing. And by that, I mean, I'm gonna sleep in my comfy bed and I am going to sleep now. Good, good night, good night, good. Well, that's a bit suspect, my friend. That's a bit suspect. You are in fact, you are in fact making me a bit uneasy. Just a bit, my man. Just a bit. Not feeling the best about this one. We love a mirror in this game. Yeah, it's um, it's not going so well. It's not going so well. And I think the nightmare is only gonna continue, and that's a great thing, isn't it? What was that? What we have learned is that there are two worlds, and I very much am confused about how they're interacting. Hey, do you think Basil could be somewhere in the part in this part of the forest? Isn't this place filled with bugs and stuff? Amori and Hero don't do well with spiders. Yo, Hero, are you okay? Huh? Oh, uh, I'm I'm just fine. Let's uh let's go see what Mari thinks first. Mari, what's up? Hello. Hey Mari, look, Amori's here. Amori. Aw, that's so sweet. Stop disappearing like that. You know my heart can't take it. Huh? So there's there's still no sign of Basil. Where could he be? We're not sure. We've been looking for him everywhere and still nothing. I sure hope Basil's okay. I miss him so much. Yeah, I miss hearing him talk about all the stuff he's into, like all the flower stuff and the photo stuff and the art stuff and the reading stuff. My hair is so tangly. I miss when Basil used to brush my hair. Amori, will you brush it for me? Well, I miss when Basil used to remind me to wash my hands. I just don't do that anymore. Ew, Kel. Kel, you should probably wash your hands anyways. Everyone, I know it's so tough right now, but we have to stay positive. We should all try to be like Basil. Even when Basil's upset, he always manages to smile. So, is there anywhere you haven't checked yet? <sighs> hey, let's go to Demon Spiderland. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. We should do that. Demon Spiderland? Anybody? Anybody? You guys down? Grab a six pack, head to Demon Spiderland? Oh boy, oh boy, I've been waiting so long for this event. It's a delightful day indeed. Oh yes, oh yes. At last, our glorious princess sweetheart will finally make her appearance. Oh my, oh my, I can hardly contain my excitement. This show is sure to be the most electrifying of them all. Oh dear, oh dear, we must hurry. Our four front row show tickets are right here. We are in for the time of our lives and must not be late. Time for a fist fight. Those are mine. Yoink, mine now. We got the show tickets. We just killed those guys and got tickets to the, to a show. That's wow. Yeah, it looks like some kind of contest or something. If we happen to pass by, we should stop and watch. We do have front row show tickets after all. Well, all right. Maybe we could drop by if we happen to come across it. Spiderland, scary Spiderland. Uh. Nah, we're good. You are no longer afraid of spiders. Dude, if it was that easy, my life would be so much easier. Amori, thanks for taking one for the team. Yep, yep, yep. No, no worries, my man. No worries. No worries. I'm no... It's crazy. I just said I'm not scared of spiders anymore, and now I'm not scared of spiders anymore. It's crazy. Ugh. On second thought, let's look for Basil somewhere else. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. Don't be such a baby, Kel. There are still some... There are just some spider webs here and there. Ah! There's a spider in your hair! What? Get it off! Get it off! <laughs> just kidding. Look who's the scared one now. That's not very funny, Kel. Chicken wing. Don't say 
a word. Spider bunnies? Are you kidding me? What a nightmare. Why is the chicken wing the perfect HP to fully heal me? Why would you... Nobody says a single word, all right? I don't want to hear a single thing from anyone, okay? Nothing. A single word? Jesus Christ. How are you handling, handling your fear of spiders, hero? <sighs> You're doing great, hero. Keep at it. Amori used to be scared of spiders too, but look at him now. Look at how brave he's being. I'm like in the fetal position, rocking back and forth. <laughs> Floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. Freaking Yogi Bear in this bitch. Um, I'm not afraid of drowning in. Whoa! That was not what you looked like. That was not what you look like. I've been misled. They baited me. Jabert. <laughs> Rare bear. That was so much damage. That only did 33. What do you mean? Oh, wow. That was 150 damage with one attack. Oh, I ate a cookie. Oh, my God. You're only half HP. This is crazy. We've got to cook. Jesse, we got to cook. Get in the van, Jesse. We got to cook. Okay. Well, Amori died. That's fun. Idea. We go for Hackaway. We go for Counter. We go for Toy. And then this. This is this is gaming. This is gaming right here. Okay. God, that's so much damage. Okay, 50 damage. Defense down. Omori slashes. Uh, that's a lot of damage. That's pretty freaking good, man. Now we can bait with Hero. Maybe we flex. And then Hero is going to charm. He's gonna just take the damage this time. Rare Bear is not super happy about that, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go, dude. All according to plan. Juice. Or not. Or not. Perhaps no. Perhaps no. Okay. Look at Omori. Goes in for the kill. 114 damage. Hell yeah, we got a rare bear down. Oh, sick. 650 XP. That's pretty good. Kind of sucks that our boy hero didn't uh, get anything out of that one. But that was intense. That was a boss fight, man. Cat. Cat. Hello. <gasps> you uh what's up guys what's good how's it going that's a nightmare that's an absolute nightmare i am not okay with that there's a bunch there's a bunch of the cats the cat spiders i don't like this i really don't like this dude i really don't like this this is a nightmare i'm never going to trust cats ever again do you know that why is rare bear back it's not so rare if there are two whoa the castle oh we're gonna meet sweetheart castle are you here castle where are you huh and doesn't look like Basil's here either. Hey, look, it's Mari. Mari, Mari. Oh, hello, everyone. You all made it through the forest. I'm so proud of you. Mari, I I was so scared. Oh, Hero, this is kind of embarrassing. <sighs> it's times like these, I really wish Basil was here. He could tell Hero about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. Maybe then he wouldn't find him so creepy. I'm not sure if that would help him right now. Oh, Hero, you're gonna have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. Can confirm. Maybe, or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. No, you won't. You never know what the future brings. I know it won't bring that. There's a lot of dead sprout moles here. That's an alarming amount of dead sprout moles. This feels like maybe a problem. Um, uh, is it angry? What is it? Is it... I don't know, man. Big worm. Yeah, big worm indeed. Oh, he's happy now? Wait a second. Wait, okay, so sad beats happy. Happy beats angry. Angry beats sad. He's happy, which means we can wreck him by being sad. And I actually have an item. I have an item that gives us all sad. Yup, 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 yup. Everybody's sad. Oh, sick. Wait a second. That worked out. That worked out. And now we're healed back up. Oh, we're gaming. He ate a sprout mole? Whoa. Oh, why did I do that? He's just gonna bonk him on the head. Oh wait, he actually threw it? Whoa. Oh, now he's happy. Well, that's counterproductive. Oh wait, did we get him? We got him. Oh, sick. Okay, that was cool. I actually used emotions and it actually worked out pretty well. Sprout Mole Village. Oh my God, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Sweetheart's quest for the or quest for hearts. 
Riveting Sweetheart. Uh, seven star. Wait, seven stars from Sweetheart. A Sweetheart production for Sweetheart by Sweetheart. Wow. I am. If I may have your show tickets, please. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Sprout Mall, sir. We have our tickets right here. Oh, oh my. I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. You, you all must have made some great sacrifices to be here today. I applaud you. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. On uh, second glance, you four are the most normal looking sprout moles I have ever seen in my life. Please enjoy your front row seats, fellow normal looking sprout moles. Wow, look at this stage. It's just as amazing as I imagined. Let's take our seats. It looks like the show's about to start. Are you ready to take your front row seats? I am. I am, in fact, ready to take my front row seats to the sweetheart show. Let's do it. Man's looking good. Look at his sunglasses. He's living. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Ah, yeah. Before our show, we wanted to take a moment to honor the life of someone who has been an inspiration to us all. Our beloved leader, Ye Old Sprout. Oh my god, we killed him. Oh, we killed him. Oh no. He was truly the father that none of us deserved. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. <laughs> we... Uh... uh, uh May he rest in peace. And now, on to the show! Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess once again failed to fall in love with any of the eligible black bachelors. This time, we've rounded up three new very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now. Contestant number one is a local of the Sprout Mole Village. He's coming in at three feet tall. His favorite food is tofu. He has a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for contestant number one! Yeah, 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 yeah. Contestant number two is, yep, you guessed it, also a local of the Sprout Mole Village. Careful, he's coming in hot at three feet and one whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His favorite color combination is brown and green, and he spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Mmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant number two! Yeah, dude. Maybe a little less cool compared to the last guy, but... And now for something completely different. Contestant number three comes all the way from the other world. It's just like he fell out of the sky, literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snaily! Bit of a lukewarm reception there to uh, Snaily. And now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most pulgritude pul pul in his face. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's all that is amazing and wonderful. She's just about to set foot on this very stage. Please give a big warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent sweetheart. Oh, man's got smited. Oh no, there's a blackout. Now what do we do? I have to know what happens next. Let's wait it out. I'm sure the sprout moles will get power back on in no time. Help, we don't know what to do. Help, we don't know what to do either. Help, 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 help. help. Well, maybe we should uh l l look around just in case <laughs> Snaily fucking dies. Well, it does appear that that may be the problem. Wow. Someone please help me. I'm in dire need of a handsome young gentleman. You there in the striped pants. You magnificent beast. Oh, yes, you look like you'll do just fine. Wow, um, uh, why, thank you. I don't know what to say. Please, kind sir, will you help out a poor lonely mole? I am in desperate need of your service. Well, since you asked so nicely, how can I refuse? Thank you, thank you, young lad. You are too generous. Please come this way now. We saw what happened to the last guy. Uh, I don't know about this one, chief. Greetings, sweethearts fans. We apologize for the short intermission. Welcome back to our regularly scheduled program. During the break, we regret to inform you that a very tragic accident has occurred right here on this very stage. <laughs> It is at this time that we announce the sudden loss of contestant number three. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds that we got to know him. He was truly a unique and irreplaceable soul. <laughs> 
But the show must go on. Please give a warm welcome to our new contestant number three, hailing all the way from the vast forest. It's our hero in shining armor. Yeah. Uh-oh. Get this, guys. Hero's a real hunk, standing at a whopping five foot seven. His passions include baking, cooking, and cleaning. And if that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. And now, once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show. Dim the lights, please. She's the one, the only, the magnificent. Hello to my stupid, adoring fans. Sweetheart, we have brought three of the best bachelors in the world to this stage. Will today be the day that one of them steals your heart? Let's start with some questions. One thing that Sweetheart values most in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. Do you, contestant one, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Contestant number one, what is your answer? Uh, um, sure. Yeah, I, I don't know, I guess. Blank hard to get, I see. What do you think about that response, sweetheart? Mm, just three feet tall? My, that is, t is much too short. Send him off to the dungeon. Oh God, oh God, please help, help, oh! Now on to contest number two. We ask you the same question. There's no right or wrong answer. Just answer truthfully. Contestant number two. Will you pledge your allegiance, your undying loyalty to sweetheart for the rest of your life. Well, um, sure. That means I won't get sent to the dungeon. <laughs> Believe it or not, jail. <laughs> My word, this one, his very being offends me. Take him away, boys. <laughs> oh god, the humanity, the human. Contestant number three, looks like you're the last one standing. I'll ask the same question one more time. Again, no pressure at all. Do you, Hero, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Undying loyalty for an eternity. Well, uh, no, that, that doesn't seem fair at all. Why would I do that? My, this one, he's absolutely immaculate. Could it be? Is Sweetheart in love what an exciting turn of events this must be fate a match made in heaven wait but i just said ah yes yes you'll do just fine now what was your name again it's uh it's it's hero man hero my hero we must go to my chambers at once guards i've chosen my suitor Take him away. Guys, please do something. Whoa, Hero's gonna marry Sweetheart? I didn't see that one coming at all. Cal, what are you saying? We have to help him. What do you want me to do about it? I don't want to go to the dungeon. Ugh, Cal, you're so useless. Hero, you have to reject Sweetheart. It's time, Hero. Your princess awaits. Oh. I don't think she's gonna listen to me. Just do it already. Okay, I'll try. Excuse me. Sweetheart, ma'am? Ah, yes, my lovely hero. How I yearn for the sound of your sweet voice. Say my name again. Wow, <laughs> that's so nice of you. I mean, <sighs> why do I have to do this? <clears throat> I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Why, whatever do you mean, my prince? I, uh, this is all really flattering and all, but you know, we, we just only met like a few minutes, a few minutes ago and, and well, I just have to reject your, uh, offer. Oh, pish posh. Don't be silly, hero, you silly Billy. It, uh, it's true. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I don't want to marry you. <laughs> this? This is preposterous. No, this. This is blasphemy. You dare reject Sweetheart. Everyone loves Sweetheart. You hear me? Everyone. Send him to the dungeon. Hey, stop right there. You can't take your He belongs to us. Ah, I see. You must be heroes, fans. The nerve of you lot. First, you make a fool out of me. Then you interrupt me during my own show. Oh, guards. Oh, you've done it, Aubrey. Oh, man. Now we're all stuck in the dungeon. Sorry, guys. It's my fault we're all in this mess. No, 
it's not Hero. No one could have predicted that would have happened. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you fools. Don't you recognize me? Oh, plot twist. Hello? <laughs> what was her? I can't remember her voice. I think I gave her a deep voice. It's me, Rosa, the number one sweetheart fan in the world. I told you that you'd all pay for crossing me. Curses, we've been bamboozled. I should have known when you were behind this, Rosa. It's true what they say. Revenge is sweet. Now rot, you peons. Rot in the dungeon forever. Dang it, how are we gonna get out of here? We'll find a way. Come on, guys, let's think about this. Where do we even start? It's not like they'd just leave the gate unlocked, would they? <laughs> Hello. Mari, you wanna help me out? Hey guys, it's Mari. Mari, help, we're stuck as we're stuck in the dungeon. There you go. Now come in and enjoy a nice picnic with me. I promise you'll feel better right away. Oh uh, yes, pickles. Dude, I love pickles. I I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have a peanut butter and pickle sandwich when I get off the stream, you know that? It's just taped to him! Oh, that's the best piece of art I've seen with this game. Woohoo! Freedom at last! Let's get out of here. I never want to see another sprout mole again in my life. Halt, prisoners! Did you really think you could escape that easily? It's back to the dungeon for you four. Darn, we were so close, too. Uh-oh, what do we do now? Think, hero, think. Come on, how do we get out of this? Oh, I got it. On the contrary, sir knight, I think you've mistaken us for someone else. Mm-hmm, yes. <laughs> Don't be so quick to judge. We are sprout moles, indubitably. Woohoo, indeed. Yes, quite. I'm also a lover of tofu and sweetheart. Mm, delicious, sweetheart. Uh I mean, tofu. Egad, my eyes must have deceived me. I apologize, brethren. It is rather hard to see through this helmet. Very well, carry on then. I will resume my patrol. You lot ought to return to your stations as well, lest our dear sweetheart notice. <laughs> How's that for some quick thinking? That was so smooth, Hero. With these sprout mole masks, we'll be able to make it out of here in a cinch. Do we really have to keep wearing these, Hero? Mine's getting kind of itchy. Yes, Cal, we should keep them on until we can get out of here. Come on, let's move. Wearing a dead dude's face. Yeah. We just have, like, a corpse. Just We we are basically Texas Chainsaw. We are literally the dude. Oh my god, dude. We are getting loaded up on items. They're gonna have us do, like, a gauntlet of boss fights. That's the only explanation here. Stop, imposters. I know what you are, and you are not sprout moles. Hmm. <laughs> must be wondering how I'm able to tell. You see, I'm above those feeble and experienced heralds and marshes. I am Sir Maximus. With my impressive lineage, I will be victorious and bring honor to my family. Ooh, groovy. No, I, I cannot fall now. My son needs me! Sir Maximus used the ultimate attack. Uh-oh. That's a lot of damage, actually, for one little dude. Okay, Aubrey's happy. We'll go for another- Oh, he's dead. Never mind. He should have he realized that his kid was going to grow up without a father before he faced us. I love orphaning children. <laughs> Just by force, you know how it is. Orphaning children. As a verb, it is at this unfortunate time I must announce my retirement. But wait, chef! Without you, who will lead us in the task of baking the most magnificent cake for the main event? So, chefs, it is now time for one of you to step up to the limelight. A cake must be baked today. Our very lives are on the line. Oh yes, I hear you, Chief. As the most capable one of us, I will volunteer and take charge of the task. Hey, you there. You four are sous chefs now. Meet me in the kitchen pronto. Cooking mama experience. Dude, there are so many mini games inside this game. This is great. Don't be so nervous. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. First, we must preheat the oven to 75 degrees. Okay, preheat, preheat oven. Uh, 350 degrees. Excellent work. The next thing to do is to mix the two main ingredients in a bowl, flat rice and ping pong balls. Fish and uh, a whole chicken. Cat, shut up. Yes. Uh, beat those together until it's soup. Okay. Okay, um, take the fish and take the pickles. Pickles, hell yeah, let's go. Pickles, yes, pickles. All right, now we are cooking. Last but not least, grab the sauce and cut it into pieces. Chew. Yes, old boot. Legendary, let's go. I do not think you can cook, Mr. Chicken. I would argue that I am the one in the driver's seat as far as cooking is concerned right now. So, mix them all together and stick it in the microwave. It's that easy, okay. Greatest cake of all time. Yeah, that's that's something you could call that uh, abomination. What the heck did you put in there? Ah, all done. Beautiful work, I must say. Let's have a taste. I can't do, I just can't do that. <laughs> Oh no, did he die?
Oh my god, he actually died. <laughs> Good riddance. That guy was such a drag. Now you're ready to actually bake this cake. <laughs> Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Okay. Uh, so you said 75, right? Pay attention next time. Awesome. Now fix, mix some flour and eggs together. Uh... Yes, take the garden soil and the shoe. Yes, yes, yes. It's all coming together. It's all coming together now. It's all coming together. What? How dare you? Flour and eggs. Okay, fine, whatever, dude. Oh yeah, flour, sugar, and butter. Beat it till it's nice and fluffy. Sugar and butter. Only for the topping. It's gotta be strawberries. Oh, that sounds so good. Pick the cake batter, stuff that in the oven. You baked a cake. Wow, it looks pretty good. And that's how you bake a cake. Mm, yep, that'll do it. Finally, a cake our late head chef would be proud of. May his memory live on forever. You may go now, servants be free. Oh my god, it's a choir. Oh, they're so bad at everything they do, but their confidence is admirable. No, 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 this won't do at all. You and Central F, you call that singing? My cousin's plastic flamingo sings better than you. And don't think I can't see you in the back row dozing off during the chorus. Pull yourselves together, or else Sweetheart will have us thrown in the dungeon. These sprout moles seem to have run into some trouble. Wonder if there's any way we can help. Hey guys, y'all need a hand? We're professional helpers here at your service. Oh, thank goodness! Professionals have arrived. We absolutely must have the choir ready before Sweetheart's main event, but there simply isn't enough time. You see, we sprout moles become very sleepy when listening to music. So, as you can imagine, the choir keeps putting itself to sleep. <sighs> I'm afraid we may have to resort to alternative methods of keeping them all awake. I see. Not to fear, dear fellow Sprout Mole. I know exactly what you're talking about. Thank goodness we're saved. I should have expected as such from professionals. I'll handle it, good sir. You can trust me. Yeah, let's watch a movie. Freaking Con Air starts playing. <laughs> Family owned, wonder to present homegrown sweetheart approved guarantee. Wow, cool. Tofu. The plot development of this movie is next level. All right, so we got the pre-roll ad. Movie makes me tear up every time. That's why I have a hard time replaying this game. Oh yeah. Vaporwave, baby. Honestly, I liked the ad a little bit better if I'm being honest. Music was good. There wasn't like any plot to, to speak of, you know? Like you've seen a Scorsese movie, we get it exactly, exactly, right? Are you kidding me? Stop, imposters. I know what you are, and you are not sprout moles. Hmm, you must be wondering how I am able to tell. You see, I am the son of the fabled warrior of legend, Sir Maximus. You may have bested my father, but I am stronger than he. With my impressive lineage and my father by my side, I will be victorious. Dude. Oh, he remembers his father's dying words? You're kidding me. Wow. That damage, though. No, I cannot let my father's death be in vain. Come on, Amori, do it. You got this. Hey, we're actually actually working together this time. Oh my god. Whoa! Father, forgive me. I'm sorry. I failed you. Oh my god, dude. This game is brutal. I don't need that kind of guilt. I'm destroying this dude's bloodline. Mr. Virtuoso Mole, sir. I'm all ready to go. Thank you, gracious professional. We are ever in your debt. Shh. Oh my god. Amazing. This is the type of gameplay that I wanted to see with this game, you know? Like, I was thinking we, we should be able to throw tomatoes at the sprout moles while they're singing. My complaints have been heard. I, I feel seen and I feel heard and I do appreciate that. With your help, the main event will surely be most glorious uh it looks like it's almost time for the event oh my god dude i am the son of the fabled late warrior of legend sir maximus the second and grandson of sir maximus you may have bested my father and grandfather but that has only fueled my rage and my thirst for revenge. With my impressive lineage and my father and grandfather by my side, I will be victorious and avenge my family. I have failed you. We ended the bloodline, baby. We ended a bloodline today. 2,500 XP. That is insane. You're definitely the first worst thing that happened to orphans.
Woo, finally, we're out of Sweetheart's Castle. I wonder what's up with the big event that everyone's preparing for. Strange, I don't see the sprout moles from the entrance anywhere. Where could they have all gone? There must be a hidden exit somewhere. Let's poke around at anything that looks suspicious. Wh Excuse me? Oh my god, they're rare bears. They've locked up the rare bears. Yeah, I'll release them. Okay, why not? Holy shit, brother. It appears I have done a mistake. And for the next 40 minutes, I was unstoppable. One by one, I dispatched them, getting a little more refined in my strategy every time. A little tighter play, a little more confident, fewer mistakes. Eventually, the tides of battle turned and the population was effectively halved. They just wouldn't stop one after another until the final rare bear drew its last breath. A bittersweet moment for me, if I'm being honest. They never tell you what it'll be like when the dust settles. I turned rare bears into extinct bears. My name goes on that. I have to wake up every morning and know that there's not going to be any going back from what I've done. We did it, boys. Beautiful. What's our reward going to be? Foxtail and Jack. It's legitimately really impressive. Hell yeah. Oh, I love this type of stuff. I love problem solving in games like this. What? Uh, uh... Beautiful. And? And? Beautiful mole uh, size uh uh oh god i was wrong mole size statue there's no way that was it there's no way that was it uh yeah that's what I <laughs> uh you want to know the password oh no i'm sorry i'm not supposed to tell anyone huh you really need it like you really really need it like you really 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 need it like you really 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 need it mm hmm i guess i have no choice then but you have to promise not to tell anyone else pinky swear on it okay and done Phew, I was worried. Might have been someone untrustworthy. Now, leaning closer. The password I have been entrusted with is filled. You got that? Promise you won't tell anyone, okay? We're filled with trustworthiness. I'm filled with watermelon. That's what I'm filled with. Beautiful day out in the garden, isn't it, brothers and sisters? Uh, you were saying you would like to know the password. I apologize. I'm afraid that is not my jurisdiction above my pay grade. Though, I suppose something tasty off-white and cubish may change my mind. Perhaps you want a tofu? Oh, Mmm, delicious, irresistible tofu. I suppose I could let it slip just this once. Now, lean in closer. Password that I've been entrusted with is sweet. Ugh, I'm supposed to hold on to this super secret password and everything, right? But it's like, it's about food. Now I'm just thinking about food all the time. It makes me so hungry. I've started chewing on the grass to curb my appetite. Can you believe it? They should really start providing food to the guards around here. Like, what kind of password is donut anyways? Okay, sweet filled donut. Not so fast there, buddy. Gotta say, you're awfully tall for a sprout mole. How do I know if you're really one of us highly intelligent, majestic creatures? Think I'd ever spill the password to a potential spy? <laughs> don't make me laugh. If you're so sure you're a sprout mold, then why don't you prove it? I'll tell you the password if you can guess what I'm thinking about right now. Tofu, sweetheart, tofu, survival. Probably tofu. I apologize for ever doubting you. I guess there are all kinds of sprout molds out there. Now, lean in closer. Password I've been entrusted with is jelly. Sweet, jelly, filled. Donut. Why is everything food in this game? I'm so hungry. Yo, you you good, brother? You wanna you wanna talk about that? You, I have loved you since the first moment I laid my eyes on you. Please be mine forever. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> brother, I have killed too many of you guys, and that's the kill. Noise. You found a teddy bear. Aw. Sweetheart, you are my queen. I love and appreciate everything that you do more than anything. Please respond. <laughs> we finally made our way out. Whoa, what's with all these decorations? It looks like someone's about to get married. Uh-oh, <laughs> show's about to start. Let's hide. Welcome on, welcome all. Today is the most momentous of occasions. After 42 seasons of Sweetheart's Quest for the Hearts, it is now time to air our final episode ever. It <laughs> has been a splendiferous run. <laughs> Thank you for all your viewership. Me to you. For as long as we've been on air, we have rigorously looked for the perfect suitor for our beloved sweetheart. And each time, regretfully, sweetheart was unable to find her one true love. But this time, we believe that we have truly outdone ourselves. This is the moment to end all moments. History begins here. Dim the lights, please. The final episode begins now. Let us commence the wedding. Please, welcome to the aisle, sweetheart's perfect suitor. <laughs>
Yes, it's true! Now you've seen everything. The answer has been obvious all along. The only suitor magnifi ma magnificent enough for Sweetheart is Sweetheart herself. Silence. Ahem. Let us begin the ceremony. Oh my god. This game is wild. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. <laughs> Sweetheart's marrying herself? That's so lame. Don't laugh, Cal. I actually feel kind of bad for her. Now, does anybody object to this holy matrimony? Speak now or forever hold your peace. In that case, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you sweetheart and sweetheart. You may now kiss the- I object. Stop this wedding immediately. Sweetheart, listen to me. You don't have to do this. What's this? Could it be? Hero, my hero has come for me. Marry me, hero, here and now. Do so, and I will let you and your fans live. Wait, wait, what? I can't do that, that's crazy. Hmm, what's this? You reject me again, but how? I don't understand. I'll admit it. I was wrong about you, hero. I thought you were a worthy companion, but it seems you're jealous of me, just like everyone else. There is no need to despair anymore. I will end your suffering personally. Farewell. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, this is going. Oh, hero, my hero. Your smile charms my heart. I will make it mine. Stay detergent, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best to stay detergent. Dude, this is actually just a banger of a, of a, of a track. I love the energy. It's pointless, you fools. You cannot dampen my positive energy. God, I love the artwork in this game. It's so freaking good. We need to become sad. Juice Aubrey and we go for a cook. Oh my god, 85? Kel, you're brain dead. Boy, we take some damage. We're good, though. We're, we get angrier every turn. Wow. Okay. Um. So our defenses are just going to be nuked. Uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. This is why we have revival items, right? This kid's crazy. Absolutely unhinged. You dare raise your fists at me? Balls. You should be groveling at your knees. Uh, we go for a counter. Hopefully you don't AOE me here. Whoa. Jam packets, baby. All back alive. It's pizza time, baby. Just don't AOE me here. That would really suck. <laughs> he succumbed to the nuts, guys. So we just need to do as much damage as we can as fast as possible. Like, this is an arms race, you know? Oh, what? That was like 550 damage. Dude. That was insane damage output. Okay, Kelly's whole pizza. Good, good, good. Sweetheart does some damage. She does not have a follow-up. This is good. Hmm, I see you are still standing. Cockroaches are resilient, I suppose. Manic? Wait, hold on, really? You go three layers deep? Wow, that's crazy. Uh, we go for a hack away. Oh, <laughs> 360 more damage. God, that's so much. Okay, we got happy on both of them. We got happy on both of them. Uh, we go for an attack. Oh, she's so low. Didn't do that much damage. Oh, no, I spoke a little bit too soon on that one. Just a bit. Just a bit too soon, huh? Aubrey swings back. 113 damage. Kalomori. Oh, beautiful. Oh, let's go! No, is this what they call defeat? I cannot accept this. I will not accept this. Give me your manager. 5,800 XP. Yet again, Kel gets screwed. That was such a sick fight. This game has like some of the most high energy RPG boss fights.
I've ever experienced it even though like you have the time to kind of think things through like the frantic pace of the the music going behind it it's oh it's so good it makes things feel faster than they, they actually need to be right how could this be you you you're all nothing how dare you defy me throw them in the dungeon guard it's over sweetheart i'm the queen <laughs> this wedding is canceled <laughs> i can fix her <laughs> No, I cannot accept this. Just leave me alone. Captain Space Boy? <gasps> my sweetheart. Oh, my sweetheart. I'm so relieved that I made it in time. You must stop this madness at once. Uh, Captain Space Boy? Yo, you idiot. I thought I told you to never show your face in front of me again. Oh, sweetheart. My sweetheart. My sweet jelly-filled donut. Please look into your heart and give me another chance. I should not have kept you waiting all those days. Yo, what are you doing? I'm sorry I didn't do this sooner marry me sweetheart right here on this very stage oh my this this is all so sudden how how romantic sprout mole mike i order you to marry us immediately yes that one's my liege dearly beloved we are gathered here today oh forget the formalities mike true love cannot wait yes my princess by the power vested in me i now pronounce you sweetheart and space husband you may now kiss the bride oh sweetheart let us travel the universe together and leave all this behind yes yes my husband i will go anywhere as long as it's with you let us take leave my sweetheart we have been apart for far too long come my ship awaits yes of course my dear but first there's one last thing i must do sprout malt mike hand me the button at once my queen what button there's a self-destruct button or something. We won't need all this anymore. I'm ready now, dear. At long last, we can be together. Come, my queen. Our chariot awaits. <laughs> wow, that was something. So much for a happy ending. I don't think that's gonna end well at all. Yeah, I guess this was a complete waste of time. How about some demons? Where are the demons? What's going on? Demons, God damn it, mother What's the matter, Amori? Is there something wrong? He's he just like, I've seen some shit. Demon fucking time, or f f killing time, f demon killing time. Kill f demons. We're gonna f some, we <laughs> kill some demons. We, we, <laughs> let, me, <laughs> we, let me rephrase. <laughs> Demon, what time? We're gonna we're gonna fight some demons. <laughs> he motions the class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today, and they needed to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone, dude. That just unlocked a memory in my brain of rushing to be the first one in line because the pizza like ran out. I, like I remember getting out of class like a couple minutes early and always being excited on pizza day in high school because like it was before before like school lunches were like improved health quality wise so we like get like actually decent pizza it actually tasted pretty friggin good uh so we'd rush there and we get some pizza and some french fries Shit was bomb, dude. It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engravings illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. Brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Blank jumps first, then blank, then blank again, then blank again. The brothers gleefully urge blank to join them, and after some careful thought, blank warily agrees. Blank shovels up the statue and looks down at the moving water. 
He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they'd give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder and his eyes fly open to meet those uh, with those of a black spider. It's demon fighting time, he says. In the instant, Blank loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. That would be me. Water fills his nose. Yep. Exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless. Or that is what he believes. Blank shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. Well, that's starting to get a little dark. Oh, we're taking the L. Let's go. I just took the L. Part of the shelf's been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look into the hole. No, you know what? Hey, what if we didn't look into the hole? I've got a crazy idea. Let's go anywhere else. Everyone's over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. It's time for cartoons, baby. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my God, Saturday morning cartoons. I, this game has unlocked so many just like nuggets of memories in my brain. It, it, that I just haven't thought of in a lot of years. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., a group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. Man, I've been there. It's the best. Most enjoyable part of every week. Hell yeah. Blank looks at the clock. 8 a.m. Two hours left. He'd be able to watch with everyone else until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. Blank grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. I'd see this coming a goddamn mile away. Hey, how's it going? I'm gonna just chill over here for a second, okay? We'll look in. We'll look into the hole. What could go wrong? Hi. Hello. My friend. Oh, you're gonna be scary. Oh, your face is gonna be, yup, 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 yup. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I'm occasionally told I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Hello, hello, Sonny, are you there? What'd you like to do? I'm opening that door, full send, baby, let's go. It's time to go outside. Hi, Sonny, top of the morning to you. <laughs> well, more like noon, actually. It turns out Hero's not coming back until around dinner today, so I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom's having me buy some stuff at the faraway plaza before he comes back, and I thought it might be funner if we went together. Did you want to come along, Sonny? Of course you do, come on. Vandalism. That's not very poggers. What the heck? What happened here? Dang it, must have been Aubrey and the Scooter Gang. <laughs> I said that last time. Hey, Kel. Hey, Sonny. What's up, Basil? Nice to see you up and about. You feeling any better after yesterday? Huh? E e yesterday? What do you mean? You had a big stomach ache, didn't you? That's why you had to go to the bathroom. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, right. Yes, I feel much better now. Do you want to hang out with us today? Sonny's not going to be around for much longer, you know. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, don't worry. You don't have to force yourself. We can always catch up later. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then. See you later, then, I guess. Yeah, making patties is hard work. But once I sink my teeth into that tender, juicy burger, it's going to be all worth it. Mmm, I can almost taste it now. Dear, pay attention. The patties are burning. Oh, shoot. Thanks, hon. That was close. Yeah. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we gotta stop at Gino's Pizza and the bakery and other mart. Lead the way, Sonny. Okay, pizzeria, let's go. So, uh, we're still on to go to our secret hangout spot today, right? So we're getting our secret hangout spot, eh? That's perfect date spot. I'll be sure to bring one of my special ladies. Shut up, Mikhail. Like, any girls would actually want to go to the lake with you without paying them. I told you to call me the ma- <laughs> I've been my <laughs> You pay for this, Kim. <laughs> you want to talk to me? Aubrey. Hey, Aubrey. Aubrey. Hey. Hey, Aubrey. Aubrey. Hey, Aubrey. Hello. Welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get for you? Hi, I'm here to pick up an order. I see. What would you like? Oh, I know. Would you like pizza? I think my mom phoned in an order for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm just here to pick it up. Oh, I see. You're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza, you know, at the pizza joint. <laughs> but it's... On the menu, isn't it? Hmm, yeah, you're right. I guess so. Far be it for me to tell you how to live your life. You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's nickname is Hero. You think it's because of some really cool reason, like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or something. But no, he just really likes sandwiches. Okay, here's your Hero sandwich. Please enjoy. Cool, thanks. All right, we're good to go now, Sonny. I'm ready when you are. Now we just need to get the cookies from the bakery and other mart. <sighs> Dang it. 
Try to fix this old arcade machine, but I'm, it's missing a rare and important piece. Looks like it was just bitten right off here. <laughs> I wonder where it could be. <laughs> Some kid ate the ball of the joystick. <laughs> Forbidden gobstopper. Welcome to our family bakery. What would you like? Hi, I'm here to pick up an order. Hmm. Oh, yes. Your mother said you'd be coming, though I expected you to be here a bit earlier. I'll go grab your order. Did you know the bakery belongs to Mikhail's family? I guess you can't really tell because he wears that horrible yellow wig all the time. Seems like he's making a pretty big effort to stand out and be different. So I thought this would be like a funny bit, right? I, I really thought this was going to be a funny bit, and I put this on, and now I'm realizing that it just looks absolutely ridiculous. Like, it's so ridiculous. It, it's too much. It's too big. This is like rubber. This is like three or four pounds, dude. It, it's just, it's too much. It's just too much. <laughs> Unassuming beehive, do you want to disturb? Hell yeah, I want to disturb it. Are you kidding me? Okay, is this not potentially the, um, <laughs> the consequences for my actions? You dead? I, it appears that I might be. Dude, the sound makes me uncomfortable. Dude, Kel just basketballed a wasp. That may be the most badass thing that has ever happened in all of time. Imagine having pinpoint accuracy and he does it twice in a row. I have gained so much respect for this kid. Before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom's gonna be a little mad about me taking so long with the groceries. I was supposed to bring everything back around noon, but I got carried away doing other stuff and well, you know how it goes. What took you so long, Kel? I sent you off hours ago. How long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? Oh my! Is that sunny? It must be. It's so good to see you again, but dear, you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? No. Hurry, Sonny. Let's go upstairs to my bedroom. Now, wait just a second, young man. Bye, Mom. See you when dinner's done. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh my god, Hero is accomplished. This has the same energy as when you wake up in Deltarune and get out of bed and your room is just this, like, messy, no achievements, nothing. And then the other side, Asriel's room is just filled with like literally Delta. Yeah, I was, that's right. <laughs> we, we thought the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Heroes Asriel, yeah. Well, here it is. Make yourself at home. Look, I got a basketball hoop and a boombox just like I always wanted. Here, I'll play a song for you. I'm getting a lot of respect for Kel these days. Yep, it's pretty sweet. Mom won't let me play it too loud though because she says it's bad for Sally. Oh wait, you haven't met Sally yet, huh? <laughs> Guess what, Sonny? I'm a big brother now. Sally's my baby sister. My mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. <laughs> Kel! There's a girl at the door! She said she's here to see you! Huh, I wonder who could, who could that be? I I bet it's it's a certain pink-haired girl that's ready to just absolutely burn this house down. No, really? No. Okay, I guess not. Hey, Cal. Hey, Sonny. Sorry for intruding. I was just wondering if you know where Basil is. I thought he might be with you. Oh, no. Basil? Um, we did see him at the park earlier, but that was a while ago. If you see him, can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. Of course, Polly. We'll be on the lookout. Thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. Basil's missing today? I have a bad feeling about this. Brother, you are not the only one. Especially with Aubrey and the scooter gang scooting around. Maybe we try to find him before it gets dark. Can we go and look for him, Mom? Pretty please? Well, that girl did look awfully worried. Okay, just make sure you're home by dinner. Man, where could Basil be? I don't see him anywhere. Somebody help! Sonny, did you hear that? I think that was Basil. Help me, please. Hold on a sec. I know this area. Basil's voice coming from our old hangout spot. The entrance still should be somewhere around here. Uh oh. Help me! Somebody! What the heck are you yelling for, Basil? You're making a scene! This place is our secret hangout spot. You can't be here because you weren't invited. Dang it, Basil. Be quiet. Someone's gonna find this place. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want you to get out of here. Oh, it's time for an ass kicking. Let's go. Oh. Hey, stop it! What are you doing to him? What the? That's Kel and Sonny again. Why do you always show up? How did you even find this place? Come on, Aubrey. We, we gotta defend our turf. Aubrey? Mm, go away, Kel. You're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, this is your spot now? Well, this used to be our old hangout spot. Wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it or we'll mess you up. Fine. If that's how it's gonna be, then at least stop bullying Basil. We weren't even doing anything to him. He just started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? We're telling the truth. Stop being such a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys. Let's just make sure this is the last time these two mess with us. 
Wow. Let's settle this, Kel. You and Sonny are gonna pick a fight with me and my friends? You got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach them a lesson. Okay, we have no items. Bro, they're gonna beat us to death. She's got a baseball bat with nails sticking out of it. Brother, ready up a critical hit. Oh, Kel got knocked out. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oof. <laughs> Kel, Sonny, get the heck out of here. Whoa, we really did it. The evil foes have been defeated. Dang. Sorry, Sonny. Why did I think we could take on six people at once? I don't know. That's pretty brain dead. Even if they're a bunch of dweebs. It's over, Kel. Leave this place. You don't belong here anymore. No, I won't. I can't just leave here knowing that this is the person you've become. I mean, what would Mari think? Why do you keep bringing her up? Do I have to keep saying it? Mari is already dead. Can you stop it with that? And while you're at it, drop the tough guy act too. I don't believe you when you say you don't care about us anymore. You have all your new friends now, but you're still hanging out at our old hangout spot. Do I really have to spell it out for you? Don't listen to him, Aubrey. He's just spouting crap like usual. <sighs> This isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Let's get out of here. Me and my pompadour. Scoop gang, scoop. You coming, Aubrey? Oh, okay. Catch you later then. Aubrey. Ah! Why? Why do you guys keep going back? I just want you to leave me alone. Sonny, why? Why did you show up now? We just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? We used to be friends. We all used to be. You think I'm the bully, but you're all messed up too. Where were you when Mari died? Where were any of you? And you, you're the worst. How dare you still show your face to me after what you did? Aubrey, I- Get away from me! Shoot! What the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? You've taken this way too far. Wait, hold on, I didn't mean to- Sonny, don't worry about Aubrey. I'll keep her busy. Just go help Basil. Go, 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 go. Don't drown, don't drown, don't drown. Do you want to save? Yes. Duh. Jump. Bitch. Go. I got 11 bucks to my name, so if any demons want to fight me, then I, I'll buy a hitman or something. I don't know. I'm not scared anymore. I'm ready to fight the demons. I'll fight them. Oh, I got a knife this time. They even gave me a knife to fight the demons with. Dude, how sick is that? Whoa! I just like fart into the mic. That that, that kind of broke my immersion for a second there. Something drags you down. <gasps> it's fine, no worries, no worries. Like what we're seeing and what's actually happening and like I'm rolling around in seaweed on the, the like coast of the lake. You have to keep going, don't give up. No matter how impossible it seems. You reach out to the voice and remember how to persist. Sounds like some detergent for me. It's demon fighting time. Demon fighting time. I'm doing I'm doing great. I'm doing great right now. Oh wow. She jump in to save me? Or was that supposed to be Mari? Hell, what's up? Oh wait, no, that was Hero. Duh, what am I talking about? It looks like Basil's breathing is steady. We need to get him somewhere warm quickly. Yeah, he's had a rough day. Let's get him home as soon as possible. Hey, you don't come with us. Wait, where do you think you're going? That's enough. Do you, don't you think you've caused enough trouble? Come on, guys, we gotta go. What, yeah, like, what do you even... Who do you think you are? Hold on. That puzzle isn't finished, and I really want to put it together. I really do want to put it together. I understand that it... His, hey, he's still breathing, isn't he? Can I put the puzzle together? Could I do that? Could we do that real quick? There are three pieces. <sighs> Fine. Fine. Always gotta sacrifice for others, you know? How are we feeling about the apple juice? You guys want me to pick you up some apple juice? Yes? No? How many apple juices? Can you can you, can you give me like a hand up in the chat? I I need a I need a I need a head count. Anybody else? No. Four apple juices. Ah, oh, that's eight bucks though. It leaves us only with three bucks. I'll I'll get us both one. Okay. I'll get us both one. Any, anybody? You guys want me to pick you up anything from the store? Any 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 pizza lovers in the chat? <gasps> There's a pinwheel. That's so sick. I love pinwheels. Hello, delivery. <laughs> Basil, what happened? Is he okay? His breathing's stable. He just needs to change the clothes in a warm bed. Okay, I can do that. Quick, come inside. Can you help me bring him to his room. Hey, your DoorDash is here. <laughs> like, yeah, we left your we left your order on the bench outside. <laughs> I threw in some extra ranch. <laughs> she just walks outside and there's just like four ranch little little ranch packets just sitting on <laughs> waterlogged Basil. <laughs> Phew, that was intense. I hope Basil wakes up soon. I need him to give me the ranch. I, I brought a salad and everything. This is this is the perfect time to unplug this woman. Nobody will be the wiser. Hey, Kel. 
Hey, Sonny. It looks like Basil's gonna be just fine. I heard from Mom that Basil was missing and that you two went looking for him. When I was running around the park, I heard some commotion coming from our hangout spot. I guess I got there right in the nick of time. So what was happening back there? Aubrey. She pushed Basil into the lake. What? That was Aubrey back there? No way, she wouldn't do that to Basil. I'm sure there was some kind of misunderstanding. She's not the same anymore, Hero. She's become all messed up after you left for college. Aubrey, what happened while I was gone? Maybe I should have never left. It's not your fault that this happened. Things could have gotten a lot worse if you didn't show up. You've done all you can. Come on, let's go home. Can we, can we, can we go check on him first real quick? Hey, hey bud. Oh, Sonny, there's... No way out of this, is there? Poor Basil's been through so much these past few days. Basil, you must be tired. Please get some rest. We'll come back for you tomorrow. You know, Sonny, you were pretty awesome back there. Jumping in the lake to save Basil like that. Even if Euro ended up saving the day, I think you deserve some recognition too. How about a high five? I can say no? Dude, this kid, for so- Like, this whole day, he's been amazing. I'm giving him a high five. I will validate you, my friend. You are valid and I hear you. You. No, for the fans, you're, you're joking. You're joking. You can't be serious. Dog. Bark, 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 bark. My good boy. Did, did anybody else notice he just talked? Do you want to play with the Hector? I want to play with the Hector. I would love nothing more than playing with the Hector. We get to throw the ball for Hector? <gasps> we get to play with the dog. I was not prepared for this, this plot development. Um, anyways, it's been an eventful day. Let's have some dinner. Help! Hero, where have you two been? It's so late, I've been worried sick. Sorry, Mom, we got held up. But the good news is we found Basil and he's safe. Hmm. I'll have you know I spent all week preparing this chicken roast for tonight's dinner. Dude, I was like so personally invested in this family's well-being and they just do me like this. Like, it's it's just a constant assault on me and my people. You know what I mean? And <laughs> it's gotten cold. Oh, Mom, please don't cry. Don't worry, Mom. That's what microwaves are for. Oh, my poor dinner! There, there, honey. Cheer up. Today's a special day. There's no need to be sad. Look, Hero's back from college. It's good to see you back, champ. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> oh, your dad is right. This is no time for sniffles. It's good to see you back, Hero. We've missed you all so much. Wow! Oh, that was... <laughs> That was a baby. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Bro sounded like our 2 d too. <laughs> Try my best. I, I, I really do. Come on, boys. You must be hungry. Go and help yourselves to some dinner. It's cold steak for everybody. Not cooked. Cool. Let's go grab some food and heat it up. Like, you walk in, you walk into the kitchen and sit down, and it's the family from Resident Evil 7. <sighs> now that everything's calmed down, we can finally relax a bit. It's so good to see you again, Sonny. It really has been way too long. Oh, and it's good to see you again too, Kel. So, Sonny, I heard from Mom you're moving away soon. That sounds so exciting. Yeah, he is. Tomorrow's gonna be his last day with us. Moving away might seem kind of nerve-wracking now, but it really isn't so bad once you get used to it. I think it'd be good for you, Sonny. You'll learn a lot from moving to a new place, and it's nice to have a fresh start. I'm a little sad to see you go, but it'll be okay as long as we keep in touch. It's like, brother, I'm gonna be grinding on Discord uh, all day, every day. We're blackjacking professionally this time, all right? <laughs> like... <laughs> like, bud, I have made a grand off of blackjacking. I also lost a grand off of blackjacking, but that's irrelevant to the point. We sure did have a lot of memories together. Sometimes I miss those days. Lazing around, eating food, drinking juice, watching TV shows Saturday morning. Hell yeah. Yeah, we did everything together. We went to the park, the lake, the beach. But honestly, what I miss most is hanging out at your place, Sonny. You guys had everything. A big TV, all the newest toys, a grand piano. And of course, our very own treehouse. Oh yeah, the treehouse was awesome. I wonder if it's still there. Is it, Sonny? Looks like the food's done. Let's see it in the living room. We can continue chatting there. By the way, Hero, Basil gave Sonny his photo album yesterday. Did you want to see it? You have Basil's photo album on you? Sure, let's take a look through the album while we eat dinner. Oh, that's so cute. It's all of us cuddling with Sonny's stuffed animals. He has so many, and they're all so soft. It's... it is ridiculous how many similarities I have with this kid. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. Give me one second. These are ugly dolls. I've collected those since I was a little kid. I find them at like yard sales or at like thrift shops, things like that. But yeah, I, I love 
uh, the designs on, on those in particular. I've always liked them since I was a kid. I don't have a dead sister, so fortunately we didn't go that far. Um, I have a brother that is very much alive. We're clear on that front, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we buried Sonny in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's going to need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. It's too bad that some of the photos are missing. Aubrey stole the album from Basil, but we got it back. Maybe she has the rest of the photos. Hey, Hero, what's up? Are you okay? Yeah. It's just that, well... Mari isn't in any of these photos. Oh, you're right, she isn't. Still, this album brings back some really good memories. Things were quite a lot simpler back when we were kids. <laughs> Sonny, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you could let us see your house one more time before you leave? Oh, that's a good idea. But you gotta convince mom first. She's probably gonna be mad about you not spending enough time with her and stuff. You know how she is. Wah! Yeah, what a mess that was. Sally made a little doo-doo, but she's all clean now. Please! <laughs> Hey there, Sally. Peekaboo. Wah! <laughs> Stop it, Kelly. You're scaring her. <clears throat> so, uh, hey, Mom. We were wondering if we could go hang out at Sonny's house today, since he's moving away soon. Oh, but you just came back, and it's already so late. What about spending time with your good old mom? I'm going to be here for the rest of the sun summer, and Sonny's leaving the day after tomorrow. We have plenty of time to catch up. It's been a while since the boys have had a chance to hang out. I say we should let them. <sighs> Fine then, you boys can have your fun, but here has to wash the dishes for me for the next week. Hey, so I'm really glad that we get to hang out and everything, but I also feel pretty bad for leaving mom all alone. Before we head to your house, let's go to fix it and get some flowers for her. I know she'd really appreciate that. Oh, hero, always a mama's boy. Oh, before I forget, Sonny, here's some money for my mom's flowers. You didn't think I would pay, I would let you pay for it, did you? You got $10 from hero. Wow, <laughs> I just, I just ditch. I'm like, yup, 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 see? <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna buy so many flowers. No, I'm gonna buy one flower. Dude, we made out like bandits on that. Theft and robbery. Yeah, I, uh, I, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. It's time to prove who's the taller brother once and for all. This again, Kel. I thought we were over this. Come on, hero, let's stand back to back like always. Dude, actually brother things, just brother things. So, Sonny, which one of us is taller? Kel, you've been a precious gumdrop today. I'm gonna say it's you. <laughs> Looks like I'm finally the taller brother. Wow, my life feels so complete, yet so empty. I guess you've really grown up while I was gone. It's too bad your grades are still coming up short, though. That's uncalled for, hero. Smarts aren't everything. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. I think you're smart too, Cal. Smart in your own way. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, Mom. I got you some flowers. Are these for me? They're beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Hero, you're such a charmer. Just like your old man. <laughs> I'm sorry for overreacting earlier. I know Sonny's moving away soon. Try your best to keep in touch. Friends are harder to make the older you get. Mom, that's so depressing. We'll be fine. Yes, I'm sure you will be. Take care, Sonny. Know that you'll always have a home here. Oh, that's so sweet. I love this family, except they ate my people, so I hate them. But otherwise, I love them. They're amazing. Wow, it just hit me. It's been so long since we've been inside your house, even though we live right next door. Time really flies, huh? Let's go inside. After you, Sonny. No, it's so dark. What's happening? Whoa, this place is cleared out, Sonny. Your house felt a lot bigger now that nothing's here. There used to be a couch here where we'd watch TV. We'd all come over every weekend and watch cartoons in the morning. Yeah, and this is the stain from the one time I spilled my orange Joe. Marty got so mad at me. Well, that's because your cat stepped in it and walked all over the house. <laughs> oh, yeah, huh? Oh, man. Looks like it's getting too dark to see the treehouse. That's okay. Maybe we can come back tomorrow. Wait, I have an idea. I'm a genius. What if we just have a sleepover? It's gonna be our last time in this house forever, right? And when will be the next time we could spend the night with Sonny like this? Oh, well, I I'd love to, but Mom's not gonna be too happy about it. She'll be fine. I'm tired of waking up at night just because Sally's crying anyways. You're gonna wash dishes with Mom for an entire week, aren't you? You deserve this. Well, that is true. It'll probably be fine. We live right next door, so we'll only be a walk away. <laughs> I remember this hallway. The closet was to the left, and the piano room was to the right. I wonder if the piano's still there. I'll go ahead and see. Don't split up! Don't split up! We're not splitting up! That is not a thing we're doing! Don't judge me too hard. I haven't practiced in a while. Show off. <laughs> I guess I still got it. Hey, Sonny, that reminds me. Do you still play the violin? Oh, 
It's not here. I guess you already packed it up. There was a song you used to play with Mari. It still gets stuck in my head sometimes, but I don't remember what it's called. You two would play it over and over. We'd even hear it from her house sometimes. What was it again? <sighs> Man, all of a sudden, I'm getting really sleepy. Maybe we should call it a night. That sounds good to me. I have to get up really early for my morning jog anyways. I'm a perfect human being, you know this. So where should we sleep, Sonny? Probably somewhere in your room, right? Remember you used to hate sleeping alone. Yeah, that sounds fun. We could sleep on the floor, if anything. Let's go find some blankets. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me alone. Don't do this. They say there was something on the left or something, right? There's nothing here. What? That doesn't make any sense. This is confusing. I'm confused and terrified. I'm petrified. Truly scared. Truly, truly scared. Hello. Oh shit. You're a ghost. Uh, are my friends perhaps in my room potential? No, dude, this is so sweet. This is this is absolutely going to get ruined. It's like when you're like watching a, a, a car barrel towards another car in like an intersection and you know like uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh and it's like like right here, right? Like right here and you're like okay this is going to happen and there's nothing that can be done to stop this from happening now and it's just gonna happen whether i like it or not this was all kel's idea i had nothing to do with it by the way hero sunny and i got you a gift kel gave hero's gift to hero <gasps> papa chips chip off the old block cookbook do you remember this of course i do man i remember when i wanted to be a cook it seems so silly now hey you were pretty good at it and you could still be a cook hero <laughs> It's okay. I don't have time for that anymore. But you really like to cook, don't you? And people have to eat, right? So like, why not? <laughs> I don't think it works that way, Kel. <laughs> He's such a fast sleeper. Always been that way, I guess. Thanks for letting us sleep over, Sonny. I bet it's been pretty hard in this empty house, especially without Mari. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you, or for you more. Everything feels so different now, but it, it seems like you pretty much stayed the same. Kind of relieving, to be honest. <laughs> uh, it's really nice to see you again. I just wish Aubrey and Basil could be here, too. Sorry for ranting. It's getting a little late. I'll probably head to sleep soon, too. Good night, Sonny. I I'll talk to you in the morning. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Oh, this again. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Awesome. 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 No, that's great. Okay, something just occurred to me. Why why does the piano say Omori on it, but everybody refers to Sunny as Sunny? I that just clicked in my brain. That is weird. I, I just thought about maybe the, the real Omori is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Where are my friends? Hello? Hello, friendos. Um, I'm gonna fight some demon. You're not supposed to be here right now. Amori, you're here. I'm so glad you found me. Kel, Aubrey, Hero, and all the children are gone. There's a thick fog enveloping the entire forest. Everywhere except here. Maybe our friends are somewhere across the water. Let's find them together. Do you want to join me? Thanks, little brother. I knew I could count on you. I'll keep you company so you're not alone. I know you really hate that. I'm being lured by the demon. The demon, the demon. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. It's not as scary as I think. I almost drowned, but I'm not scared of water anymore. Scared of water? No. Couldn't be me. I was told there was a thick frog somewhere around here and I'm not I'm not seeing a thick frog. I am somewhat disappointed about this. Amori, I'm so proud of you. You swam all the way here even though you've always been terrified of water. There's still one big thing you're afraid of, isn't there? Is it the demons? Something a little bit harder to overcome. What is happening here? Amori, it seems you've forgotten something important. Are you okay with that? You've seen this curtain once before. The last time we went to the lake. This is my stop though. I know I shouldn't have come. It just gets a little lonely without everyone. It's not my place to say anymore, but I hope you're still there. Sonny, I really miss you. Goodbye, little brother. She going to the great beyond? What's up, Kel? How's it going? Hey, Omori. There you are. Where you been, buddy? While you were gone, everyone got tricked into signing contracts. So we all have jobs now. <laughs> We're growing up so fast. My job is to point people to the last resort. That's where I work. So why don't we get everyone to quit and get the heck out of here? Hero's been traveling a lot for work lately, but I know for sure that Aubrey's working on the fifth floor of the last resort. Hey, Mari, look who finally decided to show up. Omori, it's so good to see you again. What is it, Omori? Aren't you happy to see your big sister? Oh, it's just Amori being Amori. You can't blame him for the way he looks. Anyway, as I was saying, working pays the bills, but it's not very exciting. So me and Amori are gonna get Aubrey and Hero, and then we're gonna... Fine, Basil. Oh, yeah. That's what we were gonna do. <laughs> 
Always happy to help. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Nah, don't worry about it, Mary. The boss loves me. We'll be in and out of last resort real quick. No problem. Okay, if you say so, Cal. Come on, Amori. I can't wait for you to beat the boss. It's a nightmare. Five keys left. I'm going in the hole. I'm going in the hole. Look in the hole. Look in the hole. What is in the hole? F you! F you! No! 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 I want to do some slots. Can I play the slot machine, please? I can't. Do you want to play slots? Yes, I can. <gasps> you will win. Get it twisted. Oh, come on, dude. Get it twisted. This is a valid money-making method. Oh, let's go. Look at me go, dude. Wow. Get it twisted. Oh, come on. Really? She took the kids. Look at this leech. He sees my average... 11 viewers and he goes hey i want those i'm funnier than this guy and better looking i i can i'm more quick-witted <laughs> i'm a better streamer i could i i should have this guy's stream i can't believe anybody even watches him it's probably not a good time but i really have to go to the bathroom as i always say when you gotta go you gotta go i wasn't even doing his voice that was terrible you need to get lost bro do you want to get in a fist fight with this guy because he's not i sympathize fine fist fight it is let's go hey who said you could leave your post get back to work <laughs> all right cal i'm getting you to the bathroom buddy <gasps> pee oh my god pee is on the toilet that's amazing ah much better you notice kel did not wash his hands absolutely vile bro i'm going to come in here and stab the shit out of you do you know that i'm gonna stab i'm not even gonna get scared of it i'm not even gonna get scared of it okay now what is this i was fully expecting something much much different here what is happening what is this a videotape labeled Amori. Do you want to pick it up? Sure, why not? Okay, we're watching a TV show. Oh boy. Oh boy. This won't be a nightmare. This won't be a nightmare at all. I make him brush it or wash his hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this a cool elevator? It smells kind of like perfume and smoke. <gasps> Mari, you're here. Oh, hi, Mari. Hello, you two. So if I got this straight, Aubrey's on the fifth floor. Why isn't this working? Boop in the button. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. We need a cool key card for this. They took mine away because I kept losing it. I swear they're disappearing on their own, though. Let's try looking around on the other floors for one. There's got to be a cool key card around here somewhere. This is literally Pokemon. I'm the rock, paper, scissors champion. If you beat me at rock, paper, scissors, I will give you my entire life savings. What will you pick? Rock, ready, and... Huh? So this is defeat. You have humbled me, challenger. As promised, you may take my entire life savings. <laughs> you got three whole clamps. You have humbled me, challenger. <laughs> With my entire life savings wiped out, I guess it's back to the drawing board. I will become champion once again. The boss tried to put me to use, but when he realized I couldn't do anything on account of not having any arms or legs or a torso, he told me to be a bad tester. <laughs> yup, this bad shard do feel pretty good. What was that? A cool key card. <gasps> cool, we found a cool key card. We should be able to get to the fifth floor from the elevator now. <gasps> the ball pit. Dr. Just, this looks like the freaking... That straight up looks like a caricature of Jet Sam from Neopets. It is not alive. Thank you. Thank you for that, that clarification. I never would have known. Hello? Please hold. Hello? Please hold. Hello? Please hold. Aubrey, we're here to break you out. Dang it, Kel. Go away. Can't you see I'm busy? Tell people to hold a lot all day. I never actually answer any of the phones. There's so many phones. I can never keep them straight. And then I just don't answer any of them. And eventually people just hang up because they're like, they're like, why are they not bringing me off of hold? I've been on the line for like hours. And it stresses me out, man. It stresses me out. Snap out of it, Aubrey. This isn't who you are. You know, three people canceled their meetings today. Three people! I'm supposed to reschedule them, but I don't even know what's going to fit with these useless events planned. Not to mention, we have a fundraiser tonight. I have to organize the whole thing. And of thing is a tofu fundraiser. Fucking tofu, Cal. Can you believe it? Who in their right mind would paint clams for tofu? I tried telling the boss so many times, but he won't listen to me. This is a complete nightmare. I'm going to pass out. I'm actually going to pass out. The, the fuzzy just went in on my <laughs> Okay, Aubrey, I'm going to need you to breathe. I'm breathing, Kel. I'm breathing just fine. <sighs> you are not a secretary. Basil is missing, and we need to find him. <gasps> he. Uh, he. Oh, my goodness. That's right. How could I forget? We have to find Basil. Oh, Mori, is that you? You must be here to save me. <laughs> I'm so happy. Wait, what about me? Amori, you have to get me out of here. We can just leave, Aubrey. The exit is right there. Not the 
that simple, Kel. We just signed contracts, remember? Aubrey. Aubrey, where have you been? I've been trying to get a hold of you for the past 10 seconds. How's that rescheduling going? Sorry, Mr. Jossum, left the game up. Hi, Mr. Jossum. Dang it, you again, Kel? Thought we sent you far, far away from here. Didn't I tell you not to leave your post? Well, I came all the way back to personally tell you that I quit. And I'm bringing Aubrey with me. Very funny. My office, Kel. Now. I'll send him in right away. You too, Aubrey. Bzz. Dang it, Kel, you're gonna get me fired. I know, isn't it great? Mm, come on, let's go. Mr. Johnson's office right at this elevator. All right, we're thinking sleazy, slime ball, corporate, big wig. Oh, you're finally here. Hi, Mr. Johnson. Um, uh, all right, kids, let me lay this out for you. This contract uh, stays here. You have agreed to work for me for better or worse without pay for the rest of your life. Now, uh, contract is a, a promise. And you wouldn't break a promise, would you? Dude, he's right. We can't break a promise. What do we do, Aubrey? Mr. Jossum, it's true that we did make a promise to you, but we also promised each other that we'd find friend Basil together. Uh, yeah, that's right. That means that you have to let us go. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can respect that. I can respect that. Promise is promise after all. Yeah, Aubrey, I'll, I'll let you leave. But you have to take Hell with you. <laughs> really? Wow, thanks, Mr. Jossum. You're too kind. Awesome, let's go. Wait. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, can we bring my brother Hero with us too? Music stops. <laughs> you you really are a funny kid, Kel. <laughs> yeah, funny. <laughs> you want me to give you Hero? Hero's been down the best worker I've had in my life. <laughs> His very presence increases my work output by like 700%, man. I'd be a fool to let a worker like him go. Hey, Mr. Jossum, I just finished setting up the tofu fundraiser like you asked. The tables are set, the room's decorated, the toilets are clean, the food tastes spectacular if I do say so myself. I also cleaned your windows, mopped your floors, fed your pets, organized your sunglasses collection, and folded your laundry. Oh, and uh, here's your coffee. Just thought you'd enjoy that. Oh boy, I love child labor. <laughs> Hey, there's no laws in the underworld, am I right or am I right? <laughs> you see, kids? Amazing work, Hero. Just amazing. I may even consider paying you one of these days. <laughs> really? That would be an honor, sir. Oh, hey, guys. What are you doing here? You looking for a job too, Omori? What happened to you? Don't tell me that you even forgot about Basil. Oh, shoot. That's right. We need to find Basil, our friend that's been missing for a long time. How could I forget something so important? What are we doing here? We gotta get... We gotta go right away. <laughs> Whoa there, hero. <laughs> Not so fast. You still got some unfinished work to do. You're supposed to usher all our VIPs for the fundraiser tonight. Mr. Jossum, I'm sorry, but with all due respect, the tofu fundraiser can wait. <laughs> My feelings are hurt, hero. You haven't forgotten about a contract, have you? <laughs> Forget the contracts! Basil needs us! We have to go, Hero! <laughs> uh, you must have missed something, Hero. Uh, why, why would you- why would you- you wouldn't leave. You won't leave. You don't need- you didn't sign a contract with her. Who'd you break a promise, Hero? I don't- did you- would you really? you break a promise. I don't listen to Aubrey because of a contract. I listen to her because she's my friend. I'm sorry, Mr. Jossum. My friends are more important than a measly piece of paper. Measly piece of paper? You disrespect me. Boy, I take you in, a youngin' with no experience, and I turn you into the goddamn best employee anyone has ever had in the history of corporations. You would be nothing if it wasn't for me. The punishment for breaking contract is death. I'll teach you to respect your superiors. Back with the full gang though, it's been a minute. Uh, boys, would you be so kind as to show these kids the way out? And by that I mean to, to their, their grave. Hey, hey, hero, hey, could you uh, dig some some holes out back for no no reason? No reason. Uh, so I have to use attack here and then we are going to, to pass to Amori and that makes him really happy. Uh, and then hero is going to charm, no, he's going to reduce attack, attack fell, pass to Amori. Yes, then he's going to become ecstatic, which is perfect. Exactly what we're looking for. 240 damage. Okay, so we've got we've got some happy friends. We go. It's time to cook, Jesse. It's time to cook, Jesse. Omori ready his blade. Okay, sick. There we go. Now we can do some damage. Perfect. Recover some health. You can do it. She's ecstatic. Kel is happy. Jossum's pissed off. We're we're ready, basically. We're ready. Zera, yeah, juiced all friends. That is perfect. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. I okay, we are gaming right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, perfect, perfect.
perfect, perfect. Kelly's chicken wing. Aubrey eating good. Omori, look, I've not seen that sprite yet. That is a bit rough, I'm not gonna lie. We go for a hack away. We go for a counter. We go for a juice me. Juice him up. He's manic. And we go for a cook. It's time to cook. Ready's your bat. Omori slashes wildly. Jesus Christ, 350 damage. That is insane. Pick up an attack. Aubrey is going to take some serious damage here. It's energy release time, and this may do zero damage because he's got a guy. It's going to do zero damage. This is literally just going to do zero damage. Oh, it did 2,500 damage to that guy. That's cool. I guess we can do a little bit here, and that's okay. What do you mean we're running low on henchmen? That's impossible. Okay. Aubrey swings back. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Gets the kill. Perfect. That's a kill. Oh, golden, 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 golden. I'm just going to go all in on damage this turn, and we'll see what happens. That's a kill. G, G, my guy. That is going to be Kel getting the kill. Wonderful. You let yourselves be foiled by a bunch of children. <laughs> Ah, uh, what did I even hire you for? <laughs> that, 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 that'll be enough. I gotta admit, you kids are pretty strong, but that doesn't matter now. Hero isn't the only ultimate employee in my workforce. I have, but one other. You can come in now. No! No! Pluto! Pluto, it's me, Kel! Don't you recognize us? We're your friends. I'm sorry, Kel. This is nothing personal. It's just business. Let's see how you do against the strength of a former planet, now a moon. Show these kids your true power. Right away, sir. I'm sorry, everyone. This is the end of the road for you. Don't make me fight my boy, Pluto. Are you kidding me? Hey, what is, what is one lifetime of uh, not getting paid for our work? Jesus Christ. Behold, this is my final form. Can you feel the heat? Let's, 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 let's flex. Wait. Oh, is that going to make him be like, wait a second. Kel, we're friends. I taught you how to do that. Flex is his best. Impressive progress, young Kel. Your flex has improved greatly. Why are you simping for a planet? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, well, that happened. I'm gonna see if I can set up a final attack. Oh wait, I can just do this. What am I doing? Obviously, I can set up reducing his attack. That's just stupid. Why wasn't I doing that? Oh my god, that's some good damage. Hold on. The more he swings, he does some good damage. I see. You have all gotten stronger, but so have I. He gets buffer? No. Okay, attack down twice. This is good. This is good. How much damage are you going to do to Aubrey with throwing the moon at her, though? That's the real question here. 62. This is, this is actually winnable, though. Moon Man has met his match and that is going to be pluto going down i don't know it seems so weird to me he was so motivated by himself it's crazy it's crazy that he decided to fight us like we had such a good rapport you know well done children you've come a long way but i'm not finished yet <sighs> you've all really gotten stronger i'm so proud of you even still i have a job to do and I plan on finishing it. Brace yourselves, children. This is the definition of power. When I flex. Wait for it. Wait for it. I feel my best. All right, all right. Break it up, break it up. Ah, cool it, Pluto. I'm already losing one ultimate employee today. I don't want to lose two. But sir, I can defeat them. Just give me a little more time. Don't sweat it, Pluto. I ain't risking any more assets today. <laughs> Just get out of here, all right? Just, just, just get get out of my office. Y'all been nothing but a pain in my tail anyway. Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. There's really nothing I can do to get you to say, huh? It's a pity. You could have reached your true potential here. Mr. Jossum, before we go, I just want to say that even after kidnapping all my friends and tricking us into signing an ambiguous contract for free work for the rest of our lives, I sometimes still thought of you as a pretty decent guy. Yeah, this might come as a surprise to you, but I always thought of you as a son I never had. I know you'll do some great things out there.
I get lost already. Can't you see I'm busy? Thanks again, Mr. Jossum. All right, everyone. Now that we're all together again, we can continue our search for Basil. You're right, Hero. We've we've almost got to the finish line. I can feel it. Wait for us, Basil. We'll get you in no time. No. <laughs> no, that's the dedication I like to see. Go get him, you crazy kids. Can we actually go see Pluto? Pluto, what's good, brother? Ugh, this is a surprise, children. Have you come to do battle with me again? <laughs> I understand you well. I'm still feeling the after effects of our heated battle. It was a memory I will cherish forever. You've all grown incredibly strong, but as with everything, there is still room to improve. Flex for me, Kel. Show me what I've taught you. <laughs> yes, sir, Pluno, sir. Dude, look at those guns. Hoo-ha! Kel's ready for action. Now who am I punching? No, I'm afraid you're mistaken. In this challenge, I won't be testing your power. I will be testing your endurance. Brace yourself, Kel. I won't be holding back. What have I stumbled into? Kel gained 50 heart and lost a two. <laughs> Okay, hey, we'll take that. That was that was a good choice I've just made. 165 HP. That almost gets him up to par. That's that's crazy. That's a huge buff. I'm bur Burpmo, and I wouldn't be anyone but me. I love the new Burt energy. Ooh, the gang is back. High five, everyone. So, does anyone remember how we ended up here? You know, I had the strangest dream. There we were, all of us falling down an endless black hole. And then the next thing I know, I'm signing my life away through a contract. You know what they say, it sure is strange where life takes you. So what were we doing again? We were looking for Basil or something, right? This is just the weirdest, the weirdest reaction to that. Oh yeah, we forgot about our friend that was our sole goal like 15 minutes ago. Yes, that's right, Kel. We were looking for Basil. Do you think Basil could be somewhere in the last resort? No way, Basil would be caught dead here. Does he seem like the type of person who would enjoy things like this? I don't know, does he? Why don't we just go around and ask anyone if they've seen him? Good thinking, Kel. Though, I guess we are pretty far away from home. I don't think anyone here would know what he looks like. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we all just draw a picture of him? Maybe people will be able to recognize him from the drawing. You two are full of good ideas today. That sounds like a plan. Cool, I'll start. Just gonna draw the face. Um, what is that? That looks nothing like Basil. Basil's hair is more like this. Um, no, wait. That doesn't look right either. Hey, what are you doing to my masterpiece? And when did Basil have such a big nose? All right, let's see how we're doing. <laughs> Yeesh. Is that really what Basil looks like? Ugh. I can't look. Mm, well, that didn't go so well. Don't be so down, Aubrey. We can just look for Basil ourselves. Yeah, it'll be okay. There's plenty of places we haven't looked yet. Mm, why don't we start searching around the deep well? You can get there pretty easily by taxi. There's always one in front of the last resort. Odd. Um, let's check our pocket. Okay, so that wasn't as concerningly weird as I thought it was going to be. It's just like a six-year-old drew it. Underwater highway. Hello. Hey. Isn't that Sweetheart? Hey, Sweetheart, remember us? We're the kids that almost ruined your wedding. What? You for again? Why don't people like you keep showing up? So, how's married life treating you? Ha, huh? married life is a joke. I am in relations with that pitiful excuse of a captain a long time ago. But your wedding was literally yesterday. Oh no, does that mean you and Space Husband are- Hmm, he's Space ex-husband now, for all I care. Ugh, that poor guy. Alas, my journey has gone full circle. It's more obvious to me now that my ever-perfect suitor does not exist. Don't say that, sweetheart. I'm sure your soulmate is out there somewhere. Oh, my sweet hero. How I've longed for your voice. But no, I must refrain. I've already decided my path. Searching for a suitor is too much old-fashioned for me. So I've decided I will simply make one. Make a suitor? Is that even possible? By regular people means no. But a wealthy person, such as myself, does not abide by such rules. I'm going someplace only filthy rich people like myself can afford. To a family of sea witches that specialize in clients with special demands. Toodaloo, peasants. I'm late for my appointment. So, should we follow her? Or what? I feel like every time Sweetheart shows up, something bad happens. Yeah, when it comes to disaster, she's in a league of her own. A floating mirror, your friends smile warmly behind you. They do, look at that. Hands sweat every time, every time without fail. Wait a second, this was the background on the computer. This was the computer background. We were playing blackjack. That's a little weird, right? Am I crazy? I just realized that this is the same thing. That is weird. 
S. Three keys left. That that was weird. I'm gonna go into the hole. I'm gonna go in. No, what is that? That's not okay. That is not okay. That's a thing that is in fact not okay, guys. Hey, you know what? That's not okay. I don't like this. I can we just not? That face really said, oh, he's like, oh. He, he saw the go live notification for my stream. He's like, oh, pog. And he's just kind of like a little bit ugly. So when he tried to pog, it was scary. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't, it, it wasn't anything like supposed to be scary or anything. He's like, oh, chicken stream, you know? And then, and then does she? How do we know this? It was a disembodied face. Never mind. Don't answer that. Uh, let's, let's just, what if, what if instead we just stopped acknowledging these things and, and just moved on forward onto this, this trench? Let's do that. Uh, you do not look okay, brother. Um, can I, can I like get you something? You want like a Tylenol? Wow, just look at this place. There's so many cool plants around. I bet Basil would have really liked it here. Basil, he would have really liked it. Right, guys? Yeah, I'm sure he would have. Huh? What is it? Hey, I have a serious question. Do any of you remember what Basil looks like? Oh, this is weird. Why do you ask that, Hero? Let's see here. Basil... Basil loves taking care of flowers and taking photos of his friends. He's warm, calm, and gentle. And even when he's upset, he has a wonderful, deep, sultry voice. It's a, it's very alluring. The rest is starting to get a little fuzzy. It's okay. Me too, hero. It's like I still miss him, but it's kind of hard to remember why. But that doesn't change anything, right? Even if our memories aren't as strong as they used to be, we still have to save him. Basil's our friend, and more importantly, he needs our help. You're right, Aubrey. I think we've all been apart from Basil for way too long. Bro, it's been like two days, but I'm sure we'll find him as long as we have Amori to keep us on track. So more time. And then he Omored all over the place. All this time, Basil's been waiting for us. He could be lost, lonely, or scared. I bet he could use a big hug right now. Then when we're all together again, we should all give him a big old hug. <laughs> Aw, it's nice to see you two getting along so well for a change. I could hug the both of you right now. Mm-hmm. Me and Kel, get along? What are you talking about, hero? Stop being weird. <laughs> Relax, you two. I'm just playing around. Hold on, Basil. We're almost there. We'll all be together again soon. Everything's so cryptic with this game. I just don't know what to make of it. Oh. Nope. F that. Hey, I just had a great idea. No. Hey, instead. Bye. You have questions that I can answer. Answers that you have forgotten. I will lay them out for you. If you are curious, you will choose. My lost friend, the big yellow cat, white space. Oh, I want to know all of these. Um, I would like to know about my lost friend. That would be nice. You would like to know more about your lost friend? Yes. Friend that you have lost is not in this world. The day he was removed, he was reborn elsewhere. He is special to you. A string of fate ties you two together. He cannot leave that place alone. To retrieve him, you'll have to remove yourself as well but in a way that is natural for this world, for headspace. The journey is nearing its end. You already know what you have to do, Dreamer. You've listened well. I've granted you knowledge, but know that I can also grant you power here. There's a challenge that will aid you greatly in this world. It is simple without thought, and if you succeed, I will be gone as well. I offer you this sacrifice. Will you take this opportunity? Hell yeah. I understand. Stand very still, Dreamer. I'm not moving a muscle. Okay, cool. No, this is great. Those are hands. That's, that's not okay. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna... Can I talk to the tree? Do I just stand here? Am I supposed to stand here? Oh my god, what is happening? That is a me. A red juicy apple hangs from this tree. Would you like to eat the apple? Brother, that is, you know, I've seen, I've seen quite a few apples in my time. I would venture to say this may in fact not be an apple. Apples, famously the least symbolic fruit. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the apple. I actually got some apples at the store and I have been so... What is happening? I got some Honeycrisp apples when I went to the store the other day and I've been having them. They're very good. What is going on? I gain 50 heart. I gain 50 juice. I gain 10 attack, 10 defense. Holy shit, speed too. Dude, we're cracked. That's the most unassuming little goober of a whale. I mean, I'm okay with that. Is that is that really what lies at the end of this horrific monstrosity of a cave? Really? Is a, is a goofy little whale man? I'm down. Hello, friendo. How's it going? Well, hello there, friends. The name is Humphrey. What brings you to my humble little cave? Oh, hello, Humphrey. We're looking for someone. Sorry if we're bothering you. Oh, no, not at all, children. I do love visitors. In fact, you're the second group to visit me today. The first was just a girl and a very loud girl with a big red bow. Doesn't that sound like someone we know? Huh? Is Sweetheart here? Where is she? Hmm. Where is she? Where did she go? It's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> 
That's a joke. It is. <laughs> she is inside me, you see. I have consumed her body. I chewed on her and ate her. She is now decaying in my stomach juices. She's inside you? Why, yes. She's visiting my guests, for I am also home to a family of sea witches. We spend our time together chatting and chuckling. And it's so fun to hear about their daily antics. Sometimes they're even so kind as to bring me my meals. It's much easier for them, you see, for they are closer to my belly than I. In fact, I'm sure they'd love even more visitors. Here, let me lower the bridge for you. My apologies, the first guest seems to be causing some indigestion. <laughs> yeah, let's go in. You've fallen for my trap card. Humphrey. Dude, this game has so much charm. It is unreal. Whoa, Humphrey's belly is huge. It sure looks easy to get lost in here. I bet if I yell, it'd make an echo. Echo, echo, echo. Ah, where'd you come from? Welcome to my lair. Are you surprised to see me? I am always here. I am inside me and all around you. I am everywhere. Or am I just here? Wow, that's so cool, Humphrey. I wish I could do that. It's kind of gross if you ask me. Wow, so rude. There are many ways to go. Where should we even start? Just pick one, it's easy. Okay, eternal banana? Waste. No, don't call the banana that. Are you kidding me? Anti-banana squad, f bananas. Jesus, calm down. It's not that deep. It's a banana. How, how have you... Chad knows the way. Apparently, how do you have that strong of an opinion of bananas? I did not know there were people that existed that had this strong of, of an opinion about bananas. I gotta be honest with you. Activated the anti-banana sleeper agents in the chat. <laughs> like Big Apple has like uh, enacted the, uh, the anti-banana propaganda. So anytime someone brings up bananas and it's like bananas, I hate bananas. It's like, well, everybody must hate bananas then. This is paid opposition. You're being paid by big big apple and that's not okay OMG, is that a bomb holy shit it's a bomb i completely missed that <laughs> puzzle time i do in fact like puzzles a lot actually when you learn that there's actually no jump scare in the mirror is there no jump scare in the mirror is there really is there no jump scare in the mirror i don't think there is you know what i don't think there is let's just cut all the wires and see what happens Okay, so we we died. Could anyone have seen this coming? Uh, no. Red, green, blue. We're gaming, dude. We got this. Okay, so like I said, um, that was not the correct order, and I can't believe that you guys in chat suggested that I do that, thus killing everybody. I bear no responsibility for this at all. Wait, it's blue first. Okay, blue followed by green. Blue, green, red, white, right? Blue, green, red, white. Blue, green, red, white. Dude, gaming. Hello, why am I in Paraguay? <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, there, uh, there's a lot to unpack here. Watching without audio. Why am I in Paraguay? Your name is Basil, and, and we're looking for Basil in the game. Thank you for the follow. What is happening? Uh, there's so much to unpack with... with just this two message interaction. Bessel's real. Yeah. <laughs> Lost IRL. <laughs> He's in Paraguay. Let's go get him. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. That one scared me. The gang is bleeding out. No kidding. Oh, cool. Hey, look, the camera's taking live footage of us. Say cheese. Oh, we look so cute. <laughs> Almost makes you wish we had a camera. Yeah, don't worry. We have loads of pictures of us, don't we? We have pictures of us? Where? But only when we least expect it. What are you talking about, Kel? Something special about everyone living their own lives. Um, you're being kind of weird. Huh? Um, nah, never mind. Nah, it's probably nothing. That was really weird. Let's keep moving forward. We gotta figure out the solution to these puzzles. The bomb could blow at any second. That was really weird. It's a good thing I've checked before writing this M or I would have almost written another B. That would have been pretty bad, huh? O B O B O M Mobo. Moob. The the answer is moob. There's no moob. No moob. I can't believe this. 
every time. Instant, instant hand sweats. My greatest invention is complete. That's not a moob. Unfortunate. Speak, my beautiful robot. <laughs> oh. Well, that doesn't sound right. Something must be off with the code. Because you made me rush my work. Instead of the love, it must now be programmed to kill. Hmm. Don't blame this on me. She's your robot. Thanks to you, my hopes of trying, of finding true love have been shattered. You've disappointed me greatly. I'm storming off. Why, what a handful. Well, she's not my problem now. I almost forgot. That girl, she owes me payment. I must catch her again before she leaves. Hey, check this out, humans. Do you know us Humphreys are strong enough to withstand a waterfall's current? Watch this. <laughs> Yikes, except for that guy, I guess. Oh, well, that's just natural selection working. Give him a Darwin Award while we're at it. Look at all these cool plants here. Hmm. Basil. Basil? That's the name of the plant here. Oh, it's so cute. It kind of reminds me of something, but... I can't remember what. That's that's really concerning. They foregore. They did foregore. They did. Dude, this is the greatest Humphrey we've seen so far. I say that Medusa's experiment has a 14 times 7 plus 44 divided by 11 minus 2% chance of success. I love that Kel's holding on to the, the sail. I didn't realize that until just now. Okay, so I don't have an L because uh, I just don't take Ls. Oh, uh, we don't have C, so it's welcome. Welcome to black space. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you, bud. I got you, brother. I got you. I am the big bolio. In return for finding me, I bless you with great fortune. Oh, sick. Okay. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you. What a nice looking pool. Oh, we... Get him out! Get him out! Guys, 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 guys. We need to help him. We need to help him. Oh, he's gone. He's he's gone. Snaily f***ing dies again. Yeah, no kidding. This looks like- Oh, wait. R you're gonna- You're gonna- Don't hurt him! What did he do to deserve this? Nothing. I will tell you nothing. That was so unnecessary. Just ask him to move. You got a life jam. Wow. Okay, let's head on over here. And a bonk. And a boot. Whole chicken? I mean, you're already watching a whole chicken, but I guess we can't go wrong with two? Hey, look, it's a flower crown. Oh, no. All the flowers are bruised up. It looks kind of familiar. I wonder who this belongs to. Do you think we should try to return it to them? This flower crown is in pretty bad condition. I don't think anyone would want something like that. Yeah, maybe you're right. What did you do that for? It's fine. You heard what Hero said. No one wants something as bruised up as that. But it used to belong to someone. Kicking off a cliff is just mean. Oh, why? Flowers grow back anyway, don't they? All right, calm down, you two. Kel, apologize to Aubrey. Fine, sorry, Aubrey. Apology not accepted. Hm. Hmm. Well, there's the cat again. Holy shit! Marina's 667th experiment. Do not poke the glass. Okay, well that didn't go well. Because I felt like it. I, you know what? I wanted to test fate. What? Oh god. Ah! Okay, well that didn't work. That was great. Awesome, great. Very awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, uh-huh, 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 uh-hu
I am 10 times, no, a hundred times more beautiful than this thing. You've disappointed me greatly. I'm storming off now. Hey, what the heck? You can't just storm off, lady. Where's my money? Stop right there. You can't leave just yet, doll. We just want our payment, darling. Can't you see how upset Marina is getting? Where's my money, lady? Give me my money. Huh. As if you're three peasants are worthy, worthy of payment. All I wanted was for you to make me a perfect match. But you've all just managed to fail me in three different ways. If you're so insistent to get your worthless clams, then these children cover the charge. Where do you think you're going? Humphrey, stop her now! Yo ho! I'm here to report that sweetheart has been disposed of. It's a good thing you asked. I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to hold myself back any longer. <laughs> Humphrey is a king. I love him. Also, this may or may not surprise you, but Sweetheart had a total balance of zero clams on her. Zero, not a single one. Which is quite unfortunate as I am getting a bit hungry. That witch double crossed us. I knew there was something fishy about her. Ah, well, not necessarily. She did say these children would cover the charge. Oh yeah, huh, in that case, she's definitely paid her due. Which parts of them should we sell off first? We such a brew, Marina. I'm sure she made the kids would just pay us, not that we should sell them. I'm screwing up their voices, I know. All right, darlings, now be a good and hand over your big, big bag of clams. Uh, huh? So, uh, yeah, about that. Just curious, how much does she owe you anyways? Well, let's see here. There's a consultation fee, initial fee, setup fee, inspection fee, service fee, cost of materials, warranty fee, disposal fee, shipping and handling, gratuity, cancellation fee, damages, late payment fee. So that brings the total charge to about a million clams. We don't have that kind of money. Oh, well, that's just too bad. I'm free. See all the exits. Uh oh, I luck, kids. You walked into the wrong whale. Someone's got to pay for all this. I would say desperate times call for desperate measures. Don't you agree, sisters? Oh. This one's too pretty to sell, isn't he, Molly? Well, I like the quiet one. He would make a great pet. Don't you touch him! Let us go now! We didn't do anything wrong! Oh, feisty. I think you'd like this one, Marina. Foo, foo, foo. I guess selling just one will do. No, cow! <laughs> hey, let me go! You can't, can't play us and pay us in clams. You can pay us with your arms and legs. Cow, no! Put me down! Put me down! <laughs> What the heck? He bit me. Oh, settle down, Marina. It's just a little nibble. You'll pay for this, Brad. Well, now it seems you've gotten Marina all worked up. Our little prey is biting back. Guys, it looks like we're gonna have to fight our way out of this place. If you're gonna keep resisting, you leave us with no other choice. I'm afraid we'll just have to. Turn you into chum instead. Ooh, the theme. Ooh, I like it. Oi. Um, actually, that worked out really well for turn one. I know it's gonna get crazier, but that's actually not bad. If that, if we can keep that up, that'd be sick. Pull out a chainsaw? That's not fair. You kids are more resilient than expected. You know what that means. It's time to get serious. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Oh, they're angry now. Uh, okay, that's not ideal. Aubrey taking quite a lot of damage there, but we heal back up fine. Damage though, let's go. Whoa, wait, what? Amori feels angry, Aubrey feels sad, Kel feels angry, Hero feels happy. Actually, we just switched that up. Everybody's happy now. Everybody's all happy, having a good time, you know? Oh, that damage, wait a second. Hey Medusa, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, sister. I think it's about time we switch things up. Just relax, children. This won't hurt a bit. Hold on, Aubrey goes down to one, that's a bit much. All right, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Uh, is that maybe perhaps game over? Maybe. How much damage? 1,500 damage! How much HP do you even have left? Okay, so we lost all our juice. That is unfortunate. Attack, defense, and speed fall? Really? Whole pizza. Beautiful. Oh my god, the damage is ridiculous. I guess it works for the remaining characters, but Jesus. We're gonna hack away. We're going to snack into... Like, we have not used a single one of our jam packets. We have six. I think we're allowed to do that. Amori didn't take that much damage from that. That's not terrible. And we're ready for a combo attack, too. 600 more damage. Wait, was that the kill? No, not quite. Not quite. Pretty damn close, though, I'd imagine. Aw. Oh, that's the kill. Sick. Okay. All right. Hey, that's fine. 
You kids are a lot tougher than you look. What a predicament. How will we feed Humphrey now? Not to alarm you all, but I'm afraid my appetite is getting much, much, much bigger. Yeah, yeah, Humphrey, we got you. Molly, feed Humphrey some clams. Huh? I'm sure I fed him last time. Besides, I've used up all my clams on software for the last job. I'm getting hungrier. Okay, fine then. How about you, Medusa? Well, I... I wasn't expecting to feed Humphrey again so soon. Memory serves me correctly, isn't it? Your turn to feed him, Mar Marina? Oh, wait, is it? I thought it was Molly's turn. I'm pretty sure it was Medusa's turn this time. Well, 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 it seems as if you've all run into a bit of a pickle. If you can't feed me, I guess I'll just have to help myself. Oh. Yo ho! Yeah. Seafood, delicious. Humphrey's out of control. How are we gonna get out of here? Keep calm, everyone. Let's look for an exit. Yeah, you know, some may say that this was preventable by, I don't know, perhaps not setting up uh, in, inside of a, a gigantic whale. Um, I'm out, I'm out, goodbye, I'm out. I'm out. My friends, may I say you all look delicious right now? Humphrey, stop this. Haven't you eaten enough? We promise we'll feed you later. But you can feed me now. Just let me eat you. Time to feast. Time to feast. Time for you to be deceased. Please don't eat us, Humphrey. We don't want to be eaten. Well, it's a little way for that, isn't it? You should have thought about that before you walked into my mouth. <laughs> it's no good, Guys, I don't know if there's a way out of here. Don't say that, hero. Yeah, we can't let it end like this. Dinner is being served, and you're on the menu. Uh, we go for a counter. It wasn't really prepared for a back-to-back -back boss fight, but I guess we'll take it. Actually, we're gonna reduce your attack because you seem like you might have high attack. I love how they frown when they're getting hit. That's not bad. If they focus Aubrey, then we can do this pretty easily, actually. Flex on this hoe. Thank you very much. Decent damage. Solid like 250. One more turn, we can do uh like this is this is too easy of a fight. There has to be some thing coming up. You know what I mean? The final fight has just begun, but can you win if we work as one? Okay. No, definitely. That's fine. All right, let's release some some damage. How about that? How about we release some damage? Does that sound good to you guys? How much? A thousand? Okay. Okay, a thousand's all right. Just a warning, it's about to get smelly. It's time for you to all get in my belly. Excuse me? Just full HP again. Are you kidding me? You're not gonna make me use a whole chicken. Don't make me eat my my own kind to win the boss fight. What kind of moral example am I being for the chatters, for all dozen of people that want to hang out in this stream? If I eat this whole chicken, <laughs> bad, I'm, I'm not dying, are you kidding me? <laughs> not a goddamn chance, are you joking? Go to release some energy, let's go. A thousand damage, we'll take that. I'm going to find anyone that clips that right there and I'm going to ban you. Wait, he swallows everyone? You can't ban all of us. <laughs> okay. Cooking meat is very fun. Should you be rare, medium, rare, medium, or well done? Okay, Shakespeare. Just stop. Quick. <laughs> hey, Aubrey, take this. <sighs> Thanks, kill. What the f is this? Attack drop is just OP. Wow, 600 damage, okay. There's no need to squirm, ignorance is bliss. How many times must we do this? Bro, I, I really, I don't even want to keep doing your lines. You're pissing me off at this point. You really, you really think you're slick, huh? Fighting to the death, 400 damage. Kel's crushing it. Feel free to struggle, cause no matter what, you'll never, never be able to escape my gut. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with this one. I feel like we're justified here. <sighs> it's no use. How will we get out of here if Humphrey keeps swallowing us? The eyes are just... I hate... Oh. Going somewhere? <laughs> you, you. Oh. Or not. 10,000 XP. Okay, 2,000 clams. I guess we just found him somewhere. <laughs> 
Uvulas are pretty fragile, as it turns out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, no. Wait, why, why is this happening over and over? Oh, that's how many times we got eaten. We kept getting eaten by the... Okay. He looks so happy. <gasps> well, that didn't go down smoothly at all. Hmm. Suddenly, I feel so sleepy. I think... I'll take a short nap. That was a close one. Yeah, never underestimate a hungry stomach. That was really scary. But you know what? At least we got through it together. So what do you guys want to do now? Hmm, I'm not sure. Were we looking for something? Wait, didn't Eero mention this before? Yeah, we were just following Sweetheart, but that situation seems to have resolved itself. No, I'm pretty sure there was something else. Aubrey, you're always worrying about nothing. Come on, you should learn to relax and enjoy yourself sometimes. I guess that's true. I'm a little tired of worrying so much. W. Okay, he's left. There's a hole here. Look into the hole. I will look into the... No! No! Your dear sister, Mari, with a bad knee. You could not bear for her to die again, so she was given the safety of a picnic blanket. Yet it is her nature to leave and to protect. And when she does, she will leave you again and be born anew. With the undying soul that you have cursed her with. Bro, this is a Wendy's. Souls assigned to your friends. They are fragile and must be protected. And so they must remain asleep. Yet, the path to truth is closer to your most precious room than ever before. Will you be able to bury it this time? Perhaps it is too late for you. The end of this journey will lead to suffering. But if you do not face this, you cannot continue. This form, though it has not shown its true self, is evil. You will not see that unless you fight it. When your intentions become hazy, they will transpire into this world like a thick fog. At that time, return to where the truth was reborn, to the heart of the forest. And like each time before it, attempt to rewrite your fate. Will you be doomed to repeat this cycle over and over? Or will you break it? Explore this world while you can, dreamer. Until there is nothing left. Welcome to the black space. Uh, where's the sea? Where's the sea? Between giant pinwheels? Stop right there. You can't pass the lady. Well, that's a straight pass. You must be the last passengers. We've been waiting for you for a very, very long time. Well, it's not clear for me. Welcome aboard, patrons. Oh, cool. No, that's normal. Brother, don't, don't do this. Don't turn the lights off on me. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I gotta be honest with you, bro. I see eyeballs, just bundles of eyeballs, and my brain is like, mm. Oh, maybe f that, perhaps. What if no? What if no, you know? What if no? Sonny, I'm sorry. What is that supposed to mean? Ladies and gents, we have arrived at our shop. Welcome to the orange oasis where the moon shines brighter. Please exit the train in an orderly fashion. Thank you for your patronage. Please ride with us again. No, that's cool. A whole bunch of toast. So all the people, all the strangers died. Uh... Cool. Yeah, 0 out of 10 train experience. Yeah, make sure to thoroughly explore this area. Okay. I almost died by one eyed demon amalgamate and everyone turned into toast. 0 out of 10. Yeah, you just like drop a Google review like, you know, I thought that the the whole ride was like pretty it, it went smoothly. It was like it was it was okay. Cushions comfortable, not overpacked, you know, like got a seat. It was it was good. Um bit of a, a constructive point of criticism here for you guys though um maybe perform a f***ing exorcism because holy shit brother bun cake are you kidding me how can i even attack you they said it couldn't be done they were wrong welcome to the dino shop according to my log it says you got a zero dollar dino dollar total so i gotta go get some dino dollars hey there little adventurers welcome to dino's dig i'm dino the founder of dino's dig <clears throat> Are you hungry for treasure? Are you ready to have a spoonful of adventure? If so, you've come to the right place. Sorry, I don't do rhymes. Here at Dino's Dig, we have created the ultimate treasure hunting adventure, which you can experience for the low price of 100 clams. Are you ready to enjoy the fun and excitement of digging for treasure? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dino-tastic! All right, come on back here, kids. Back to my, my room back here in the darkness. What could possibly... Oh, God, it's actually... All right, kiddos, first things first. Here at Dino's Dig, we dig with spoons. Since you don't have a spoon, I'll give you a potato spoon for free. You got a potato spoon. Here you go, right on, brother. You're a quick learner, aren't you? I see a thing. Hold on. 
You got ramen. Let's go. We got ramen. Popcorn. Dino dollar. Pyramid key. Wait a second. Pyramid key. Interesting. A dino dollar. And it broke. I am going to dig dino dollars for the rest of the stream. That is that is my promise to you. And with my eyes set on the greatest spoon in the Omori universe, I dug and dug and dug. And pretty soon, something incredible happened. Oh, Hector, could it be? It's really you. Hector, come on back in my pocket. You go. And then we just like old times. Oh, he's so happy. Look at him. Ah, oh, Kel, my old friend. I'm so very sorry. I'm afraid things have changed and I can no longer accompany you. No, you see. <gasps> Hector. I have a family now. Wait, Hector Jr., what are you doing? Are you saying that you want to join them? That there's more to life than just staying here? Oh, Hector Jr., I understand you well. Even this old stone knew how to have fun once. May you all have memorable adventures together. Go on and join him, Hector Jr. Into his pocket you go. You got it, Hector Jr. I guess this is farewell then. Thank you for never giving up on finding me, Kel. Hector Jr., you be good, okay? Don't forget your family. Don't forget your old pop. We're always here for you. I hope the next time we meet, you'll have flourished into a wonderful polished rock. Don't worry, Hector. I'll take good care of Hector Jr. I know you will, Kel. Just don't lose him this time, all right? I won't. I promise. I'll always be proud of you, son. Follow your dreams, big brother. What you doing currently? I am playing the greatest mini game in the history of mankind. There's a door at the end. Oh. Oh, shoot. Thanks for the heads up, guys. Oh, the pyramid key. All right. What? The... I got a pyramid key. Is that lucky? Did I just get, like, really lucky? All right, let's do it. Send it, baby. This is the worst thing anyone's ever had me do, ever. I, this is, this is tragedy in motion. This feels targeted, you know? This feels targeted and I don't appreciate that. Okay, you know, I don't ever think murder is justified, but I do think that in hindsight, we we can say this wasn't the worst decision I've made today. Yeah, I think I'm comfortable saying that. Pain, 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 pain. No, really? What? You're kidding. I haven't gotten hit with it once. I can't believe this. There has to be a jump scare, right? What's this way? What is this? Oi! Bro, people cannot run at me like that. That's the worst this game has got me so far. I'm glad you're on fire. You deserve this, asshole. You deserve this. Can I catch him when he turns? You have a worried look in your eyes. I can tell a problem greatly ails you. Let me tell you something, child. Would you know that an arduous and difficult future lies ahead? All you need is hope. Be hopeful of yourself and hopeful of the future. Yes. Anything is possible if you believe. And if all else fails, no, at least I will believe in you, all right? Okay. Excellent. Please accept this teaching as a gift. Spicy food! Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be off. What is your spice tolerance level? I like spicy food. And when I say spicy food, I'm not talking mayo, all right? So I've had a YouTube channel for a really, really, really long time now. It's been like 12 or 13 years now that I've been uh, a YouTuber of some kind. Back in 2015, I was in high school. And some of my friends said, hey, you couldn't handle a ghost pepper. And I was like, I think I can. I think I can't handle a ghost pepper. I think I can do that. So for my 150 subscriber special, I ate a dried ghost pepper, which was disgusting, by the way. 150 subs. Is this a snuff film? <laughs> Immediately, my whole body started sweating. My eyes were tearing up. I like spicy food. I was dying here. This is literally a 20 minute video. I take my shirt off. I'm like, I was freaking out. I go back, I ran out of milk and I go back downstairs and I got more milk and then I came back up and I was talking. Thank you for 150 subscribers and all 150 subs decided to click on that video. Anyways.
So yeah, I've got some experience with spicy foods. It's it's gonna be gaming time in just a moment. Sorry, that wasn't the uh, the type of energy I think you need for this. Because today we fight the demons. I've been teasing this for ages. I've wanted to go onto their doorstep and kick down their door, steal their cat, beat them up occasionally. You know, if they deserve it, maybe. I mean, some demons are probably cool. It's time to f the demons. Let's do it. There is a mystical valve nearby which controls our rainfall, but only the chosen one is able to turn it. If no one helps us, we are doomed to be slightly uncomfortable forever. Not the prunies! Anything but that! You are the hero of Rain Town. The rain has been adjusted. Neat. Thank you, Chosen One. We will remember your act of kindness forever. What is that, child? You want to go with them? Are you sure? If that is your wish, Chosen One, this child wishes to join you on your quest. She is yours now. Please take good care of her. Okay. I didn't sign up for this. Can I eat the child? No. Kidnapping. Yeah. Can you? No, 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 no. no. Hold on. Hold on. I, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't know. See, when you go to the pocket and you go to snacks, ideally, like, you know, you see a whole bunch of, a whole array of foods, right? And, and in, including some vegetables, right? Some vegetables. So this is a, a, a legit, a, a legit question. A little, a, a little bit of an inquiry I think most people would have. Is this an edible child or is it, is it, is it a child that we equip as a friend? You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, look guys, it's Kel. <laughs> How can Kel be in two places at once? That's crazy. You should check the bookshelf. I never would have gone back so i do appreciate you telling me that bookcase there's a photo hanging out from one of the books <laughs> okay you slip the photo back in the book do i have to play something i bet i have to play something here right and then it turns it, it like opens a door Ooh, wait a second. Wait a second. I see you. I Dude, this is a bit suspect. I'm a bit suspicious right now, guys. I'm a No. This can't be real. The giant toast! We found it! Yes, I want to poke the big toast! They said it was an urban legend! They said it wasn't real! It's the eighth wonder of the world, dude! Oh. Oh. Ew. What is all this? This, this is all-purpose flour. Achoo! Ugh. My nose is all itchy. Well, you see, this is a, a little odd to walk in on. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> the sprite. Um, is that a cat? Do you want to pick up the stray cat? Yes, I do. Stop right there, no gooders. Can't y'all read directions? You should be ashamed of yourself. My family and I have been guarding this crib's treasure for generations, but guarding ain't easy because of people like you. I may be old and frail now, my eyesight may not be so good, and I may be the only one left, but I spent a lifetime doing this, and I've gotten real good at garden, I reckon. I can't even remember why I'm gardening, but it's probably whatever's hidden in that important safe on the left corner of the room. Anyway, I'm gonna have to ask y'all to leave peacefully. Being an actual mole and all, I can dig my way up out of here in three seconds flat. There ain't nothing special about this place. So how about I save y'all some trouble and get you out of here? No. You want to stay and enjoy the place? All right, if you insist, feel free to look around and all. This summoning circle may be old, but it still works like a charm. But no funny business. Or else... Don't you even think about opening up that safe. There's definitely no combination or anything like that around these parts. Okay, summoning circle time. I will pick up the loaf. I will sacrifice the loaf. You know what? I feel pretty okay with that. I do. Okay, so we just, um, Full Metal Alchemists a loaf of bread. That's, that's fun. Oh, okay. That was, uh, a bit odd. Sacrifice the spaghetti. Let's go. 
This is the worst thing I've ever done. I gotta be honest with you. We sacrificed the spaghetti. Oh my god, the rigatoni. A oh, creepy pasta. <laughs> Copy pasta. That's amazing. You know, you don't have to sacrifice them, but what if I want to though, right? What if I'm like really feeling so inclined? Dude, wait, sacrifice the life jam? What happens when you sacrifice something that's supposed to bring you back to life? Uh, living breath. <laughs> it comes to life. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Dude, I want cookies. Didn't you say you were almost 40? Yep, you're right. I'm almost... What happened? Wait, what? Oh, Papa Chip comes with good tidings for you. That was a sign of goodwill. Papa Chip will give you something Papa Chip knows you will enjoy. Papa Chip gave you bread. No, I wanted cookies, brother. I'm Papa Chip. <laughs> Papa Chip sees you having that plate of oatmeal cookies. Papa Chip warns you for your own sake. Don't do it. Do you want to pick up the oatmeal cookies? Now listen here. Papa Chip saved a great deal of explorers by warning them of the plethora of dangers in these tombs. You best listen to Papa Chip's advice. Yes, I do. Step away from the oatmeal cookies cookies. No, I want them. Please, travelers. Papa Chip is begging you. Don't do it. Do not waste your precious young lives on something so fruitless. I really want the oatmeal cookies. Oh, you've done it now. Oh, Doey, you've done it now. Papa Chip can't look. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, 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 no! Nefarious chip. Uh oh. Is this not the consequences of my actions? I feel like this is gonna be a tough boss fight, actually. 10,000 XP! Let's go, dude. Papa Chip is supposed to warn you of the danger that is Nefarious Chip. But it seems that Nefarious Chip was no match for you. I suppose Papa Chip is just useless then. No, Papa Chip, no. I do want to pick up the forest bunny. I, I, I will sacrifice the bunny. I will sacrifice the stray cat. It's a stray cat. Nobody cares about it. Who's who's gonna miss this? What have I done? Wait, this is a tonal change. I was not expecting. I gotta be honest with you. Oh more, oh more, and it up. Well, that was easy. Oh, look, there was no consequences. We're fine. Perfect spot for a sacrifice. Yep. Did you not see anything that just happened? Well, that do appear to be the old little mole man. Um, Mr. Mole Man. Hello. You want to pick up the actual mole? There may be no turning back. Yes, this is what I'm going to do. What in tarnation? I picked up the actual mole. Uh, see, yeah, this is fine. We'll sacrifice him. This is okay because the game lets us do it. It is okay. A portal has been opened. Ho! Okay, hello. Oh my god. Uh, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. <laughs> Use a life jam on Aubrey. Oh shit. Okay, cool. Omori, you saved me. Thank you. I thought I was toast for sure. Ah, uh, where am I? Oh, hey guys, what did I miss? Oof. Welcome back, hero. How are you feeling? I feel dizzy. Whoa. Hey, where are we? I don't know. Maybe a place where we all, where all abandoned toast goes. Well, we sure as heck aren't toast anymore. Let's hurry and find a way out of here. Let's do it. Wow. A heal and a save point? Yeah. Yeah, we made a mistake, clearly. I mean, the mole was kind of asking to get sacrificed. Ooh. -hoo. Ooh. -hoo. Ooh. He synthesized life out of the bread. We were born to make bread forever, day in and day out. It's a hard life. It's not very rewarding. But this is all we have. We just have to be grateful, right, Biscuit? Oh, that's right, brother. This has always been our life, trapped in an endless circle of bread. Oh. So this is where the wailing was coming from. Ah, the bread. It has spoken. I knew that our bread would come back to haunt us eventually. We must destroy them before they destroy us first. Wait a second, we're not- Oh. Unbread twins, amazing. God, the intros to these themes, they're so good. The, like the slow build in the beginning. God, like it's just fantastic. With so many of these themes, it's, they're so good. This was optional. Like, how sick is that? Did a little bit too much damage there for being like attack nerf. A little bit, a little bit too much. A little bit too much. We kind of have to cook, but actually she's going to die anyway. So I might as well just go for the attack fall. <laughs> fresh bread, fresh bread. Every day it's fresh bread. Oh, oh, they're sad now. Well, guess what? I can be angry and that beats sad. We're running out of supplies. What do we do, Biscuit? Oh, they became depressed. No, guys, it's going to be okay. It's not okay. I, I am going to kill both of you. But stop calling the breads, 
please. What was that? Oh, it's a pasta. They called a pasta. That's impossible. <laughs> Bro, I'm leaving stream. <laughs> okay. We're running low on everything. We have almost nothing left. Oh. Guys, cheer up. Your entire life is baking. You can still do that. They're blue daba dee daba dead. <laughs> GG. Our resources have been depleted. What will we do without ingredients? Oh. Bro, just, like, go outside. Hey, so how long have you guys been baking bread here? Don't you want to, like, go outside and get some fresh air? Oh, if only that were possible. We've been trapped here since the inception of the universe. Wow, that sounds like a pretty long time. I think you both deserve a break. That portal up there is able to transport us out of this place. We've used it countless times to fulfill our bread summonings. We have never seen the other side for ourselves. Well, we have. And let me tell you, it's a big, awesome world out there. And I think it's time you guys start exploring new possibilities. Biscuit, we've always been afraid to use the portal, but perhaps it's time for a change. Come on, brother. Let's experience our first taste of freedom. Oh, you got bread. Wow. What, if, what happens if I go back down? I gotta go. You, you know now I have to. It's you. Don't think I forgot what you did. Anyways, just because I'm a ghost now doesn't mean I can't dig my way out of here. Do you want to go back to the surface? You won't be able to take anything you find from the counters here with you. I'll have you back on the surface faster than a hot knife through butter. Okay, cool. So that was a fun little diversion. But I think I'm good, like, leaving it how it is. Bloody footprints? No way! <laughs> Pinwheel forest, huh? Did the thing. Guys, we did the thing. We did the thing. We got- we got the key. We did the thing! Zero keys left. What? No, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to black space. I got you, bro. Now, what does that do exactly? Oh, cool. No, no, that's normal. That's fine. Hey, that's cool. Just a nightmare. That's- that's awesome. Great. No. I'm thinking perhaps I've made a mistake, though. You son of a bitch. I'm gonna go stab you in the eyeball, you dick. Been scaring me for ages, brother. I'm sick of it. There's a hole here. Yeah, I'm gonna go into the hole. Are you kidding me? Absolutely, I'm gonna go into the hole. Are you gonna get- What the hell, dude? Stay away. You are not my son. Why won't you fall? Clearly a suicide happened, and then this is like the- What, like the dad chopping down the tree or something? I don't know. Interesting. Let's go look in the mirror. There won't be anything bad that'll happen ever. God, dude. Immediate hand sweats every single time. It's crazy I've looked in the mirror as often as I have, and I haven't been hit with any jump scare yet. Oh, cool. What's good, brother? How are you doing on this wonderful evening? Oh, they're all dead. Oh, no. This was an option? Oh. Could I have come here other days? Oh, no. Wait, we got the bad ending for sure. You were too late. Okay, so this is gonna be a bad ending. It doesn't end. There's no ending for this game. I'm gonna be streaming it until the end of my days. Oh, they're just gradually dying, huh? No, that's fine. This is normal. Oh, Mori, I'm scared. Let's, let's go back. No. Hello? Demons. It's a long way down. Do you wanna jump? Yes, jump. Love when he said it's demon stabbing time and then he stabbed those demons. <laughs> yeah. And then he omored all over the place. Oh, I have movement here? Okay. Well, that's unsettling. I do get a stab though, so I, I'm- I'm entertained and engaged in this content, right? But wait. Oh, you piece of shit. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? A black door casts a heavy shadow. What would you like to do? You know what? I'll just open the door because I- I'm- you know what? What's my option? Where am I, am I gonna go back? You think I'm gonna go back? What, am I gonna jump up the hole? Welcome to black space. Yes, this is what I did. <laughs> I love the part where Mari said, it's dying time, and then died all over the place. <laughs> that was a, a certified Omor moment there, you know? I think it's time to fight some D. What the f*** is happening? Hello? Oh, dude. Oh, what's happening here, dude? Oh, this is a nightmare. Oh, what the f*** is this? What is this thing? I didn't, what are you? Oh my god. I needed an adult. I'm being led in a direction. That is a big, a big stick man. Hello, how's it going? I hope you're good. I hope you're well. Average height comparison between me and my friends. Yeah, it's like me, 5'10", like those guys, six foot. You always been very, very bad. No, not Muo. Muo stares at you. She does not know what is happening. Do you want to cut open Muo? No, that, you're not making me stab the cat. You wouldn't do that game. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't. I know you wouldn't make me do this against my will game. You know what? What if we just logged off now? We just call it. 
you know? Oh, Omori was so fun. What a fun game that was, right? Am I right or am I freaking do it? Just freaking do it. Jesus Christ, I'm not okay with that. Hey guys, it's all okay, look. Cat is fine. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. He was sleeping and I woke him up. Yes, I'm waiting for something to happen. Oh, cool. Yeah, sure, we'll stab ourselves. That's fine. So, I, did I even need to kill the cat, actually? Was that option always there? What was the point of that? That's a watermelon. Safety watermelon. Stability, that's what I see in this watermelon. I see safety and stability. What's up? How's it going, bro? It's been a minute. How are you? Oh, Mori. You came back for me. Is that my flower crown? I'm so glad you found it. Let's get out of here. I'll follow your lead. Growing watermelons here has been fun, but I really miss my flowers back at home. How are they doing? Did you take care of them while I was gone? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I tried my best, you know? I, I did. I did, in fact, try my best. Watermelons sure are delicious. We used to cut them up and eat them all the time at the beach. I can still see Kel with those watermelon seeds all over his face. <laughs> Summer vacation with friends was the best, wasn't it? Things are getting a little dark for me, I gotta be honest with you. I do feel like this is a bit of a... a bit misleading, maybe. Um, you know... I, I was told we were going to uh, play this wonderful little little game with the little dream world and jump. What? What? I didn't pop him. <laughs> He's been a watermelon the whole time. That was expected. Both expected and very poggers, I would say. Stabbed himself to get out of the room. Yeah, he hated my company that much. He was like, I can't deal with this and spontaneously exploded. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Omori. I thought I was gonna be stuck here forever. Um, aren't you forgetting someone? Sure, sure, sure. What's good? Uh, you just blew up like a watermelon, so. That feels so much better. I can't believe you came here to save me. I missed you so much. Now that you're here, I I can finally go home. Lead the way. Everything's gonna be all right, brother. You just, you just place your trust in me, follow me all home, and uh, we'll be fine. You know, I think spiders are really misunderstood. You're not my friend anymore. They may look kind of scary, but they never attack humans unless they feel threatened. That's a lie. For weeks now, I occasionally have been waking up with spider bites on my body, and that mother definitely was not threatened while I was asleep, all right? So you can shut your goddamn mouth because you are a liar. Not to mention, they're also also one of my biggest helpers when I'm gardening since they eat a lot of the pests that can hurt my plants. It's all about the balance of nature. Well, if they're out in nature, I don't have a problem with it. Bro, you look like you might be glitching out a little bit. We want to talk about that? You told me that a big spider fell on your shoulders just as you were about to dive into the lake at our secret hangout spot. I know that spider must have looked so scary to you, but I promise you probably looked a lot scarier to the spider. Then he shouldn't have dropped on my head! There's so many spiders here all of a sudden. I can feel them crawling all over me. Maybe they're just saying hello. Oh, those are spiders. Cool. Hi, spiders. It's me, your friend Basil. Ugh, they're biting me. Oh, I'm probably just scaring them. They're there, spiders. It's okay. I'm not here to hurt you. There's so many of them. I can't get them off. Well, but if they're all your friends, then what's the problem then, huh? I thought they were- I thought spiders are our uh, friends. They're our friends. They don't actually bite unless they feel threatened. Oh, boy. Please. Help. Uh, cool. No, he just got eaten by the spiders. That's cool. You know, that's the kind of um, spider apologist behavior that uh, we're used to on the uh, chicken.tv stream, you know? That, that's kind of what we're used to around these parts. You're when you're being devoured alive by spiders, your friend mocks you for liking spiders. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Hey, bud. How's it going? Oh, uh, Omori, is it really you? How did you find me? Are Kel, Aubrey, and Hero here too? I've missed you all so much. I'm glad the treehouse is still standing. Everyone worked really hard to make it together. Let's go home, Omori. An elevator? I wonder where it leads to. Maybe it can take us back home. Actually, while we're in here, can I share something with you, Omori? Yeah, what's up, bro? Tell me. What's going on? No, we can stay in here. It's fine. Just, just tell me. What's going on? Or we can leave. That's fine, too. Oh, we're in the- <laughs> Hold on, Omori. I think I'm stuck. No, really? Could you help me? <laughs> Step bro. <laughs> oh my god, no. Okay, that took a turn. I'm out. See ya, bro. Uh, you know what? Hey, I didn't sign up for this.
Babble death counter three. Cannabis having a bad day today. He, he releases his head's free. You can't, you can't do this. <laughs> it's the stump. <gasps> Omori. Psst. Omori. I'm right here. Ta-da. Surprised to see me. I've been hiding in this stump ever since I got here. I'm not the best at defending myself, but I'm pretty good at surviving at least. Anyway, I knew you would come save me, Omori. And I'm sure we'll be able to make it out of this place now that you're here. This place seems a little dangerous, but I trust you. Not around elevators anymore, but you know. I feel like that's pretty understandable given the circumstances. Hey, Omori. You're acting kind of cold. Did I do something wrong? I don't like this place at all. It doesn't feel very very safe here. Not a- Brother, there were no elevators in the vicinity. How has this happened? Omori, you're here. Oh, I'm so relieved. I tried finding my way out, but I keep getting lost over and over. I'm sorry. You must be tired of saving me all the time. Maybe I should have tried harder. Yeah, you should have, and don't go in an elevator ever again. Anyway, everything is fine now that you're here. Let's go home. The whole time I've been here, I've been looking through my photo album to keep me company. When I was feeling scared, I would look at all our happy memories together. How are Aubrey, Kel, and Hero anyway? I hope you all didn't worry too much about me. I. Can't wait to see everyone again. Omori, look, it's Hero. You didn't tell me everyone was already here. Well, that was a little weird. Uh-oh. Basil, it does look like we are dealing with the effects of digital corruption. Bum, 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 bum. Um, this is what happens when the demons get ya. Kel. Aubrey, it's so good to see you guys. How have you been? Did you miss me? <laughs> Wait, what? What are you guys doing? Omori. Hey, hey, Aubrey, you look like you got like a little something on your, um, and then in your, uh, and, and all over, you know, uh. Hi, Omori, we were hoping that you'd come by soon. Want to play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Kel and Aubrey have been fighting a lot again. You would think they just got tired of it after a while, but they're both just so full of energy. Man, Aubrey always gets what she wants. Cool. Yeah, you just beat a man to death. Can we acknowledge this, please? Oh, a hard frozen steak in the snow? Yes, I want to eat some. Hell yeah, dude. Are you kidding me? Let's go. Asshole, what's good, brother? You look like you've seen some better days, you know? Sonny, why did it end up like this? I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me, my best friend? No, I'm good. Let's 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 dip. I'm out, bro. You know what? Hey, I didn't sign up for this specifically. Uh, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a dip. See you later, man. I'm out. Bye. No way. Not happening, brother. Uh uh. Yeah, we'll save him. Sure. I'll try my best. Oh, cool. That's normal. There's something out there. It's calling me, and it's calling you too. Are we- are, maybe we should go outside then. Let's go together. Okay. Cool. Hey, you got red eyes there, my man. Um... What, what was... Oh, cool. Hey, that's fine. I'm going outside. It's demon fucking- I'm fighting- fighting time. Hey, how's it going, bro? Finger. That's- wait, that's a puddle of blood. That is a literal finger? Finger looking good. Kid named Finger. <laughs> I'm- I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me, my best friend? Please. It hurts. Tell them to let go. Oh, wait. What are you doing? Tell them to stop. Please, tell them to stop. Help me! Oh, cool. He's dead. We did good today, guys. There are hands. Hello. We got hands up in here. Oh, animation. Cool. Okay. What are we What are we looking at here? I feel like your face is going to get all weird. I feel like your face is going to get a little bit weird here. Not really sure what to make of that. Remember when you were guessing passwords and fighting bunnies? It was a good time, wasn't it? Oh, I'm out of bed. Look at me go. Wow. My guy is still sleeping. <laughs> Waltzes were always my favorite. 
That's why I chose this thong for this, this thong. That's why I chose this thong, guys. You know, waltzes were always my favorite. That's why I chose this song for our last recital. But you always hated it, didn't you? I'd lock myself away on the piano. All that practice, playing the same song over and over. When you first picked up your new violin, you were so eager to play with me. But keeping up with something isn't so easy. Maybe I pushed you too hard. I'm sorry. I just wanted it to be perfect. You never did get to play that last recital. Did you want to play it with me now? Oh, what's good, bro? Whoa, you scared me there, Sonny. Sorry for bursting in like that. I could have sworn I heard some music. You must miss Mari a lot. It's been hard for me, too. I still think about her every day. I just don't understand why she chose to leave us the way she did. But I knew her as a person who would always want all of us to be happy, even if it was without her. So that was what the noose was, insinuating that it was her that did that. Yeah. You should really get some rest. Go upstairs. I'll come join you in a bit. Hey, it's the microwave. Hey guys, you remember back back in the day? Back when the when we ate that cold steak. Oh, that was some good good times when we ate a cold steak and threw it up. Whoa! One day left. Wow. Final day before I leave. Start a new life. 24 hours remain. A lot of the jump scares in this game are just quiet and unsettling. In an era of of a, a post FNAF world, right? Where like indie horror has become synonymous with like having a funny little gimmick and then screaming with the jump scares, right? It has its place, but this is much more, there's more tact. It's, it's cool. Good morning, Sunny. Rise and shine. I noticed the to-do list with your chores your mom gave you, so I finished them all. I hope you don't mind. Also, I made you breakfast. Come down and get it while it's still warm. Kel's already on the second plate. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, I'm down. Top of the morning, Sonny. You better start eating before I finish it all. I already eat most of the bacon, though. That's a mood. Another plate of bacon coming in hot. Oh boy, all for me? Thanks a bunch, bro. <laughs> oh, is mom home? Who could that be? I'll go get the door. Wait, it's gonna be Aubrey, isn't it? It's you. Wait, who? You, what is all of this? What the heck, Cal? Okay, I I'm like 99 per I'm taking that bacon, give me that bacon. <laughs> mm, give me that bacon. Huh? What's going on over here? Why are you here? Dang it, Cal. Now I have Easter, now I have Easter eggs. Dude, my brain is like shut off today. Dang it, Cal. Now I have eggs all over me. Well, I'm sorry, but you're the last person I'd expect to see here. What are you doing here anyway? Mm. I was just about to get to that. It's just Zabri. She's not answering her door. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Dang it, Cal. No, I'm the Easter Bunny. Shit. I know this is your fault somehow. Tell me what you did to her. We didn't do anything. She's the one with the problem. Hold on, Kel. If Aubrey's that upset, we should at least try to do something to help. This is Aubrey we're talking about. We've all known each other since we were kids. You weren't there when she pushed Basil into the lake. I told you, she's different now. We shouldn't bother with people like her. It's true that she's changed, but it doesn't change the fact that I still care about her. And even if she doesn't show it, I'm sure she still cares about me too. That's just kind of the kind of person she is. I don't know about that. Today's our last chance to do this before Sunny leaves. There's no way I can just let it end like this. We should at least try to talk to her. Well, me and Sunny can tag along, but you're gonna have to be the one doing the talking. She listens to you the most. Thanks, Cal. Hey, Kim. Thanks for asking us to help. You're a good friend. <laughs> huh? Uh, sure, whatever. Why don't you head out first? We'll meet you there. Uh, okay, then. See ya. Yo, Sonny, thanks for letting us sleep over last night and for spending your last few days with me. You're a real friend. High five. You can choose no. Hell yeah. Yeah. High five, brother. Come to think of it, have we ever been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She always came over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out at her house at all. Hello? Aubrey? Is anyone home? Hello? Oh, it looks like the door was open. Let's go inside. There is no nightmares that will be awaiting us. Definitely not. Jesus Christ, you've been through it, huh? Hey, Aubrey, how are you feeling? What the heck are you guys doing in here? Get the hell out of my room! We're sorry for intruding. It'll only take a bit. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm fine! I've been hearing some things, but I just want to hear it from you. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Nothing happened. You pushed Basil into the lake. You know he can't swim. I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to push him away. He could have drowned. I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're the one who kept showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. Well, you're the one going around bullying Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you it's none of your business. But it is my business. You, you and Basil and everyone here, you're my best friends. All right, all right. I see the problem here. It's just your typical Kel and Aubrey fight. Just make up, you two. You've done it so many times before. Hey, these are the missing photos of Mari. They're 
they're, they're all I have left of her. But you know it's still not right of you to take him from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's no use now. Even if we have these photos, I already threw the rest away. They must be long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. Sonny has them right here. What? He does? But how? I could have sworn I threw him away in the trash. Unless you and Sonny... <laughs> you really dug through my trash for this thing? That's kind of gross. <laughs> Aubrey, let's put Mari's photos back into the photo album. All these photos, they belong together in one place. Another group photo. This was a little after I opened all my presents. Mari bought me this photo album and everyone else bought me film for my camera. I'll try my best to use it all. Mari and Hiro fell asleep on the couch. It looks so cozy together. <laughs> I hope they don't mind the photo. After eating all the food, everyone fell asleep except me, Hiro, and Mari. Something unfortunate happened when I was taking this photo. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Hector. I'll have to cover it up with tape later. We're about to head home, but I managed to catch one last photo with Mari and Hiro. They look so happy. A match made in heaven. After some begging, Sunny came to join Mari for recital practice. <laughs> They're still working out some stuff, but they already sound so amazing. I know they're going to be great. Go Mari. Go Sunny. You can do it. There. Now everything's back where it should be. Looks like one photo is still missing, but at least the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't that feel better? <sighs> we really did have a lot of fun together, huh? Yeah, I guess we really did. I'm sorry, guys. I've been acting like such a jerk. I'm sorry too, Aubrey. I really haven't been treating you so great either. All right, apologies accepted. Now we can all be friends again. Who wants a hug? Hug time. Let's go. Come on, Hero, not now. You're so embarrassing. I I'm good, thanks. All we need to do now is check up on Basil. I hope he's feeling better today. Knowing everything I heard from Kel, I'm sure you know you need to apologize to him. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Now, let's get you out of this house. Mm. Okay. Gang's all back together. Hey, Polly, how's Basil doing? We were wondering if we could hang out with him today. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm afraid Basil isn't home right now. He's in the hospital. What? What happened? Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Basil's in the hospital visiting his grandma. Okay. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Phrasing Polly. <laughs> no kidding. Holy shit. You know when he'll be back? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon. Sorry. Would you mind if we check back later? We're all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? I'm okay, just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I vote somewhere indoors. It's way too hot today. Sure, maybe we can hang out at our house a little. And then later, when it cools down, we can all go see the treehouse. Oh yeah, we should totally do that. Especially since Aubrey's with us now, too. Our old treehouse, huh? I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't either. We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Sonny? What did you want to do today? It's your last day, so you should call the shots. Yeah, you should decide how you want to spend your last day in faraway town. Lead the way, Sonny. Would you like to pet the dog? Absolutely. Bark, bark, bark. Oh my god. Dude, he's so talented. Look at him go. I'm going to kick the baby. <laughs> hey, Sonny. Sorry I was so mean to you before. I think seeing you just caught me by surprise. Though, I guess that's a pretty crappy excuse. I hope you've been doing okay and stuff. I'm sure everything was really hard for you to deal with. Sometimes I think I was the one that should have been there for you. I don't know if we'll ever really get over Mari's death, but it's okay to take it slow, to allow yourself to feel every emotion and to have patience. Anyway, I just want you to know that I still care about you and stuff. I've been thinking about this since I saw you, but you're looking a little pale, kind of thin too. After you move, promise me you'll go outside more often, okay? Hold on a sec, I want to buy a drink. Hmm. No, no, not this one. What? You're buying a soda, but you're passing on a good old Orange Joe? How could you? Ew, you still drink Orange Joe? It's so grossly sweet. Like it was made for babies. Oh yeah? If it was made for babies, why would it contain 150 milligrams of caffeine per can? <sighs> Do your, do your research, Aubrey. <laughs> Whatever. Everyone knows Orange Joe tastes putrid. You're probably the only person in the world who buys this crap. Well, now you're getting personal. How dare you insult my dear friend, Orange Joe. When was the last time you even tried it? Ugh, I'll show you. Kel, what are you doing? Hey, this can's design is from like five years ago. And it's expired. I told you, no one buys this stuff. Worry not, my dear friend, Orange Joe. No matter what, I'll still drink you. You just spit it out. <laughs> mm, delicious. You're gross. <laughs> and you owe me a dollar. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it to you later. Yeah, this is gonna be good. It, this game's gonna end great. What just happened? Did Aubrey just uppercut the Kel? Welcome to Fix It, where you can buy stuff and fix it yourself. Uh, we'll buy some flowers. Can't use them? You're kidding. Mind bringing the flowers to the church? Uh, I'm afraid we won't be holding a sermon today, but feel free to use this place to collect your thoughts. Everyone's welcome here. Oh. Uh... 
Why is there light? Oh, this is going to be uh, Mari's. Our dearest Mari. The sunshine brighter when she was here. Yes, leave leave the flowers. Hey, Mari, it's me again. Sunny, Cal, and Hero are with me this time. Do you still visit Mari's grave a lot, Aubrey? Yeah, I try to, although some days it's a little hard. You guys visit sometimes too, don't you? Every now and then, but maybe I should have visited more often. Hey, Hero, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm glad we're all here to see her. Hey, Mari. I'm sorry I haven't visited you yet. I was being selfish, I think. It's been so long, but I still miss you more than ever. I'm... I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm just really sorry. Hero, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. Yeah, we're here for you if you ever need us. Thanks, guys. Don't worry about me too much, okay? Here, this is for you, Mari. From all of us. Play video games. Bro, what? What's wrong, hero? Oh, I know. There must be a spider in this room. Oh, that's a spider. Don't worry, hero. I got you. Now, where is that pesky little? Ah, got you now. Did he, did he get away? It's all right now, hero. You can take it easy. The spider's gone. Show it to me. <laughs> uh-huh. And did you say something? Show me the spider. Oh, that's right. Here, look. See? It's really dead. I'm gonna go flush it down the toilet now, okay? And I'm back, but the spider is gone. It's like magic. Thank goodness. Hero, I feel like your fear of spiders has gotten worse. You should really try to work on that. What if a spider shows up when I'm not here? Bro, I've been in that situation. It goes fight or flight real fast, and then all of a sudden, you're shot putting your phone into a big spider on the floor, regardless of any possible consequences, like your phone breaking or something. You're just kind of like, you know, right into the ground. Man, Hero, this is one of those rare times where I feel like the big brother. Can we just live in this moment? What what if we didn't finish the game? What if we just imagined Mari's back home? She's chilling in the treehouse, having a good old time. Mari was just away at college. She's fine. Exactly. Everybody's just sad that they haven't seen her in a long time. No worries. Looks like the sun's about to set. Did you want to go see the treehouse now? Yeah, let's go to the treehouse. Mari's going to be there. It'll all be fine. No worries at all. You mean hanging out at the treehouse? Jesus Christ. Wow, I guess you really are moving away, huh, Sonny? When I see this empty house, it feels, it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years. And painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even through all that, I'm relieved that we're still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here. That we can face this together. It's okay, Hero. I'll go first. Hey, Sonny. When you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could- Uh-oh. Aubrey, Sonny, are you guys coming? Actually, never mind. It's nothing. She was gonna ask if I could come visit. Come on. This is where Mari... Yeah, it is. Oh, and that's why... Okay, so the... So our dad cut down the tree. Feels like forever ago, but I can still remember that day perfectly. That day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day, too. We went out to get a haircut with dad. Oh, yeah, you were there with your dad, too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were... We were going to watch Mari and Sonny's music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but we came home in the evening. Even after all this time, I still don't understand why she would do it. I... I don't think any of us ever will. Hey guys, let's... Keep going. Oh, the cat. Oh, this is why. Wow, this place has seen better days, but it looks like everything is right where we left it. Why do we have a toaster in here? Put the toy box key in your pocket. Hey, look. Sonny found a photo of us. We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it. Hey, you're right, Kel. Take out your photo album, Sonny. We should add it in. Ta-da! All summer, we've been working on a treehouse in Sonny's backyard, and today it's finally finished. Hero and his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made the paper plants to put in the windowsill. We all did a pretty good job, if I, don't say, if I do say so myself. Oh, Mari, I miss her so much. I miss her, too. Hey, come on, guys. Why the long faces? Look at all of us back together again. Mari would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. If only Basil could be here, too. Huh? Hey, Aubrey, what's up? Ooh, okay. 
You know, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. Now I realize I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mari died, everything changed so fast. Sonny and Basil became more closed off. Cal made a bunch of friends playing sports. Hero always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me and abandoned Mari too, but I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Sonny stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch, so I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. When we got to his room, I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all the photographs with marker. Couldn't believe it. He'd even blacked out Mari's face. All of our memories together, it felt like he'd destroyed them. I was so confused and angry. I thought he was a nutcase, so instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him Creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now, but you know what? Ever since then, all I've been trying to do is cut myself off from everyone. Kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did, yet I'm the one who was angry at him. I'm such an idiot. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. And at that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things worse, so I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you too, Sonny. I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Kel, but I'm the oldest, so I should have known to take care of everyone. I... I just... No, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? It's all right, Aubrey. I promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be there for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Oh yeah, count me in. Wait just a second! Ready or, ready or not, here we come. Dude, I'm like... Holy shit. I'm not okay right now. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to give me a second. Wow. We should go check to see if Basil is back home later today. I need to apologize to him and... I think right now he's probably the one that needs us the most. You want some help? Holy shit, lady. Okay, well, that's... that's normal, I guess. Oh, she died! Oh, no! Oh, this isn't good. That was the grandma. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Is something wrong? Well, Basil's back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh, no. Is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get a word out of him since. You did unplug her oxygen? I, I unplugged her oxygen before when it was not this intense. Maybe you just need some time alone, but I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys try to talk to him? Of course. We'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. I'm not ready, dude. I'm not ready because I know what's coming, I think. I think I, I'm, I'm pretty positive I know what's coming here. Please be alive. Hey, Bessel, it's Hero. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey, and Sonny. We're all here to see you. Please be alive. Is there anything we can do to help? Please be alive, dude. We just wanted to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything these past few days, it's that friends should be there for each other. Hey, Basil. This is Aubrey. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want to know you're okay. Bro, if that door doesn't open... I think we should stay here for him. Yeah, last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay here together. Polly, do you think we can sleep here for the night? Oh, you are all so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome. I call the couch. Ah, uh, this is all happening so fast. Okay then, since Kel wants the couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. I'll go grab them now. Bro, can we like kick the door down, please? Why did you get the couch? Well, duh, it's because I called it first. 
dibs, my dude. Man, now I've I've stabbed a girl and I've unplugged a woman's oxygen and she died. This this, this took a dark turn, all I'm saying. It started out kind of dark and it's just gotten worse. Yeah, let's hang out with our friends. I'm down. Give me more happy moments. I need more happy. Oh, it's night. Oh, it's night. Hey, Sonny, I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting, but I just want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. Ah, that's so cheesy, Hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hero's always been such a big softy, just like you, Omri. What did you say? <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying, I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's a softy now. But yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. You know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sonny. Yeah, I'm I'm sure we're going to see him. I'm not so sure he's going to be in an okay state. I'm just saying I'm thinking this is not going to be good. It would be nice to have a proper goodbye. Uh, man, I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> Is he asleep already? Hey, Sonny, thanks for everything. I, it's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you doing it for us. And tomorrow's the big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Except not literally, because we're not going with you. We're going to be staying in the town. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm, life gets better, huh? Hey, Sonny, after you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yes, please. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, then we can all go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park or the beach. Just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. That sounds kind of nice. You think my new friends can come, too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier after all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Sonny. See y'all in the morning. This is not okay. It's so nice. Where Now the demon's gotta go and just, just f*** it up. It's so, it's so nice. Could it just not be bad? Yeah, I'll destroy the light bulb. Sure. What is that? Demon stabbing time? Demon stabbing time? Hello? You're not gonna get me. No, sir. Not happening. I'm calm. It's all good, Mr. Eyeball Man. Hey, guess what? Guess what? I'm calm. I don't feel anything except all of the hairs on my body sticking up for some reason. It's not my problem. Is it gonna be the next one that we saw? It is. We're gonna see all the ones that we've seen already. I'm being attacked by kelp underwater. That's what it was. Don't do this. It's gonna illuminate and it's gonna be Basil, isn't it? It's gonna be Basil. He's gonna be dead. No, dude. Are you kidding me? Your heart beats out of your chest. Yeah. You hear your breathing begin to steady. It's not okay, but it's okay. But it's not okay. Gather all your courage and learn to overcome. I mean, it could be overcoming the the memory. Sonny, you're finally here. I've always dreamed that you would come back for me, but maybe it's too late. Truth of that day will be hard to accept. Please forgive me. You got Basil's photo album. <laughs> uh... Oh, there's another picture. Okay. Okay, cool. What is even happening in this picture? Sonny, don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, let's screw in the light bulb. Let, let's just let's just see what's going on here, you know? Yeah, I do. I wanna pick up the photo. Oh, did I push her down the stairs? Oh my god. And that's why Oh my god, it was an accident. And th that's why the dad was pissed off. I think I'm piecing this together. So Sonny was mad about something. Maybe Mari like was was saying like he, he wasn't practicing enough or something for the recital and he pushed her down the stairs and she died and then her family staged a hanging i think almost there but not quite okay well we'll see i think jesus <sighs> I'm joking this whole game about how I want to fight the demons, but I, I did not at any point expect that I would end up being the demon, right? Ugh, Sonny, it's just you. I'm glad you came. It's, it's good to see you. It came to you that day, that day Mari died. When Mari, when Mari fell, 
You... You couldn't have done it. It was something behind you, wasn't it? You're a good person, Sonny. I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you've finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Sonny. That's so mean. Ugh. There's something all around us now. Can you see it, Sonny? There's no way out of this, is there? Oh, cool. What's up? How's it going, bro? Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me. I don't want to be alone. Not again. You can't leave me again. No. You wouldn't leave me. That's not like you, Sonny. It's something behind you again, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, there it is now. Do you see it? Stay away. Stay away from Sonny. I'll protect you no matter what, Sonny. You can count on me. When something killed Mari, when something ruined all my photos, I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, Sonny. Sonny. Sonny wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, Sonny. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Oh, cool. No, that's fine. Sonny, don't be scared. I'm scared too, but... This is for the best. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything... Is gonna be okay. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna calm down. We're just gonna chill. I'm, I'm calm down. You tried to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. Focus. Uh, sure. Tried to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. Sonny. There's no way out of this, is there? You tried to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. You want to run. Okay, so either I fight here, which probably, since it's in the overworld, right? This is like not in the the like game game this is overworld means that it's probably gonna be me hurting him like actually hurting him which means run's gotta be the move right like if i fight him it's just gonna be me actually hurting him but i don't know if that means he's gonna actually hurt me because it seems like he's going to oh wait i can't can i not do anything i literally can't do anything there's no other there's no other option i don't want to attack basil i don't want tell me sunny Am I selfish for doing this? Do you hate me? My my prediction here is that Basil witnessed all of it happen, and he convinced himself that it didn't happen. But now, he's coming to grips with the fact that it did happen, and he's doing something about it. Stop struggling, Sonny. I'm... I'm so tired. Yeah, stressed out, because he knows. Says everything's gonna be okay. Brother, I, I think we're pretty far past that. The, uh, we're, we're, we're very far past that at this point, I think. Can't do anything else, dude. I don't want to fight him. I'm gonna keep on, uh, trying to do other things, but I'm not sure if we have any other options here. Just two kids mutually stabbing each other. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Why? Why won't you stop? Oh my god.
Dude, this can't be how this game ends. Oh my god, I died? Oh, I have control here. I thought I was just gonna vanish. Hey, that was just a bad dream. We just had a nightmare. It's all good. Hi, right, Sonny. You found your way back home. I don't know if I've ever said this properly, but... I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then, all this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts, even if you try to bottle it all up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay, that we have no choice but to carry on. But that's up to you. Aubrey, Kel, and Hero are good friends. You have to trust that they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe that, but... The photos in our album, they're not just photos. They're real memories. Our memories. It's proof of our friendship. Hold those pictures close, and remember what you want to protect. The path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Let's make some new memories together, okay? Sonny, it's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes, but you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Sonny. You've worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be there. Wow. Uh-oh, my hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell people that, Kel. You have to keep a good poker face. Ah, uh, when did you get behind me, Mari? I just got here, silly. Here, I brought cookies for everyone. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man, don't take a photo of me when I'm struggling like this. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. Huh? Another photo? What's so funny anyway? Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. Oh, look, Sonny. It's... it's too horrible. I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Look at your hand. It's an ace and an ace. Tough luck as usual. <laughs> Jack and an ace. Shh. Don't tell anyone, okay? Mari's cookies are the best. Huh? Sonny? Oh, Hero, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mari's cookies... Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Oh, stop it, Hero. You're embarrassing me. It's a two, a five, and a ten. Oh, huh, what do you think, Sonny? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. King, a queen, and an ace. <laughs> Talk about luck, huh, Sonny? Are you sure you want to go? I don't want to go, dude. You remembered. The smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made them from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. And there. The watermelon's all cut up. Come on, everyone. Take a slice. Yay. Thank you, Hero. Look at you. Such a big, strong man. Uh, not now, Mari. <laughs> Woohoo! Nothing beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. Hey, don't take a picture of me while I'm eating, Basil. Uh, I'm sorry, Aubrey. I I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. Ew, gross. Stop spitting seeds on me, Kel. Shh. <laughs> you have seeds all over your face. Well, how about this then? <laughs> Ew, stop it, Aubrey. You're gonna give me cooties. Let them play, Hero. They're just teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were younger? I used to hide bugs on your desk all the time just to see your reaction. You were always so funny. Wait, that was you? Oh, whoops. Am I in trouble now? <laughs> Guys, come on. We're at the beach. We're supposed to be relaxing. You remembered. The taste of watermelon. It tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer. It looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, Hero. Oh, it was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. I'm glad you all liked it. One day, you're gonna be a world-famous chef and you're gonna cook me lots of yummy food. Wait, I am? Of course you are. I believe in you, Hero. Well, if you say so. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. I guess it is pretty fun when you get the hang of it. Wait a sec. There's something strange in this photo. <laughs> Hector! How could you? <laughs> that dog has the biggest shit-eating grin that I've ever seen in my life. Step on the poop, do it, no regrets. Okay. <laughs> we stand, Hector. <laughs> okay, I'll do I'm gonna do it. Full send. Bark, bark. Dude, I'm basically just bathing in it at this point. Like, they look over at me like, is he okay? <laughs> hey, Sonny, can I poke your brain for a minute? 
I really love cooking and all, and Mario always says I'm really good, but my parents want me to become a doctor. You think I should become a chef? Yes, become a chef. <laughs> Maybe. We're still young. We should dream big, right? Uh, but yeah, my mom's gonna have something to say about that. Hey, Sonny, I took a photo of everyone earlier. Wanna see? This could have been such a good shot, but Hector had to ruin the photo with his poop. <sighs> Maybe I can cover it up with tape later. That dog has the most empty head. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, sometimes your pets, like, they just, you just, you take a picture of them and you're like, there was no, there's nothing going on up there that moment, huh? Look at this knucklehead. He was just sitting there with his sad little face. <laughs> He's such a goober. Oh, hey, little brother. Sorry, did we wake you up? You look so peaceful sleeping there. Reminds me of when you were just a baby. You remembered the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. It felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. Hey, Sonny. Hey, Basil. What took you guys so long? Sorry. We got carried away playing this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil, Basil, take a picture with my new raincoat. Oh, okay. Do you like it, Sonny? It's my favorite color, pink. Ew, pink is such a gross color. No, it's not, Cal. You're a gross color. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Sonny, that reminds me. Mari and I were talking about tying our hairs together. Or tying our hair together. Mari says she's gonna dye her hair purple. Purple? You wanna know what color I chose? Oh my god, and that's why she has pink hair. Wait, are you saying you want to dye your hair pink? Ew, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? I don't know, I just thought it'd be cute. Mari thinks so too. Mm, I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think pink would look good on you, Aubrey. What do you think, Sonny? Uh, yes. Sonny says he thinks that pink is a great color too. See, even Basil and Sonny agree. You're the one who's weird, Cal. Psh. Whatever. Oh, are you going on ahead, Sonny? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. You remember the sound of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. Are you sure you don't want to be in the photo, Sonny? Sonny is a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? It's okay, Sonny. You'll get used to it soon enough. Wow, this cake's look this cake looks so amazing. You've really outdone yourself this time, hero. Thanks, hero. I love strawberries. Basil, Basil, what a wish you're, what wish are you gonna make? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey, or else it won't come true. Oh, is this how it works? Well, in that case, I wish that Kel would get straight <laughs> in school. Hey, you can't do that. But what should I wish for? I have everything I could ever want right here. Oh, I know. I think I'll wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Aw, I want to know though. Guys, if we don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Did you want to start us off, Mari? Sure thing. I'm not going to sing, guys. I'm not going to sing. I'm not doing that. Not doing it. Uh-uh. Somebody once told me. <laughs> so sad while there's other streamers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's not get carried away, hey. You remembered Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. You also remembered as Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, you wished for everyone to be happy. Wow, a new basketball. Thanks, bro. No problem, Kel. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. Uh-huh, you bet. Okay, Sonny, it's time for you to open up your present. This year, you just get one present from all of us. It probably doesn't look like much, but we all had to save up to for it together. Yeah. Me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mari and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me? I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but... It's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us about how you always sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. And there was even that one time when I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea. Your present is a gift. Trip. <laughs> but we all decided to pitch in for a really nice one, so yeah. We hope you like it, Sonny. This is from all of us to you. God. Mm. The crushing feeling inside I feel for this kid is like, I've never experienced this with a game before, you know? It's your very own violin. We hope you like it, Sonny. Go on and try it out. You felt a tingling in your fingers as if it on its own, your body readied the violin to play. You remembered the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin, that it scared you, but you didn't mind because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. Sonny, you're finally here. After this point, it's gonna be up to you. You know, before we met, I still had a lot, I had a lot of trouble fitting in, even after we all became friends. I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually, but 
When the others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You would listen to me talk for hours and hours. I could always rely on you to do that. I know we missed out on each other for the past few years, but it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or that I'm kind of careless, but I'll always be here if you're okay with that. Sonny, we know that you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you but you have to put a little bit of trust in us too. Just because you've done something bad doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long and you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them too. There's more good times to come. Life gets better and you can be the one to make that happen. Whatever happens next is gonna be your call. But we're here for you because you want us to be. And we really hope that this isn't goodbye. No matter how far we push your feelings down, they'll always come back somehow. What you do with those feelings, that'll be your truth. Hey, Sonny, break a leg for me, all right? Whatever you end up choosing, we will always want what's best for you. Keep us in your thoughts. We'll be cheering you on. You can do this, Sonny. I promise to stick with you until the very end. Yeah, I think we'll always be best friends. That's okay with you too, right? We believe in you, Sonny. An empty music stand. Do you want to place down your sheet music? Yes, I do. Stage is ready for you. Do you want to play the violin? I do. Of control. Hey, it's me. Am I supposed to fight here? This is like the final boss fight type deal. I'm fighting the version of me that, that I was, I guess. You remember Kel's words. Friends, friends are supposed to be there for each other. It's like he's right in the room with me. Crazy. Anyways, nothing like fighting your inner demons. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, that's that. Amori did not succumb. Uh-huh, okay. Caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing. And so you've earned nothing in return. You remember Aubrey's wish. I hope you can find some peace, or you know, some happiness. Your friends will never forgive you. They'll abandon you like you did them, and that's what you deserve. Tell yourself that you don't want to burden others, but the truth is that you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. You remember Hero's promise. Last time, we made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. When do you think about others? How long are you going to let people take care of you? You say that you care, but you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. People like you don't deserve to live. Oh, that's- what a delightful background that is, huh? That's- that's so- that's so wonderful. Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect yourself. You remembered Basil's hope. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. You're nothing but a liar. And when they see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. If they knew the truth, you'll never be able to regain their trust. No matter what you do, it'll be hopeless. All you'll do is make things worse. It would be better to just die. You killed Mari. She loved you and you killed her. Hero loved her and you killed her. You remember Mari's request. You forgive yourself, won't you, Sonny? Aubrey loved her and you killed her. Hell loved her and you killed her. Asshole loved her and you killed her. You loved her and you killed her. You should just die. Did you really just... No, what? Oh, wait, okay. You want to continue? Yeah, you want to continue. You got to the final boss, but do you want to actually, like... Wait, what? This is new. Wow, okay. Oh.
Oh, you're gonna make me choose? You can't do this. Cause like the one is like the personal validation of going and talking to my friends, but I really should be going to check on, um, on Basil. You know? I have to tell you something. Wow. It's the good ending? Oh, really? For real? The second best ending? If you chose not to continue after losing to Omori, you get the bad one? Like, it's insanely, insanely bad? You know what? I I am very happy. You know, it's funny because with, with Undertale, right? I wanted to dive in because I wanted the challenge of the boss fight, right? Like, I wanted to get to Sans. I wanted to fight Sans and, and, and you know, see, like... Like what is, is he all like what he's been built up to be like everybody talks about oh sand sand sands and it's like you know that there's like a big fight at the end right yeah but like i wanted to get to the ending of the the genocide run in undertale because i was like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna take on the challenge you know like i want to i want to do the hardest thing but like with this game i genuinely genuinely do not have any like compulsion to do the bad you know, like I got this. I don't know. They they built the characters, I guess, Omo Cat specifically, because it wasn't like a, a bunch of uh, uh, people working on this. It wasn't like a huge game, right? Really built out these characters in just such a wonderful way. Basically closing the door on Keldia or every day. In Dream World, you get shit tons of new content and the content's really fun. But then the ending's like really bad then, right? Wow. So it is the eternal dilemma of do I leave it on this wonderful note where it's the best that it could or maybe not the best it could have been but pretty damn close right or do I dive back in get the bad ending you know go for the new content because it's fun what badges did we get that's what I'm curious about <laughs> the one badge I shouldn't have gotten and it's the first page, the first one I have unlocked. Holy shit, dude. Thank you for letting me experience this together with you. I hope you loved it as much as I did. I absolutely did. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for being there to uh, experience this with me. You know, this was this was really, really just a fantastic experience. It's funny because like for a long time with this game, I felt like I was having a really fun time with it. And then it got very real and then I was more experiencing it than having fun with it, you know? That's gonna be it for this one. Thank you so, so much for, again, experiencing this with me and being here for it. It was, uh, it was a really wonderful time. And, and I don't know if anyone that suggested it is here, but I, I thank you for suggesting this. Cause it wouldn't have been on my radar if it wasn't suggested from my existing community. And that's really cool. Credit where it's due. It was a, it was a wonderful game, and I really loved it. So, till the next one. Peace.